Before we begin, well, too late. We've already started. The countdown timer is done. So we're back with RimWorld. It's 500% naked brutality, and you wouldn't think so because we look A-OK, -okay, except this isn't our team. Our team are just these four. And really, it was just these three to begin with. Super Pie, Professor, and Myriac. Later, Lady Seru joined us because she was kept very happy by our charitable events, and then the little six-year-old grenade lobbing kid that she came with decided to betray us, so... Well, he got what's for. We've got a couple of people that were uh, giving refuge from the um, uh, the Empire. And five new refugees. I've never seen so many refugee events so quickly. We've even got them overlapping. I wonder if it's because I took charity as my one and only ideological thing here. This is meant to be extra pain for us, and it certainly is, because people really, really don't like being uncharitable. Minus eight for eight days, just because we rejected one of these people's offers to join. That's given me food for thought, since charity is a big part of what we do. I now actually have to make it that they don't want to join. So what I'll be doing is I'll try, I'll try to make people that join me a little bit unhappy, so they don't feel like offering to join, so I don't have to reject them, unless I want them. Out of these, I think it was Hakuja that I was looking at thinking I wouldn't mind them joining. An actual doctor, plus good with plants? Ugh, no dumb labor is annoying. Bloodlust is good though, if I ever need to hack apart some bodies. Anyway, that's some food for thought. For now though, a Professor has just reached the Acolyte rank in being a noble, and I really want to get that up to Knight, because Knight has some very good buffs. And somebody well pointed out that I accidentally, well I'm not sure if it was accidentally or not, but I didn't enable honor for this, and I'm going to enable it because sometimes honor can be pretty hard to get, especially in the early game. So what are we going to do? Well, we need to deal with this. I don't like how close that is to my everything, especially when I'm trying to cut down some trees here. On that note, let's not accidentally cut down any trees within its range. There we go. And, 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 Lady Seru just had her finger shot off by one of our visiting friends. Not very nice, but what are you going to do? Well, Professor Layton is very unhappy because now he desires his own bedroom befitting his rank, and he wants his throne room not to be so god-awful. It's just a hole in the wall. But he might just have to sit tight with that for a wee while because there are many other things I want to do. For one, I don't have enough space here. So it's something I'm absolutely going to do is I'm going to mine out some more of this land. At least until the point where we start reaching Overhead Mountain. I do not want to deal with Overhead Mountain around here. Because, as you may know, if you're under Overhead Mountain, that puts you at risk of uh, getting the bugs burrowing through the ground and coming and ruining your day. So let's try not to have that. These guys are going to go away. Professor's going to gather up some stuff, no doubt. I have a feeling you're in the range of this, aren't you? No, not quite, but those things have ghastly amounts of range. Now, well, let's see, let's see, let's see. These guys are going to be here for 24 days, another 15 in fact. But I might use Lopasur and Ayanina to go and take care of this. If they get shot and die, well that's a dang shame, since those advanced components are going to be useful down the line. But I really don't want that cluster sitting around there. So Seru's getting that shot off finger mended, good. We're going to start dealing with this. We don't need to worry about the roof because you are helping me out with, well, with the roofing. At least I hope. I hope the roof doesn't come down on us. Don't you like the delicious insect jelly being delivered directly to your house free of charge? Yes and no, but probably more no than yes. I'm also going to want to move my boot tree table over here because I really need to make some kibble for the horses. There was very little grass spawning around here and now it's all gone and I didn't grow hay grass. So I need to almost regrettably turn my delicious corn into kibble for them so they can see through the winter. Because we are now in September. The game says it's permanent winter here, but I wouldn't call 20 degree weather something you get in permanent winter. Super Pies replacing our traps. These traps have been keeping us alive, so I'm very keen to continue to have them. That said, I am low on wood. I, despite being in a forest, I'm always bleeding low on wood, so... Good thing we... Oh god, what? Ah, well, that was an accident. Okay, that's fine. Everybody's sleeping spot just got uh, taken away because uh, the prison merged with all of this because I dug this away. I should not have done that. 
easily sorted if I just shove a bit of wooden wall there. Okay, yeah, good. Good to see they can mine out fairly quickly. But yes, I need this space. Well, I don't need it, but I want it. Seldom do you need something in RimWorld. Paxi, are you alright? It's covered in burns, but that sounds like not my problem. Yeah, I don't want to give my... Oh, I shouldn't have been using good medicine on you, but actually it's probably for the better. I have a lot of medicine now, thanks to the haul that we had. Right, let's make sure that the crappy people that we don't like get these rubbish on the floor beds. So that includes Rolly and Hummingbird and Dinosaur and Paul. Dinosaur and Paul. Other people can take the good beds, and if Hakuja offers to join, I'll probably take it. More people is more better. Although more people is also uh, a lot more wealth. So Randy Randy will see our more people and think, oh, oh you, you're getting too good. And then start throwing more, bigger, nastier raids at me. Trying to keep a good eye on when we're going to overhead uh, mountain. Like that, that's overhead mountain. That probably means all of this is, so just cancel that. Alright, alright. Super Pie is going such a long way to grab the wood. It's such a waste of his time. But building is what he does. And those traps do keep us alive, so I shouldn't be underestimating it. No, 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 I will underestimate it too. I'm going to cancel that until, uh, until we have more wood to hand. It's very important to minimize a lot of people's travel time. Is the William subscriber badge new? First time I've seen in eight year, maybe. Yeah, well, it's been around for a hell of a long time at 97. Um, I couldn't think what to put in for it, so I put William in. I'm not sure as a placeholder or for good. William in. William means a lot to me. I deliver that. One thing I really want to do is see these guys that I don't want to be uh, to be part of my crew. I'm going to tell them to do nothing but work during this time. No recreation time. I don't want them to be happy at all. I've, I've learned the hard way. Don't be charitable to people that you don't want to join. That minus eight for, uh, for join chats though was rough. Sadly, I am ruining the impressiveness of this place. Why did you flicker? We have plenty of power, it was probably just because it got uh, moved there. Right, butcher table gets o uh, goes over here. And, and, and... Butchering doesn't get done that much. So I can just put the crummy stool over there while we're at it. And you can go there. And then what I can do is say that this thing... Mm, I'm going to say that you don't actually take any corn, so I'm just going to clear all that for now. Hopefully the corn gets taken and put in there. And then when I'm going to make kibble, which will hopefully be soon, we're going to shove the meat over there. And a setup like this severely minimizes the movement for the cook and the kibble maker. Who actually I think has end up, ends up being the same person, it's Seru. And that blows because you just lost 8% manipulation permanently. And that's going to slow you down for dexterous tasks like that. So I guess if you're not limiting colonists in this run, you really are expecting stuff to hit the fan, and in a big way. On 500%? Probably. I don't know what percentage I did the last run on. That one can also go. It's nice to quickly get this space cleared up, isn't it? Also, where do those get hauled to? Maybe I should reinstall this over here, and then quickly get this stuff uh, chipped away at. I'm just moving around a few things I have because I'm very surprisingly short on wood. Wait, who are you guys? I must have missed a wee pop-up, but I reckon there are people coming that can maybe sell us stuff? Oh, you're a tribute collector. Right, well, I'm not giving you my three gold. I think you need to give them about 60 gold to get one point of honor. Which is, in my opinion, the absolute way to get lots and lots of honor and advance up the ranks. 
poor coming friend is in horrible pain, but that's their problem. Yeah, good to see stuff getting moved around properly. And it's good to still have my drug labs. I guess one good thing about Paul is he can really crank out the flake. And I do want that crake, uh, flake cranked out. To the point where I actually need more storage for it, but that's another reason that I'm expanding this area more storage. Everybody just sleeping away. Oh my god, poor Pasky's still sitting there with his burns. Is no one gonna take care of poor Pasky? Here, I'll give you a really crappy medical sleeping spot. Go and rescue Pasky. And who was our doctor again? I think it was Hakuja, right? Yeah, Hakuja. Yeah, you're going to tend to Pasky. No, you're not. You're going to bed. Go and tend Pasky. I could strip him for his nice gear, but that would make the Empire hate me a lot. Fish meals. I don't, I'd rather just not feed you. Give him nothing. If he wants to get out of here, that's on him. The day to the patriotic offering, right? I think that's a. I think that's an ideolo ideological thing for you, right? I'm going to assume so. I don't see patriotic offer here though. Maybe it's yours? Yes, yes it is. It's weird that it gives you that for your guests as well, but... Well, we're all learning things here. Okay, okay you are tended to. Good. Burns are really good at getting infections, sadly. Iona and Lopasur, I'm very tempted to send you out to deal with this, but you could easily die because this thing does a lot of damage. Who's got the smoke pop belt? I could help out a bit. Or I could just send you and say to hell with it. I mean look, there's barely anything there. Although I could also send some people that I don't care about, like Roly, just to go and tank some shots for us. Medical, intellectual, you can make drugs for me. Can the two of you handle it? The thing is, this just hits so hard. You gotta get close to it. Yeah, there's a lot of ways that could go wrong, so I'll hold off for now. Do you know if there's a way to tell RimWorld how many colonists it wants for you? I'm playing a small mountain base, two colonists, it's constantly trying to throw new joiner events at me. Uh, I believe the storyteller decides the ideal number of colonists you should have. But unfortunately, I do not know how to edit that. Although the game has a lot of mods, it seems surprisingly mod unfriendly. I tried looking into how to make some mods and it seemed very difficult. Prohibitively so. Right, can we just mine out a touch more of this please? More space is better space. I might need this for beds and such. Actually, not that part just yet. There we go, there we go. I seem to be getting a lot of guests. I hope guests don't contribute towards my perceived wealth. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. Hummingbird's got an infection, but I'm sure we'll take good care of that. I actually have medicine for you, after all. Hummingbird I sent over to grenade apart the... Um... Hang, on, hang on, let's take care of that. To grenade apart the mech cluster that was here, and it worked, but Hummingbird also got shot to shreds. Not shot to shreds, immediately roasted alive by the burning enemies. Which is pretty cool, in my opinion. I like to see it. I, I swear I am going for paste. I'm so sick of my people eating my food. They don't deserve that food. But that's another reason why I want all this space here. I should be able to slam down a nutrient paste dispenser. Possibly... Well, I don't have the steel for it, but in the far-flung future I will. Yeah, I can probably shove you there and be okay. We'll see. I still feel tight on space here, but what can you do? What I, I'm pretty desperate for, though, is some steel. Do we have some steel 
compacted steel. Where is it? An Aeon away. There must be other compacted steel. Ah, there we go. And uh, not quite conveniently placed though, because of this whole mountain that's in the way. And that mountain's a big part of my defense, so I don't want to just get rid of it. Compacted steel. If I do this and then zoom out, it'll surely show me where it all is. Aha! Here and here. That is convenient. Alright, in that case, get mining, because I need this. Mine, 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 mine. Something like 30 or 40 steel per square. That's enough to get some vital vital parts. But yeah, I, I really want some more storage solutions. I wonder if I can build a medical cabinet out of slate. Storage, medical cabinet, no I can't. I can make it out of wood, and I guess I do want that, so I'll just shove that over there for now. We've got all this flake and other meds that we need stored over there. Something I always forget to do at the beginning of a run. I'll give a save game editor a try though. I wasn't aware of a save game editor. Ooh, that could be interesting. I'm gonna delete these for now, since I don't have animals that I need to butcher just yet. How are you feeling about that infection there, hummingbird? Mm, you're fine. Honestly, you should be getting to bloody work. And here we go, this is nice. This is just permanent 400 watts of energy. As long as I link it up, which I will be sure to do at some point. For now though, I want that kind of sealed away. Those things are very volatile to blowing up, so I absolutely do not want that to happen. This looks good for mining out more area. Good. Ah, yeah, things are going lovely for us. That's what I like to see. It's even staying nice and warm in here. We're given levels of warm. If these people could just get up and get to work though, that'd be nice. And my floor here really ought to just be concrete. Concrete's a bit ugly, but it's very cheap and you can still move around fine on it. And the daylilies do their work to make this place still quite impressive. And there we go, Paul gets to work making the drugs. When am I going to get around to actually selling these drugs though? We have plenty of them. I suppose once I've done processing all of the flake, I'll take it around and turn it into wealth that I can put to use. Also I can have my little prison back. The hole in the wall prison. Dinosaur, what are you doing healing up? You should be getting to work. Oh, okay, well, I suppose part of the problem is I have no food. Well, no reasonable food, because I only have this set on cook fine meal. What I think I want to do is find meal from, find meals for my colonists, and then not so fine meals for everyone else. So I think what I will do is, is, is... Uh, but I need this for kibble, don't I? Muffalo, venison, horse meat. I'm going to take the horse and venison here. So I'm going to shove this stuff out and say that you are there for horse meat and venison. A bit micro-y, but it's probably for the better for now. And then Seru, you're the cook, so you're going to be seeing to that. You're also the cleaner, aren't you? Yeah, don't be hauling. I want you to haul the venison and stuff. And then get to work with the cooking, because our people demand meals. However, as I was saying earlier, I want to make sure that my guests are not doing so hot these days. So, yeah, my people can eat whatever is the best. But I want these guys just to eat paste. Um, Maybe I should... Well, my guests are happy enough. But these people, paste. Except for Hakuja, they can have the good stuff as well. At some point, I'm going to go around and properly sort out all of those. Dinosaur, what are you doing just hanging around? Stone cutting is a very basic job for pretty much anyone, so anyone is going to be set to do it. And since you're doing pretty much nothing for the colony, I want you to get to work. 
These people are too happy. They need to be a lot less happy right now. And I will just copy the storage solution over to you. And then I have more space for my drugs. I said we're a charity. I didn't say we're a drug-free charity. More of a free drug charity. Whenever there's an event like this, this is Randy deciding what should happen for me. And he wants me to have some carnivorous fine meals, nine of them. And oddly enough, I do want those, so gimme gimme. I can always befriend these muffalos if I'm in need for more meat. Befriend them and then slice their throats. And in fact, that's kind of tempting to do because I would like more meat once I'm done with this. So if anybody is free, they can go and try and, uh, go and, try and tame them using my vast quantities of corn. With my kind of charity. Alright, there we go. This bit of extra space already feels better for my storage solutions. And it's good to see that my uh, my guests that I am being nice enough to host are tending to my little drug barn here. These two drug labs, uh, the raiders tried to steal the whole drug labs last time. They got about this far, and in fact, the, these, these are the guys, I think, that tried to steal my drug barn. I think it was actually you. Wish Wukosh. Well, too bad you perished out there. Still kind of want you two to go down and take care of this, but maybe not in the darkness. I doubt the mechs have any uh, care at all about the darkness when it comes to their accuracy, but we certainly do. I'm a short on steel. Come on, get mining. The professor probably feels like this is a terrible waste of his skills, but he is an archaeologist. And don't worry about that sword, it's bio-coded, so it's of no value to me. No value to anybody, actually. I do feel bad about having all these goods just sitting out here. Look at those components, they're about to rot away. I should probably just have some kind of... Well, I wish I could make it out of wood, but I've barely got any wood. Whereas I have plenty of slate. So I'm just going to make myself a slate shelf right here. And maybe another one, just so I've got places to store general items that I don't want to degrade out here. I don't care about the tox grenades, but I care a lot about my components. And my drugs. But that's a given. One thing in this game that you always need more of, hauling. Oh, this isn't set to take anything. Alright, take corn, please, because i got it lying around. You're important, but that is critical, as is that. And the meat. The meat will take a wee bit of time to spoil. So Severin could just get to work on that, constantly making me meals. Who would have thought this housewife adult hood trait, well not trait, but what would you call it? Their background is coming in handy here. I really want to give them a weapon, but they hate Neolithic weapons. Wait, Lopasur, is your, is your uh, sword bio-coded? Yeah, of course it is. Ioana's LMG is also bio-coded. We're having bad luck with bio-coded weapons. Even the revolver we found was bio-coded, so... At least Superpie was able to acquire himself an assault rifle. The drugs are almost done, so these people can get to work just hauling stuff soon enough. And there we go, my little unstable power cell is hidden away. Poor components. They're still perfectly fine as long as they're not fully degraded. It's a good number, well, it's not a good number of fine meals, but we're getting there on the fine meals. I thought you would have made more by now, but I guess people are eating. And, and, and... I think we're a long way away from having the steel... Well, maybe not a long way, but I definitely want this. I could shove you... I could shove you in the corner here. Hmm, but I probably want better access to the table. I have an idea for that though. I shove you over here, and then I move this around a bit. I could have the table here, with three chairs looking into it. Yeah, that's probably what I'll do. 
Then only three people can have breakfast at a time at the table, but uh, I can I can expand on that in due time. I'd hate to have people eating without table, you know. Actually, I should think about this because I'm, you can't pick up and move the nutrient paste dispenser down the line. But there is space here for putting in the corn, which it'll be fed by. So I guess it's okay. Mm, well, I can't think of a better place to put it, so there it goes. A lot of harvest for such a terrible growing period. Well, we really maximized the fine land that we had, but yeah, I was surprised at how warm and how long it was warm around here. So much for permanent winter. Right, that should be plenty of steel to get us through for a while. What are you doing, Super Pie? You're just gathering little bits of steel, whereas what someone should really do is just haul the steel big time. In fact, Professor, could you do that right now? I know you're mining, but at the moment I just want my steel centralized over here a bit. Sucks that these two people are just doing nothing. Come on, Eclipse, clear away. And the Professor is just not happy. And because he is too smart for his own good, his mental break threshold is higher than normal, so we're actually at the cusp of it. So okay, I'm sure he'll be fine. He actually wants better clothes for being an acolyte as well. No help in this guy. Yeah, the biggest war crime is not giving people a bleeding table, isn't it? At least these two, it's, it's like having some security. Armed security that I only have to feed. Ah. Ancient complexes. I don't know if the size of them scales with the... Uh, the wealth that you have, but it probably does. In a sense, that makes it a little scary to go for. Thank you, Roly. Move the table. And then move that chair. What do you mean you're not assigned to construction? You just moved the table. There we go, thanks for that. Now I can start putting things in here that I care about. In particular, what do I want from out here that would otherwise degrade? I would quite like components to be kept here, including advanced components. I don't really care about the weapons, those can just melt away to nothing. And a lot of the clothes I don't particularly care about either. In fact, for now it is just the components. But down the line I'm sure there'll be things that I find that I want to keep indoors here. I keep my fabrics out in these wooden ones. Maybe not a good idea, that's very flammable, but at least it stops them from degrading. And actually, we've processed all the drugs. So the question is, are we going to head out with that? And if we do, who's heading out? Hmm. I don't want to send out Super Pie, because he builds everything. I could send out Miriact and the Professor. But I need people that can actually defend the colony, so... Uh. Do I have other people that build in Super Pi's absence? Because Super Pi's 13 on the building now. Hack is level 5, I guess. That's a large team. Only four of them are ours. Everyone else is just temporary respite seekers. These guys will go in 6 days. These guys will go in like 15 or 14 days. But I can't let them die. That would be uncharitable, right? Maybe not now, but maybe tomorrow morning I'll grab some horses and head out. Ah, but something else I really want to do is make some bleeding kibble. How many fine meals do we even have at this point? Only 12, yeah man, we really chug through that and I bet people are going to start getting hungry because they don't have access to uh, the pace that I have now told them they have to eat. Oh yeah, they're getting real hungry. So I actually need to get some hoppers for you once Super Pie starts building it. But no, he'd rather deconstruct. Deconstruct, 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 deconstruct. And then construct. And may react once you're done hacking apart that. In 
but maybe Superfly can do it right now, get some hauling done so you're not going back empty handed. Giving him nothing, come on, we can at least feed him paste. Which I'm, I guess, are going to be very unhappy with the lack of food, but I'm working on it. How much power does this thing need, by the way, the paste dispenser? Two hundred. Wow, man, they're even low on uh, low on that. All right, I should only need two hoppers for it maximum, and those are pretty cheap as well. Only fifteen steel. Ah, hey Tarkin, does he have ice cream today? That's always what's on my mind. I thought this was meant to be a no paste run. I was considering it, but then I considered very much against it. Whoa, who said you people could eat raw food? You absolutely are not allowed raw food. If that's the case, then I need to... Oh man. You'd think paste means just paste, but there we go. Nothing but paste for you. Put it back. If you really want food, help me build the paste dispenser. Just getting it up and running. So my own colonists, I actually want to keep them happy, so they can enjoy some fine meals, but guests, unless I'm forced to keep them happy, can enjoy paste. And again, if I want my guests to particularly be happy, then I can give them uh, the decent food. Speaking of decent food, is no one going to grab those carnivore fine meals? Roll a year, otherwise kind of useless. Once you're done hauling that, please haul those meals. The eclipse is over, but it's getting darker out there, so I won't fight. I won't fight this just yet. Horse is getting pregnant. Probably horse is getting very hungry as well. There's no food for them, is there? The game will tell me if and when there is animal starvation. But I also want to... I want to make kibble forever if it's an option. Not you, dinosaur, but Seru. Seru, who said you could sleep? It's prime working hours right now. So, work at the butcher's place. Kibble can be made from... really anything. But here's the here's the nix of the matter. Only grab things that are pretty much adjacent to you. Is there a way to make this transparent so I can kind of see underneath it? Because it's... It's hard to see what the ingredient radius is unless I come out of it and go here. Anyway, that is correct, so that is fine. I'm pretty sure there's a way to make windows transparent, but search me to find out what it is. <laughs> Spaced is better than starving, said Super Pie to the malnourished beggars while stuffing his face with a lavish meal. And he was correct. Rice keeps for less time than other things, so I actually want this to prioritize taking in the rice. So just clear everything set for rice and copy that here and make this a critically important place for it. That we're going to chew through our rice into paste. <laughs> we're going to feed this paste to our uh, dying people here as well. Good. How's that infection treating you, hummingbird? Oh, you'll be fine, see? Quality meds. It was a good, good call of me to grow them here. Professor's almost done doing as we homebrew archaeology. Oh god, we're even keeping rice out here. Now that ain't right. That's alright though, the rice will get consumed. Having lots of guests really chews through your food in no time. Maybe, maybe I should have another one of these. These food baskets are very quick to be gone through. A good drop on floor. Drop on floor I think is the default these days. I swear back in the day it wasn't drop on floor by default and it would just uh, every single thing you do they waste their time moving it around. What a waste of time that was. Oh yeah the horses are breeding. Also we've got some nasty things like squirrels here. It's because I don't block this off properly they come and eat my eat my everything. But I guess they don't they don't cause that much grief do they? 
that cause too much grief. Kill it. Good job, Super Pie. That's right, Paul. Drag it to the ceremonious swamp of dumping corpses. And good job, Super Pie. It was a great call for you to take that gun. God, I love this song, Protect Our Home. So much of the P music is just so good. How, do they, how does he do it? Pepson, I believe the name is. There we go. Another day well spent. Traps are up. Forest is cut down. There's more forest to cut down. There always is. I always need more bleeding wood. Someone's still out there chugging out. Oh, it's Miriak. Well, if you're on your way back, haul some goods. Having people walk back empty-handed is... Uh, very inefficient. And I can't be having that. I listen to P music when I work. What did I used to listen to at work? I don't know, but some some mad folks at Paradox would listen to the 10-hour loop of The Hobbits Are Going to Isengard, or however it's called. Scary thought. Also, this place could be made yet bigger. Make it larger, keep it impressive. I think it went down from very uh, extremely impressive to very impressive. Probably because the beauty became neutral. I could consider making more sculptures for the place. Got a lot of sandstone, so I could make some sandstone sculptures. But the thing is, I'm probably going to need more sandstone for doing fancy stuff for- Oh god, look at the poor crappy throne! <laughs> Disturbed sleep, rejected. No personal bedroom. He doesn't seem worried about his throne, though. Funny, I would have thought this throne was so awful that he would hate it. But maybe he only hates it when he reigns over there for a while. But yes, eventually I think I'm going to transform this into a nice throne. That's going to be a lot of work. And personal bedrooms are probably going to go around here. Personal bedrooms are probably only going to be for people with rank. But that's our professor for you. Could give him a makeshift personal bedroom here for now, but what's the... What I'm really shooting for is knight. And what are his needs as a knight? Bedroom requirement. All floored with a double bed and 24 tiles. So I reckon 6x5 is enough to give someone a really, a really good enough bedroom to see through. And everything in a bedroom can generally be moved, although I'll still give him crappy concrete on the ground. Crappy concrete, a double bed, and that should be good enough for him. What's with the exoplasm sword on the ground? Yeah, biocoded. If it weren't biocoded, I'd either destroy it or start using it. Plasma swords are so good against human enemies. Fire is so good against human enemies, but so useless against mechs. Hummingbird, I think you're I think you're pushing this a wee bit with your whole sickness. And I, I want I want you gone. Can I just are you willing to get up and move? No, you're still in extreme pain somehow. Well, once you're once you're willing to leave, we'll have you leave. Also, it's light enough, you two. This could be very bad in a lot of ways, but I really do want this thing taken care of. Do you think Lopisur can get over there and start malaying that? Whoa, whoa, slow down here. This could... There's a lot of ways this could go bad. I want you to get over there and take it out. Well, I want to immediately get shot in the arm. Kind of what I want you to do, I want you to be taking those bullets. And Lopasur is taking a very strange route. I think you got shot again. Oh yeah, you are not enjoying this. Shot in the torso is not going to do you any favours. Maybe you can get here and just... Well actually, Lopasur is getting close enough to that, so Ayana could probably just go and take cover at this point. Good, 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 good. Leg it, Ioana. Right, now this becomes a little bit of a problem, but... Yeah, you've got it covered, don't you? 
Nice, nice. Now take that out, and all is well. And you can go and rest up and get your wounds tended to. I don't mind these people being injured, although I do mind them dying. Uh, I do mind them dying. Woo! Okay, there we go. Because... Let's just get rid of this. What am I trying to say? I don't know. I forgot what I'm trying to say. Oh, right. They don't work. So if they spend their time just lying down going, Oh, I'm so injured, then that's fine because I don't need to care. It is 100% not my problem. Uh, they won't haul. They won't work, Max. That is exactly the right kind of thinking. But no, they don't work. Things at this rate, I need more uh, more crummy medical beds for people. There you go. You lie down there. I'll eventually expand the barracks a bit. Okay, it's a reasonable amount of kibble for my wee horses right now. Could be better, but it could always be better. Maybe we should move over the muffalo meat and get them processed. Yeah, I think I will. So, sitting from here, you can grab everything in the eight tiles around you without moving, and you do it instantly. So, a setup like this is really good. It's the same setup I'm using for this, and I have to be efficient, because Randy is going to be pretty efficient with what he does to me, I'm sure. Um, maybe I should give these people proper medicine? You know, just for a laugh? I have the meds, and these people are my, um... These people are my... Well, they're my weapons, really. My right arm of justice. It's okay, they're happy enough, because I let them do recreation all the time. They got nothing else that they could spend their time doing, they might as well do it. Spend their time having fun. There we go, we go. Again, not going under the overhead mountain because that's what brings in the the nasty creatures. Ah, see, there we go. With little else to eat, they go pelting over for my kibble. But these guys, they, they're only going to eat, I think, 12 kibble per day. Because their hunger rate was... Well, I can actually check that again, can't I? Hunger rate is... Let's say 0 0.7 per day. So that's 14 kibble per day. Well, then again, with five horses. That kibble's gonna go the way of the dodo in no time. Next growing season I really need to make sure I get a lot of hay grass to make uh, loads of kibble with. Kibble needs some kind of meat and some kind of grassy thing. Grass works for, for them, but it's a way to make people subsist on grass if you really need to, because people will eat kibble. They don't want to, they never want to, but they will do it. I really need to get those drugs turned into stuff I can put to use. So I need to send out probably, well, as many horses that need it, and two people. I don't want to send Super Pie because he builds everything, but I should probably send Super Pie and Myriact. Yeah. All right, then. And we're wanting to, I actually want to do a loop around here, which is going to take time, unfortunately. Well, I got three days to get there. That's, that's unpleasant. Also, too cold? What do you mean, too cold? Too cold for what? I'm a little worried about that. Maybe I shouldn't be doing this in winter, but I got so many drugs. No, I'm going to hold off then. I'm actually going to hold off until, uh, until it's warmer, once winter has passed. Because snow also slows you down. Too cold for grazing. Yeah, I figured I would just take kibble with me. They're going to eat the kibble anyway. But maybe I'll get lucky and some traders will come in here. Because this flake is a lot of wealth. In fact, I can see on the graph. This spike of item wealth is almost all drugs. 
But hey, if I just have to deal with Randy sending me more of that, then deal with it I shall. Supervise spending his time hauling, which is acceptable for now. And this rice is not going to be growing anymore, it's getting too cold, so let's just do the, the full harvest. And I really want to convert Lady Saru. Maybe tonight, before everyone goes to bed, we can do a conversion ritual. The odds of it having a good outcome... I, I assume it has to be masterful for it to actually convert them. But I would like it to be masterful if it can be. Also, I find myself a little short on chairs, so another chair if you could, please. Give Super Pie stuff to do. Alright, no major complaints. Alright, nice. Randy's given me a given me a nice time, so I really shouldn't be complaining to him. Saru gets to work turning all of this into fine meals for our people to eat. I mean everybody eats two meals a day, and only four people are getting the fine meals, right? I really need to just get rid of these. Uh, why don't I just get rid of them and then all the ones I have are ones that I have made myself. Goodbye fine, simple, I'll keep paste. Goodbye raw, keep nothing. Carnivore, cannibal, insect meat, no raw meat. On top of that, tell you what, the, I'm going to get rid of nothing. I'm going to make the top one nothing. And that way it's going to be the default that people go to. And then I'm going to add a food restriction, and this is fine meals. And the way it works will be... Da -da 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 -da. You can eat simple and fine, and vegetarian fine, and carnivore fine. They'll always eat the best mood, uh, food that they have available. So I'll also add nutrient paste, that way if I'm somehow out of meals they'll also eat the paste. Uh, I guess you can eat chocolate if you really want to, if I have any. Should I? I mean, do they eat chocolate when they're hungry or just when they want it for recreation? Now screw it, don't eat my chocolate. Not that I have any, but if I did. Oh yeah, you can eat pemmican as well if I have it. And other than that... No, don't eat the drugs. There we go, that's fine. So you guys that I like are on fine meals. Guests are on paste. Why is Hakuja on nothing? Oh, because that became default. You can have fine meals because I want you to be happy. There we go, a good call. Probably. Do drugs go off? No, only if they're stored outside, then they degrade like any normal thing. I got this nice jacket, and... Hey, the professor's not wearing that jacket. I made it for him. Go and wear that. I think I forced him to wear a jacket, and he just took it off at one point. You might think parkas are better to wear in the cold, and you're right, but I prefer jackets over parkas. Parkas have a movement reduction, as I recall. You've got this one, and... Maybe I'm completely wrong? Huh, maybe I am wrong. Oh well, I still prefer jackets. I'm not arming these people because uh, I was betrayed before and I could be betrayed again. I'm really glad you didn't die. You got two shots to the torso, but it was just a mini slugger. You, on the other hand, see that light charge blaster? Painful stuff. And I don't think the flak actually reduced any of this damage. It did its base 15... I think it did its base 15 on everything. But they're fine. This guy still can't walk, but when he can, I'm shoving him out of here. Burns are very painful, apparently. I mean, when have I ever burned myself? I burned myself on a soldering iron once. I don't remember it being, you know, so painful I couldn't move. And the pain passed really quickly. I just dunked it in cold water, and then, sure, there was a mark for a while, but otherwise it was fine. Also, nobody seems to be trying to tame these animals. Who's on my animal taming stuff? Animals, 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 and their train. Oh, Lady is the only one that does it. But we have people with good animal skills, so... Roly, Hummingbird. Oh, definitely Paul. Oh, absolutely Paul. Paul more than the rest of these losers. 
if you could uh, handle my animals and train those new ones, you got the best shot at it after all. He's really unhappy. Why? Recreation deprived, insulted, pain, slept on ground. Okay, maybe I'm making them a little too unhappy. Then they can have a little bit, a little bit of recreation time. Yeah, maybe a little bit more since they're very deprived of it. How do you manage to deal with only having four tiers of priority? There's five, aren't there? One, two, three, four, five. And five is fine. How often do you need such a complicated setup that you need five different tiers? I mean, with the pawn jobs, again, there's five. Well, I suppose there's four, but that's fine. Again, seldom do I need something so complicated. By the way, there's something I've forgotten to assign. Here it is. How many, how many bits of medicine do I have? Okay, in that case, I want you to carry... I want my main team to carry three loads of herbal medicine each so that they're always able to heal on the fly. There we go, hummingbird. Get up and move! Why you been lying around so much? Because patient is maximum. No, patient should be maximum. But why do you think you're in a dangerous situation? You're already immune. Get up and move. Don't know what I'd make you do, though. I don't have much for you to craft. Actually, I do. Get crafting, you bum. See, there we go. Paul. Paul's at the end of his tether because I've been treating my people too poorly. Well, that's okay, now that, now that they have... Uh... Oh, right, another problem is that they don't have proper beds. They hate that. Since I actually have something resembling wood, I can actually start making some proper furniture again. There's not much point in making beds other than proper beds. And Super Pie, I will eventually give you a construction job to make Professor Layton a proper bedroom. Maybe not a proper, proper bedroom, but... At least one he can be happy-ish with for the time being. I should have loads of sandstone at this point. Yes, I do. So, so, so. He's going to hate that wall, isn't he? Get that slate wall brought out a bit. I will mine this away, and we'll kind of augment Professor Layton's uh, room into this room, and then have it pop out like so. A brilliant plan, if I dare say so. Jings, it's dark in here. Hey, Layton. Thank you. I really like the utility of that. It's very cheap and easy to do as well. Second degree burned my legs with boiling hot tea I knocked over seconds after pouring. I can assure you, moving was not fun for a while. I guess you need some asbestos skin. Oh yeah, there's the thought. These people... Non-cannibal food. I don't think that becomes a huge issue for them. Certainly not as huge as their lack of recreation. There we go, just spend some lovely recreative time. Maybe I should have more uh, more permanent light sources around here, do it in the corners like so. It's not that expensive on the steel after all. Colony got big again. All of these people are temporary. Our colony is only four people. Thank you, Super Pie. People don't mind sleeping in the dark, but they do mind existing in the dark. Get those out of the way, and this will be Professor Layton's bedroom. I don't know how temporary it'll be. There's nothing more permanent than a temporary solution, after all. 
Sarah, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you are making, uh, making that into meals for the rest of the day. Actually, I might rather you make kibble, since I'm already quite low on kibble. And I'm quite high on fine meals. And it's a lot faster to make kibbles than fine meals. There we go. Oh wait, butcher. Oh god, you're trying to butcher that. No, no, we have a problem here. Butcher creature has much too large a radius. That's not what I want you to do. I simply want you to make kibble. And there we go, so much faster than making uh, fine meals. And so what, you're turning 40 nutrient into... Well, it's not 40 nutrient, how much is that? That's 2 nutrient into... How much, how much kibble does this actually make? Does it even show? Well, God knows, but you are transforming it into more nutrition. And you become a better cook when you make kibble for animals. I'm sure that stands to reason. But yeah, once you're done with that, you can go for a proper sleep. Oh yeah, yeah, these people that are very unhappy with their situation. No, they're happy enough. I'm still going to keep them sleeping on the floor then. I don't want them getting too happy. I do not want join offers from anyone other than Hakuja. I never thought I'd have to play like that. Kibble's a 25% increase. So it's not even as much as making meals. Interesting. But the one of the advantages of kibble is that it... I want another one of these, aren't I? Let's just get rid of you and make another one of you. Maybe another two of you. Maybe even have it like this. Kibble can be eaten a bit at a time, whereas a meal is a full thing. So if you have somebody that eats a full meal but they don't even have a belly big enough to process it, then you're wasting resources. Alright, let's bring that slate wall out of it, and then... What do I want? One, two, three, four, five... This thing's just going to get in my way, isn't it? Oh, and you can't move it! Oh, well, I made a mistake putting you there then, didn't I? Slate wall, slate wall. Do I have enough, have enough slate for doing this? Five pot, fifty, alright, well... We'll get that. Shove a wooden door on the side, and there's your home, Professor. since these have to be moved anyway. A little dumping zone here. And all it takes are chunks. But they only take chunks if I've told my people to actually haul them, so that should be quite rare. But sorry, Leighton, I'm sure this is... Uh, should I give them some proper floors? Cheap, neutral... How much steel do I even have? I got 600 steel. I guess I'll give him some not terrible looking flooring. And he's probably going to want a nice double bed. The lengths I go to for late, and he can even have an end table. Hmm, impressive. What else is going to be needed for you? You're not getting fine flooring right now, there's no way we can be affording that. Da, 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 da. Double bed, end table. He needs a dresser as well, jinx. Alright, there you go then. And I'll need a statue or something to make it uh, impressive enough. So. Oh, that's painful. I want thrombos, they're worth so much, but I didn't get the lance. And uh, thrombos are very, very deadly. Even these traps would have a hard time killing them. Mmm, that hurts. Kibble can't be too bad if you're hungry enough. I ate a surprisingly delicious dog treat not long ago. Even if it wasn't your dog treat meal, probably. Right, I want like four large sculptures made out of sandstone. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've got a decent amount of sandstone, and I'm not I'm not afraid to use a lot of blocks. I'll need a ton of them for fine flooring, but that's that's a ways away yet. And let's not refuel these right now. I'm not using the throne room much. And Professor doesn't even seem to care that much about his crappy throne room. He cares more about rejecting people. Hey, we got Muffalo. We'll bring you back for now, but you are definitely going to be our Muffalo meat real soon. Again, I prefer to tame rather than hunt, because that way I get all of their resources rather than just two-thirds of it. If an animal is injured when you slaughter it, or butcher it, even if it's just a tiny little one damage burn they have, then you, you only get a reduced amount of their resources. And that's bad. Damn, I want those rare thrombos. Also, I want this slaughtered, so bye-bye, uh, muffalo. And, and, and... Hmm... Thinking it is made of steel and it is a bit of an ugly thing, but a meal hook here for the corpses might not be the worst idea in the world. Yeah, don't move that thing just yet. Get the hook set up so I can keep the creatures here and get them uh, processed faster. I always try to shock thrombos precisely. Wait, then you want to tame them? Oh god, no. Oh yeah, I get I get the whole having a herd is great, but I just shock them and process them. Thrombo fur is amazing. And they have a lot of meat and their horn is worth like eight hundred quid. But yeah, I would just love a way to take these guys out, but I don't have the <laughs> nutrient based sweater broke down already. I don't have a way to take them out. I mean maybe if the whole colony armed themselves up to fight them, but not really. Maybe if I had some lovely Imperial help, but they would hate me for that. Alright, Leighton, don't worry, we'll soon have your- oh, I've fused up all my slate. That went faster than I thought. Mm, structure, sandstone, we'll just mix them. He's probably going to hate how cold it is in there, but sleeping in the cold's no, not that bad, I assume. Eh, maybe that's too many large sculptures, just maybe two. Yeah, it's like the thrombos really want to be part of the base now. Right, you are an important place for animal corpses which are not rotten. There we go, and then the butchering is done for... Yeah, for animals that are close enough. Excellent. Ah, this is where all my slate went, of course. In fact, too much. I've also got quite a bit of limestone, so I'll make a few limestone ones then. And again, I want these ones to be full of kibble. I, I think I have more kibble than that. Where is it being stored? Something's better off not knowing. Yeah, there we go. Right, not bad. This place is becoming, if not beautiful, it's certainly becoming usable. And Jacob's Randy hasn't sent a single raid my way today. I guess I should be thankful. Got these mechanoids I could smash apart, but you only you generally only get steel from doing that. On the note of steel, I'm doing alright for that. I've even got the plast steel. Plast steel I can store outside, it never degrades unless you uh, very much damage it. And there's the muffalo meat already to be processed. What Seru does with it though, I don't know. Oh, that's right, you're a main artist and you're focusing on that. Yes, yeah, Seru's the only one to be doing art, but is art your priority? It is not, so eventually you'll stop doing that, you'll do some cooking. Although I could force you to rethink that right now. 
Wow, I'm even getting excellent jackets here. Having a hummingbird do this is probably a good idea, but why am I making so many jackets? Oh yeah, it's for these people so they don't get too cold. I'd hate for my people to get cold. But I do need a clothing rack for these uh, these clothes as well. A couple of wooden ones over here will do me for a bit. Some of the weapons are just degrading away here, and that's fine by me, although I could also make a weapons locker. Maybe. I don't want it to be too easy for my people to grab weapons, but it would also be nice to store decent weapons in a place. And these weapons I can put to use. at the idea, but for now I'll shove a weapons locker over there. If you trap the thrombos with a wooden ball, they'll only break out when they starve. Yeah, they tend to wake up if you build around them, so I think you need to you need to have a large area around built, and it, it's certainly worth it given how much they have. But what I'm kind of hoping for is a raid or something that I can force the thrombos to fight, or a trader to come along that's... Uh, conveniently selling me the shock lance that I'm looking for to take them out. Goodness, people are idling. Now that isn't good. People idling. Well, the devil makes work with those idle hands. Go and dig out some of that, Professor. And, and, and... This creates two nice choke points, which I probably don't want to be getting rid of anytime soon. Now, what would I have these people do? Grabbing the steel just makes my wealth go up, but it's always nice to have the steel available, isn't it? So, now that I've got this place freed up, let's actually dig out some of this. Always good to have the options. There we go, and Super Pie, you claim you've nothing to do. Oh, you really don't have anything to do. Right. The Tablet of Shame. Right, so we've got a couple of relics, a tablet and I forget the other thing. A tablet and a relic. Oh wait, a tablet and a... what even is that? A pendant, okay. And what's going on with that then? If you could collect it, you could build a great reliquary. Reliquary? Attract wealthy pilgrims and bring more people. You need to find out. Well, yeah, of course. Tell me all about it. Oh, it becomes one of those long, um, long things where you get info. You tend to have to travel places and find out stuff. Right, tell you what, I'm willing to take all kinds of clothes here, as long as it's not bio-coded or tainted. There we go. Then we're going to stop having our clothes lie, uh, lie around here. And what about you? What kind of weapons do I even want? Pretty much anything at this point, so I will take the revolver. And is that bio coded? No, it's a good auto pistol. Maybe I should just take everything, but then specifically not to take really crappy ones. I mean, do I really want knives and clubs? Again, I don't want bio-coded ones. Yeah, getting the knives and clubs away is a good start. Even the bows, I'm not really sure I care about having um, the bows in here. I'll even keep the tox grenades, there might be some uses for that. But yeah, get rid of the... get rid of that bow. Maybe keep the great bow, or the short crappy bow, get rid of that. There we go. Again, just stops them from degrading out here. I missed some of the last stream. Is that Forbidden Plasma? Yeah, everyone keeps asking about this uh, Plasma Sword. It's uh, bio-coded, so we're not having it. Super is a good sport. He goes, and, he goes and grabs things. Even though he's our talented builder. Too talented to waste, in fact. I want my traps back up. Also, these guys stink. I want them dragged over to um, 
I want them dragged over to my pit. There we go, that's gonna burn through my wood. But that's the point. I've gotta weaponize it. Eventually I should start thinking about weaponizing steel instead. Steel is much better for traps than wood. But I feel a lot worse about using up my steel on things that just instantly go away like that, because after a while, getting steel is going to become one of the bigger problems for the colony. Need warm clothes. Oh, look, it's a Baltic 7 degrees out here. I don't know what they're complaining about, really. And Professor, once you're done eating that... Okay, good, he's continuing to dig. There's ever more to dig. Those rare thrombos. There's a hundred different ways to deal with them, but none of them I really have right now. Also, well done, Professor. Seems your room is ready. <laughs> your room is awful, apparently. Well, I'll tell you part of the problem there is that the place isn't being cleaned. So I'm going to add it to the cleaning zone. Probably wants a bit of floor here as well. Even a touch of concrete will do. And... Yeah, I made it 5x5. Five five. I was meant to make it 5x6, but it'll do you for now. And once I have one of these sculptures done, Seru, if you could hurry things up a bit. Then I'll add that. And at least then you won't complain about not having your own bedroom. There we go. Why did you sleep in the cold? Still, there we go. Keeping keeping the professor happy is good. Also, he might get an inspiration, which is also good. And I really need... If he's finding himself with downtime, then I really need to get back onto my research game. And uh, go figure I don't have a good place for that. But I could, right? See this torch lamp? We don't deal with torch lamps anymore. So get rid of those move you over to so this would be in the way as well shove that over there of that probably here once that is moved hey paul how hard could it be to move a radiator come now There we go. I've been lagging out in the research, and I've largely researched some pretty useless things as well, so shame on me for that. Come on, Paul, what are you doing? i got work for you. Be nice if they added windows. Well, what would windows really achieve? I think windows are abstracted to be part of the walls. After all, we can see through them, can't we? Okay, that is lit enough, which is fine. But you will want a comfortable chair. I'm going to move one of these good chairs. Ooh, excellent chair. I'm going to give you an excellent chair so you're nice and comfortable, Leighton. And I can move my, one of my drug chairs over to there. <laughs> That's good roleplay for Lady Sarah. She is actually doing what she is well set up to do. The cooking, the cleaning, the house tending. If there were children, I'm sure she'd be good at looking after those as well, but there are not. Are you able to move yet? My god, what's your problem, Sunshine? There we go, go to a proper bed. I have the wall light mod, but I'm still not good with light management. Um, I also have the low, uh, wall light mod, I believe. What is it under? Power? Furniture? Yeah, here we go. I put it in, but I end up never using it, because it's a significantly smaller amount of light, I believe. Awful bedroom, he's not going to like that, is he? And yeah, it's only one degree in there. But you know what? I don't really care. Slept and cold is only minus four. It's better than whatever he was getting for not having his own personal bedroom, I think. I'm not entirely sure. Oh god, these people are getting too happy. I gave them too much recreation time. No, 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 no. 
work more, be happy less. I can't handle you, uh... I can't handle you coming and saying, oh, life is good here, let me live here. That's not how things work. Oh, I just had a thought. Do you have any special abilities that could help? Yeah, only burden. Hmm. And Iona doesn't have any. I was just thinking about using them to kill these thrombos. I mean, I could trap them in here if I replace this with a wall. Oh, they'd probably go through my door if they had the chance. Or I could just erect one big wall here. Well, if they go, then too bad. Thrombo horns are pretty great. Actually, they're really good melee weapons, and Seru could do with one. Myriact could do with an upgrade as well. Uh, the Dom, the Dom Five VOD uses copywritten music, so the VOD got nuked. It will be back though. I'll put it onto YouTube. Should be there in a day or two. It'll take an age to process, but that's just how things go. One bit of slight excess on this. Hmm. Poison grizzly bears. Well now. She wants you to draw this pack of 16 man-hunting grizzly bears over to you. Well, in a way that's tempting, but I certainly couldn't deal with 16 grizzlies. I could wall this off so that no one gets in or out. And then I'd pretty much get that honor for free. Hmm. Hold that thought. I will... Uh, I need a quick water break. I'll be right back. some time for pretty much everyone to be asleep. I don't know why Iona... Wait, why are you not sleeping? It just says you're rest. Oh, you're probably resting off that horrific pain that you've got. And then Sarah's up in time to wake everybody up with the cleaning. Well, it's an important job. The better the barracks is, the happier everyone is. Unfortunately, that includes the people that I don't want to be happy. But look at Akuja. I'm actually surprised you haven't extended an offer to join. Oh, I know what will wake everybody up. A conversion ritual. That's right, everyone's in the right place for it. And look at that. Quite likely to be quite good. And I do want Lady Saru to join... Well, join us. So, let's do it. So, it's up to Super Pi, who... Oh, right, there's a thought. No one's good at social, are they? So, I don't think... Right, you've gained some familiarity on how to convince, manipulate, lead, and cheer up others. But maybe throwing Lady Seru onto the floor to discuss fear and safety isn't the greatest way to convert them onto your side. Remember, we're trying to convince Lady Seru that she is deeply guilty of many things, and the only way forward is for her to idealize being in pain, and to take this cripplingly bad precept on essential charity. 
kind of forces your hand in a lot of ways, but I wanted that for the uh, the extra pressure. You know, I've got spare beds. I'm actually going to stop having these people sleeping on the floor. And then between that and their very small amount of recreation time, I should be able to keep them unhappy enough. The purpose of life. Yeah, the purpose of life is to be nice and charitable. We've gone a long way without hacking people up for their skin and their meat. Although human meat is a great thing to use for kibble. Animals don't care if they eat humans. Only humans eat, uh, care about eating humans. And there we go. Masterful. Old beliefs seem to dissolve effortlessly. Our true knowledge is accepted. Everyone's actually happier because of that. Oh god, that includes my guests. I didn't want them to be happy. But how does Seru feel? Oh wow, just gets you done in a one. That's nice. And the cooldown for that isn't too bad. Oh, some people are going to be eating without table though after that. Oh, even even more so because I just stole one of the uh, one of the chairs. Right there you go, Rolly. Go and go and eat at the table. I'll go and put this really crappy stool over there. People don't sit for very long at the table, so it doesn't deserve the good ones. I'll just throw the crappy little stools over there. There we go, well that was good. Now all of our main party is belonging to the Burden of Sin. Yeah, instant. so does instant conversion only happen on Masterful? Oh god, there's a 20 day cooldown on it. No, no, there's a three-day cooldown on it, but uh, it's pretty bad unless you let 20 days pass. I remember that from doing gladiatorial fights. And another muffalo joins the herd. Excellent. Another muffalo to be slaughtered, Paul. Oh, you don't have anything else while you're out there. Well, bring it home. And I'll be bringing it home, all right. Are there any people that didn't submit names into the pool that want to be part of our uh, growing horse army? I don't know how big a load of horses I want, but I will likely... I'll try to get a fair amount of them, and then eventually I can... I'll have so many I can slaughter them to make kibble to keep the horses going in general. Right, we're going to have Tarkin then. Tarkin wants to be in. Tarkin... Alright. Did we ever find out what the etymology of that name was? And... Le Naru wants to be another one. There we go. Good. Bring more of those corpses over to the corpse pile. This one's rotting, but it's not making rot stink. That's probably because it's frozen, right? That uh, wouldn't surprise me. Right, there are there is yet more forest to be chopped down. I am so constantly hungry for wood. In a way, I'm surprised. But early game, so much of what you make is made out of wood. Then it transitions over to steel. Matthew Steel. What's this thing's problem? I suspect it's the lack of... Lack of power cabling around here. There we go, just run the cables underneath our so-called medical bed. Right, you, you are playing things up here, Pasky. Get the hell out of here. I don't go to bed, I don't even want you here. Leave. Why won't he just leave? I don't want him here. Ah... <laughs> uh. Even some of those burns are going to take forever to heal as well. Well, the main one's the one in his leg. Nobody said he could have a bed here. He's not even armed. There we go. It's a shame to put those in. Cables look ugly. But the barracks is still quite impressive, largely because of the day lilies that we keep around. And I do believe in those day lilies. Super pie, you know what to do. 
good job. Feels if anybody's getting legitimately cold. Can you tell if something is forced or not? It doesn't show up here if it's forced or not, but I want all of my colonists to be wearing only forced clothes. I think it is, because there's a comma there that usually comes before forced. I hate it when my colonists decide on their own whether or not they want to wear something. I tell you what, the meat that I have is fine, so I'm just going to clear all, all meat from there so it all gets shoved into my pathetic freezer. My pathetic freezer, which in all consideration could be a lot bigger. I'm glad I've got all these meals though, but I want more space for keeping meat. It says on the cleared force button in the assign tab what they're wearing. Thank you, that's handy. Yeah, it's all forced. Good, 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 good. Problem is that bowler hat doesn't give Professor a lot of warmth. Maybe I will want to give him a parka in due time, but a little bit of cold isn't going to kill the Professor. Tell you what, though, I'm always interested in keeping some components on hand, even though that raises my wealth yet more. And Professor. Actually, I want you to be studying these days. I think I took you clean off of... Ah, here we go. I don't want you doing any of this stuff. And I need to set myself a research task, which will be... Microelectronics. Let's make the big leap. I can't think of anything lower down that I really want. Our energy demands aren't high enough to really ju uh, justify going windmill or toxify or geothermal. Although he probably wants some noble apparel at some point. Hmm. Nah, they're not very warm, are they? And I do love Devil Strand. Devil Strand is heat resistant, so I don't think it's all that warming, is it? Hmm. But I do like Devil Strand. Nah, get on, get on microelectronics. That unlocks a whole lot of stuff that I love. Was it warning me about something when I chose that? Yeah, God knows. But I love the comms console. It's great for bringing in traders, and I certainly want traders. And I really want long-range mineral scanning so I can get um, I can get goods on tap. Vests are middle layer, so if you're not wearing something better there, that would help. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What kind of noble apparel does he even want? Cape, formal shirt. Hey, cape is cape is quite warm, I think, actually. He also wants a top hat or a beret. Oh, top hat! Top hat would be befitting for the professor. All right, it's not like noble apparel is a huge thing to have to. Uh, it's only four hundred. Get that, and then get microelectronics. You need traders to get rid of your illicit goods, Jake, or your raids are going to get quite tricky very quickly. I'm well aware of that. I've been hoping for a trader to come by. And I've also been thinking about just heading out to do some trading. And I still might do that. It's just that the, the trek to get over there, even along the roads, is quite a long way. I could go there, and there, and there, and I could even... Well, I can't trade with them because I don't have a royal title. It's just such a long way to go. There we go. He'll get that in due time. Then microelectronics, and then I can build a comms console and start bringing in people that I want and need. I'm also quite keen to expand my base in general out this way, just so I have a lot more space to work with. But this is probably going to start feeling like too much space when my temporary guests leave, and that's only in three and a half days. And I still haven't got Hakuja on my side. How could you do this to me? Again, people think they're sleeping in the cold. Is it really that cold in my base? I... well, they wouldn't be complaining if it weren't, so I guess I'm going to need another one of you. I'll just keep them next to each other. 
and we're doing alright on, on energy, largely because of this unstable power cell. Tell you, Hummingbird, once you've made my jackets, is there anything else I'd really want out of you? The professor wants a cape, apparently. Tooks are nice and warm and quite easy to make. And I should have a decent amount of blue fur after all that hacking apart. Yeah, and blue fur is kind of kind of warm and snug. Make me a make me like four toques, please, hummingbird. Eh, four. Make me three. I don't want to have too many. Slept in cold is less than twenty degrees. Oh man, I love sleeping in less than twenty degrees. Right, I'll have one aim for twenty. Two degrees and the other end for 21. That way hopefully they're not both working very hard both uh, at all times. And there we go. We produce slightly more than we consume, which is good. The more, the closer you are to 100% consumption, the more efficient these are, because these things pump out that power no matter what. They're kind of like Factorio nuclear reactors. Come on, do we have a, do we have a sculpture yet? Poor professor is in need. I see all this walking, going and getting the meal and coming back and eat it when they could just go pop, grab, eat. Non-paste is a disaster. Also, paste never makes you sick. Man, paste is so good. A group of travelers from the League of Eaton. Who are the League of Eaton? Ah, they're nice people, actually. Too nice, perhaps, but at least I've actually got some goods, so it's not like I'm eyeing them up thinking, oh, I want that. And they're too weak to take care of the uh, the thrombos. But oh, if I could take care of those thrombos. One way to go about it is to simply make them bleed enough that they're going to die. But that's still quite a lot of shots. And they are still going to be annoyingly manhunter-ish during that time. So I'd have to make sure no one goes out and uh, is spotted by them. I just... there's too much at risk in doing that. I wouldn't imagine sleeping in 20 or above. That sounds incredibly uncomfortable. Yeah, I like sleeping in the cold. Don't even see why it would be a negative aspect for these people. My right, James, it's, it's really comfortable here, isn't it? Excellent bed plus, um, plus dresser equals loads of comfort. Normal bed is a bit yeah, but that actually just tells me that my own colonists should get the really good beds. So if this is excellent, then Super Pie deserves a good bed. Kick you out of that and give this one to Super Pie. This one's good, good, normal, good, excellent for Hakuja is fine, because I want Hakuja to join me. Normal, normal, excellent. Well, Miriat already has it. And excellent. Oh, hell no, Lopsur. This sounds like... Oh, no, the professor already sleeps in a good double bed, which is also pretty comfortable. Professor, Myriad, Super Pie. Yeah, Lady Sarah can have this one, then. Forcing people to change beds in the middle of the night. Doesn't sound very charitable, does it? though. I mean, sleeping in two degrees might be considered a little bit cold for sleeping in, because the beds don't have any warmth for uh, with them as well. <laughs> Awful bedroom! <laughs> He'd be ha I think the professor would actually be happier sleeping in here. Then he wouldn't get this minus seven. Still complaining about eight without table. That's alright, though. The professor is largely happy enough. tempting it is to lay into that thrombo, but it would murder our people. Yeah, I don't really want to build a room to toast it alive. Sounds a little too close to kill Boxy, which I... I've gone on about not liking, so I can't then turn around and go, oh, I'm going to do that. Mm, I think not. But, nah, my, my mind might change in that in due time, we shall see. 
Wasn't I wanting to make like proper weapons here? If I made myself a couple of maces. And did I ever make that harp? Yeah, the harp is right there. I haven't noticed because I've been playing its annoying harpy noises. Nice chair for that. I'm going to, if I turn you on, I need to turn off something else that's consuming power. Because I only, well, I've got 330 watts spare, and this thing only uses 210, so actually, maybe, maybe. Oh, that's because the cooler isn't working anymore because it's cold. That still might be fine. Tell you what, I'm going to turn you on, and I'm going to make myself a couple of maces. Two maces made out of... I don't want to use my precious plast steel, I'll just use steel for it. 100 steel, two maces, might be good. That way Lady Saru and Miriact will have weapons that, they're, that are better than what they do have, and they won't hate them so much, I suspect. Of course, I just know the moment I have those, I'm going to find something better, and weapons don't sell for good money. But I'll do it anyway. in his awful bloody room. Don't worry, I'll eventually have a sandstone sculpture for you. If Saru can ever get to work. I mean, it's good that Saru's cleaning, but how about you just finish that off? Royal Ascent. Oh yeah, I often forget about this one, but I just bin it. We're not going to be doing Royal Ascension as our ending. I've never done it, but I want to build my own spaceship, because that way you get attacked. I think you get attacked for hosting the uh, the Ultra Council person as well. But last time we just... What did we do? We nuked him with a rocket launcher and turned him into a hat, if I recall well. and suddenly it looks like we have a lot more space. There we go. Much more space for meat. Far less space for fine meals, but in that case, what I should do is simply say that... Well, actually, manually or not manually? Manually, actually. Normally I'd like to automate, but... Because I'm also making kibble, I'd like to. I'd like to just eyeball it. If this goes low, start making kibble. If this goes low, start making fine meals. It's not like my people will die otherwise. I like that if he gets tired from his work at the smithy, he just needs to turn his chair and play the harp. Oh wow, that's an excellent chair as well. Excellent chair is pretty comfortable. Very active spy. This I will probably make someone into a mech individual, but that stuff gets very hungry on the steel. The mechanator. Oh, there we go, Professor. He's doing a great job at the research. The hell's Baxi still doing it? Could you please leave? Get out of here. Alright, once this is done, I'm going to clear your priority tasks. There you go, well done. And a, it's just a normal sculpture, but there you go, Professor. It's all yours. Hummingbird. No, you won't do hauling. And you guys certainly won't do hauling. Super pie hauling always feels like a waste of his, uh, his talents. But to that extent, what else could reasonably be done? I don't know, I largely have what I need for now. I suppose the main thing I should be considering is just better defenses. This should be good for a lot of raids that come in this way. But... Part of me worries about this. Tell you what, part of me worries a bit too much about that. I want all of this cleared away. And then I'm going to uh, tramp it up. Because all I need are some sappers to come and sap their way through this and then suddenly I'm in trouble. Also, damn, I bet those thrombos are leaving. Yeah, you are. It was a betrayal all along. 
Why is it always a betrayal? The refugees who asked to stay with you are turning against you. They had this treachery planned all along. Ugh, and Seru's not even armed. Right, Seru, go and grab the meatiest looking club there is. The steel club for one. Professor. Well, they're just going to turn on you, aren't they? I hope they're going to be uh, angry against Paxi. Oh, my days. Mm hmm 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 Well, there's Super Poor, Super Pie and Myriact out here, with Dinosaur probably coming to get them. So, Myriact, you take the front, Super Pie get behind, and shoot Dinosaur, who's probably coming for you. Lopasur, who are you gonna... Oh, you just Ice Hummingbird. Like I said, Lady Seru, you go and equip that Steel Club. Professor, I mean, maybe maybe you won't be bothered. Professor, you just keep doing what you do. And Ioana. Well, these guys are down here, thankfully. So if you just go and lay into Hummingbird, that might be okay. Lady Seru, get the club. And, oh! Oh, 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 oh! Oh, I kind of love having my royal assistance. All right, in that case, you guys get over here. Super Pie, put that liberated assault rifle to good use. Better use. Seru, you go and potentially help out with that. Actually, if you could kindly uh, strip them and then go and help out. Do -do 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 -do. Please prevent them from attacking Super Pie. Ah, Jesus. What's your problem here? They're right there, Super Pie. Can't believe you were my hero during uh, Xenonauts. Good, good, good. I mean, you're injuring those wet, those clothes that I very nicely gave them. God, oh my God, Lopasura is so good at what he does. And then Dinosaur is uh, getting shot in the head by Super Pie. I take back everything I said. Good. Oh man, Lopasur just can't be stopped. Putting the lop in Lopasur chopped off the arm? These two didn't get hurt at all. What are you thinking, Hakuja? Probably thinking I messed with the wrong people. If they were willing to uh, get rid of a kid over this, we're certainly willing to get rid of you. Alright, what to do, what to do. I don't have space for all these people but I'd rather they weren't here. I wonder if it's a little too much to just make a, make an example out of them by chopping them all up. I mean, we did our charity piece. Is it so wrong that we should be vengeful? Yeah, Zeus Hammer breaks torsos and heads. It's pretty amazing. Oh, they are coming over here. In that case, Seru, Lopsu, Ioana. Yeah, you better be fleeing. There we go, dinosaur is taken out. Maybe you can imprison and tame the one you actually liked. Well, the one I liked was Hakuja. The question is, am I actually going to be able to get them without killing them? Not if Lopasur has anything to say about the matter. Maybe Seru should... Oh, actually, maybe I can just shoot them harmlessly with Ioana. But if they take any permanent injuries here, well, they already have an itchy one. But itchy is good for us because she's going to be seeing the value of pain. Uh, right, you two did a good job. What am I going to do with you, though? Should I store the corpses in here? What I could actually do is set up a... Well, actually, it's pretty cold outside. Corpses kept outside will not spoil for a wee while. And they're not ugly to us. They're ugly to others, though. Hmm. Hmm, 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 I'm strongly considering just throwing the corpses into a corner with the consideration of maybe butchering them. But you'd need bloodlust to butcher them.
What's this set to? Important. All right, here's my thought then. Dumping stockpile uh, just outside the base right here, so it's kind of close to throw over there if need be. And this is going to be critically important for all fresh human corpses. Yeah, now let's see if we can grab you. Oh yeah, also... I mean, Saru should be the one to... Oh, there we go, and... No permanent injuries, right, I'm having you. I'm absolutely having you capture them. And I want to capture another one just so we can feel good about letting them go. But it has to be someone that can actually move. You're in extreme pain, but I think Paul... You know, Paul did us some good stuff. But maybe keeping them in the freezer is going to be pretty bad for them. Especially when they're that cold. I doubt space for, uh, for more prisoner keeping over there. Mm -hmm. I don't have a little hidey hole to shove people into, do I? No, I do not. There's always prof Oh, you know what? Professor's bedroom is going to become... Yeah, he's complaining about being there the whole time. Professor, go over here. This is going to become a... Prisoner place. It's actually going to be a pretty good prisoner place. And I could actually assign you for both of my prisoners. I'll force them to share a bed for now. Yeah. Okay, okay, let's see if we can get this then. Glad that the Professor was able to just keep on working during that time. So yeah, I'm gonna grab Paul, and I'm certainly gonna grab you. So capture, capture. I guess they don't like that then, you can't force them to share. Fine by me. There we go. And do I want dinosaurs goodies? They're pretty terrible, but probably better to be have them than not. Did I lose any further limbs aside from my finger? Just the finger. But yeah, so much for a sniper. And the, the annoying thing about fingers is you can't heal those easily. I mean, if it, let's say your entire arm was shattered, at least then I could just give you a prosthetic arm. But I'm not giving you a prosthetic arm over a missing finger. Uh, right. Right, right, right. I'm just... What, why is it default to find meals? Default to nothing! Is there a way to set the defaults? Regular colonists. And neutral factions. Colony and uh, I'm not sure I want to give nice medicine to my animals. I'll have that here. Although, for now, you get good medicine and you get good ish medicine. I have it, so I may as well use it. Mm -hmm. No, no, it's against our it's against our creed to do that. Okay, who is actually our medic then? It's Myriact, but Myriact is injured. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be fine for manipulation. Uh, go and tend to Paul and then Hakuja. And first off, Hakuja is going to be... Uh, they don't have a lot of will, do they? Uh, I'm going to convert you first. Can't believe it. They were so close to leaving that they decided to betray me. But my decision to actually just go and tell them, no, you're not allowed weapons here, ended up being a good one. Hypothermia shivering. Yeah, you're right, it's not warm in here, is it? Come on, you're good for eight degrees. I don't know if that's growing or not for them. It's not going down. <laughs> it's okay, though. Uh, all I'm going to do with you is tell you to piss off as soon as you're able to walk. So there we go, you're you're being sent out to set the example. And Takuja, despite you not being good at dumb labor, and that's really annoying. Bloodlust, plants, and medicine are really good. And I always like having melee and constructions. It's gonna be nice to have another constructor. 
bloodlusting child. Villagers thought her the product of a snake demon and a human coupling. Her human father betrayed and murdered her mother. She longed to see how many more humans she could get to fall into her hands. So you were behind it all. <laughs> but you also took time to admire the beauty of the world. It's funny the way these things go. Uh, Hakuja probably still wants some healing, Miriact. Yeah, there we go. It's nice having some actual meds. Yeah, there we go. You just get the heck out of here. Although I regret not stripping you already, but at least you'll be able to get off the map like this. Get them addicted to drugs or let him go. If they return in a raid or whatever, they'll carry a stash for you. I've tried that with Luciferian before, but I find it very unreliable. What the heck's Hummingbird doing here? Just sitting naked, dying, but bleeding all over the place. Lopiser, could you see to that, please? Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh, there's one of them still kicking. Yeah, squeal like a freaking pig, Rolly. Uh, and see, this is why I disable uh, Annoyed by Corpses for my colonists. You just killed them, because they were trying to kill you, but you immediately go, Oh, I saw a corpse. Yeah, no kidding, you killed it. There we go. You'll be fine in Professor's bedroom, at least until it gets really cold. Then I might need to rethink that a bit. But actually, what I could do is... Well, depends how nice you think your prison is. As a prison goes, it's actually slightly impressive. And if they're happier, that does make it a bit easier to recruit them. Although the mind-shattering pain is probably not doing them any good. Oh, no fine meals for you, it's just paste. Imagine giving fine meals to you. All right, well, there goes a lot of my labor. I guess I'm not getting those maces. Then we're down to far fewer hands, so we're a lot more fragile for an incoming raid. Low mood makes it better to convert them, right? Yeah, I wonder what your resistance is on that. That's fine, we'll chip away at that, and then once we have that, we'll convert you over to our side. I find it easier to chip this away whilst they're in prison. Iona's got that shooting friends, they see you got the bloodlust flowing now. Dead and dead, and I said I was considering putting... Oh, okay great, we've got our noble apparel, now I'm definitely going for my microelectronics. Oh, I see. This is what the warning sign was. Well, I don't care. I'm not going to build an auto bong. Ah, nice to see the professor just taking a moment. We rejected a joiner who'd planned to betray us, professor. Don't be so unhappy about it. And yeah, that minus six from no personal bedroom isn't quite as bad as the awful bedroom and slept in cold. Although I got that noble apparel, right? So maybe I should make him the infection. Oh my goodness. That's okay, you'll be fine. It's just on your shoulder. That'll heal. Top hats don't strike me as particularly warm. A tall, stiff, shiny hat. Cape, elegant, insulation. I need to remind myself what he actually wants. Wants the acolyte specific apparel, cape, formal shirt, top hat. So I need to get him a top hat, a cape, and a formal shirt, probably. Mm -hmm. Top hat. Okay. I wonder formal vest would maybe shirt and vest would be a good idea for him. And after all, it does go in the middle. All right, formal shirt, formal vest, one of each, and sucks that professor is my best crafter because the professor is meant to be researching right now. Question is, what do I make it out of? 
part of that question is what do I have? Blue fur is the warmest. Yeah, the warmest out of everything I have, so. Blue fur vest for 45. And between that's 110, leaving me with 70. Cape needs 80 though, so maybe the cape should be made out of something else. Plain leather, light leather, cloth. Ooh. You know what? Maybe I'll get a I'll get some more uh, blue fur out of another muffalo that I get, and then the top hat can also be made out of blue fur. It's just all made out of blue fur. It's what we've got, so it's what we'll use. I don't think I have any muffalo wool though. Oh, well, hey, I've got 98 of it. We we'll missed that. Can the cape be made out of wool? Yes, yes it can. Sweet. All right, in that case, I should have enough for everything else. Brilliant. Well spotted. You just saved a muffalo's life there, Holmes. And yeah, Lord Sarah, masterful ceremony saw to it that you saw the light. And it just fists. Imagine if those people all had the clubs they came with. Clubs... Very primitive, but they do quite a lot of damage. Ruff. Using the head, it can do 14. Could remove an eye with that. Could break off fingers and toes with that. And a couple of shots to the head and you're dead. Yeah, not ideal. Do these things have value? Doesn't say they have wealth value. React. There's a lot to do when you wake up. Oh, cross that bridge. Right, you're on. Oh god, nobody's seen to you. Who's our medic again? Our top doctor is Miriact. Maybe, maybe we should tend to that infection, considering we actually want them. I wonder if that counts as doctoring or if it counts as wardening. Deliver food, feed, and slave. No, no, I think it's doctoring. Babying these people. Alright, there we go. No longer capable of walking, but I highly doubt you're going to be in a hurry to break out of here. Having multiple doors to a prison increases the chance of them trying to escape. But that shouldn't be a problem here. Also, Saru, you're not going to be happy holding on to that despised weapon, are you? Wait, you don't seem to care. I thought Saru... Oh, of course, we converted you, so you no longer have this problem with Neolithic weapons. Well, that is good. Now you can keep using that steel club until I get better weapons. It's just so sad to be using clubs. We should be beyond this by now. But we are not. Yesterday, an unarmed furry took two legs in my colony. That strong melee damage is no joke, precisely. Right, I, knew these, I knew these plants would be dying. The cold is taking them lives, their lives. It's minus 11, and it's about to get all snowy. Which is a problem, probably, for you, because it's minus 8 degrees in here. You're probably going to start getting uh, hypothermic. Do I give you a jacket? I guess I'll give you a jacket. I think I have one lying around somewhere. I don't want to give you my excellent one for now, though. I do have some nice clothes, though. Anyway, this normal jacket. Uh, professor. Pick that up and bring it over to our, uh, our esteemed guest. There you go. Go and wear that. Oh, whoa, 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 get away. I think they'll go and wear that. Normally they go and grab clothes that are in uh, prison with them, and you have space for it. Middle, skin, and that's outer torso, right? Yeah. Well, hopefully you grab that. What bothers me is that now I'm mixing men and women, and that means they might start mating. I really want to tie up some tubes. When do we research, uh, whatever they're called again? Oh, I passed by it. Well, there's always a way to take care of that, if it comes to pass. 
Last time Jake complained about advancing too fast, this time he feels sad about having to use a club. Randy tries his best, but there's no appreciation. I think Randy's only really sent one or two raids my way, which is... He's not, he's not trying hard enough. Why are we making another one, Seru? I can't remember, but some uh, some statues will go a long way. Hopefully to making the professor think he doesn't have too terrible a bedroom. I'm surprised you didn't turn children off altogether. I find them awful to play with. Yeah, I'm not going to be having children in the colony, but I quite like the idea of having uh, children invade the place. It's all because in, in another game I played, I was checking out the new uh, biotech features, and there was a child that came as part of a refugee group, and then a raid airdropped on top of him and threw a Molotov on his face, and I couldn't stop laughing. And that one solidified the idea that I would turn children on, but only as soldiers. Of course, the side effect to that was that we we had a, a woman and a child join us earlier in last session, and I was assured that if there's a child as part of the refugees, they will never betray you. That child single-handedly betrayed me. He got beaten to death in his bed and then, well, I did spare his life. We let him go. All right, and it'll take a wee while, but getting microelectronics is a huge lift up, mostly for the comms console. Unfortunately, I suppose I don't have any allies yet. Well, where are we even seeing that? Here we go. But it shouldn't be too hard to ally the League of Eaton, and when I do, I can call them over for trade, and then I plan on getting a lot of their good stuff. Of course, again, I feel like I'm a bit starved for space in doing something like that, but yeah, I can I can expand my operations. I just never want to go underground. Too dangerous. Oh, speak of the devil, here's the Ergo people. Cockroach. The Who names their kid Cockroach? I don't think they like that kid very much. You know what? I want a healthy amount of wood over here. Maybe that's a little too healthy. Let's shrink down the zone. I want this to be a critical place for wood. And only wood. And never refill it unless it's empty. Hopefully this isn't critical for wood. No, it's only important. Good. So a little bit of um, efficiency here. The wood is brought over to... Uh, Super Pyre, think about what you're doing. Bring it over to here. Why is he not hauling it here? Well, he's not just thinking about what he's doing here. Come on, man. Please, please. I'm trying to be smart here. Okay, well, he insists on unloading the inventory over there. Oh, right, I see the problem. I immediately see the problem. Because that thing's not set to refill yet. There we go. I was too smart for my own good. Anyway, the point is I want people to unload the wood here because it's faster to fill up their inventory with wood and drop it off than just grab whatever they can hold in their hands. So the wood is going to be transferred down here, and then I'm going to make a load of traps and then just get rid of this. I would also be quite a bit happier if this were larger. So that way, if we do end up with sappers coming our way, there's considerably more work for them to get through. There we go. Ah, that's right. The professor is making his research before he makes his clothes. Easily sorted. I'll just put Taylor into a higher priority, make him rethink about what he's doing, and then... Bada bing, bada boom. Shouldn't take too long. Making clothes always feels like it takes uh, forever, though. But look at that, everybody's really happy. Lord Seru, are you still... No, you're not in catharsis, you're just extremely happy. They love this barracks, they don't even mind sharing it. Super Pie's the only one who's a bit down on his luck, why is that? Rebuffed, he tried to create a romance with Dinosaur, but you ended up killing Dinosaur. 
look, I mean, you know, if you if you wanna if you wanna try and re relight the magic, no one's probably gonna stop you. They'll judge you, but they won't stop you. No one's gonna stop Super Pie. This is good. Levels level up up to level ten is permanent. I think might, there might be mental breaks that make you lose some skill, but let's just say it's permanent. But anything above 10 needs to be maintained. If you reach, say, level 12 in cooking and then spend a quarter of not cooking at all, chances are you're going to degrade down to level 11 or even 10. Maintaining someone at level 20 is extremely hard. They need to basically spend every waking hour doing that job. Still working on the animals, or did I? I think I took everybody off of taming. But the muffalos are still out there, and they're relatively close by. So, who's our best? Ah, Super Pie, you're our best. Super Pie can get on with that. Actually, I say that, but Lady is just as good. There we go, lovely relaxation. I'm treating my people too well. Come on, Randy, where's the pain? I didn't set this on 500% so I could have an easy time. That's why the quality builder mod is so good for maintaining at least one high level builder. Yeah. I want my high level building doing all of my... Um, all of my building work that is dependent on quality. This one really unowned? There we go. Professor, you can have the best bed. Professor's got his top hat. I'm going to force him to wear it. There we go. That's a bit more Professor-like. The bowler hat was pretty cool, though. Uh, I kind of want to get some dye so I can make it black, but I'm not here to play The Sims. May react. Club that seal to death. It's not a seal, but club it anyway. Right on the head as it slept. Frankly, if you want pain, you should swap to Cassandra. She's more consistently ch- Hello? Oh, dear God, there are 42 of them. <laughs> okay, uh, well. Well, well, well. Do I leave them out there, or do I not? The idea of getting another raid that has to deal with these rats amuses me. They've got Scaria as well. Mm. Well now. I want them out here and, the and me right here. But just in case this fails... Super Pie, get to work! Rats aren't known for being slow. There we go. Just gonna keep them outside and keep me in here and I'm gonna disable these doors so nobody leaves this area. Waste rats though. Toxin and that okay right, so that's to do with the new pollution mechanic. Oh, I really don't want them to kill themselves on my traps. Wasting... how much is this? 35? 45 wood worth of trap being wasted on a rat is just... well, like I said, a waste. There we go. They stay out there, and then maybe I'll get lucky and I'll have a raid that has to deal with that. That amount of rats would kill a few invaders. But if it ends up being like 10 or more people, they'd kill the rats, I'm quite certain. Yeah, I like Randy because I like the random aspect. Sure, it ends up with a lot of downtime, but then he, he could just really turn around and kick your ass so hard, and it feels good. Alright, sleep it off, everybody. Uh, uh. Sweet. 
smoke spewer is not the worst thing in the world. Flash storm is pretty bad. Is that that thing's immediately operational, isn't it? Yeah, from It'd be great if they would wake up. And then my rats could deal with them. All those rats down there. Do I still have my grenades, by the way? Whoa, now. I want those back. I forgot those, those things uh, got dropped when I tried to take this out. Oh, that's pretty bad. The infection is not being treated well enough. Contend now. Mm -hmm. I could save you by using Glitter World Medicine, and that's exactly what it exists for. Glitter World are up. May react, you're my go-to. Tend to them. They were, they were not healing fast enough for that infection, and I'm not taking a chance on that. I tell you, part of the problem is that we're doing this in complete darkness. That's not aiding the, uh, the tending whatsoever. There we go. 115% tend. That'll definitely take care of that infection. Also, you've got hypothermia. <laughs> Wear your clothes, for God's sake. That's what they're there for. Is there a way to force you to wear this clo uh, this stuff? I don't think there is. Oh yeah, and certainly let's not keep you on Glitter World. We're not looking for that. I think unassigning that would be a problem. Yeah, I don't want to lose you to hypothermia or frostbite. Mm, how much is it for a campfire? I'll just shove a campfire in there to warm you up. 20 wood's not the end of the world. That flash storm could hit there, that'd be very fun. Oh Christ, all my wood! Okay, I better hope for some rainfall to preserve all that wood. But we're not leaving here for a wee while. Yeah, that's another thought. Let's see if it would work if I did this. No, nope, she just refuses to wear it. I think that's because she's always going to bed to rest up. If she weren't um, horribly maimed, she'd probably go and put that on. But I don't have time, she's freezing. Hang on, I just had a brilliant idea. I'm going to put a vent in here, and that way you're going to share the temperature. Ugh, but that removes the wall, doesn't it? Ugh. That's okay, though. We have ways around this. I thought I had build over that prevented this. I wish you could just have vents inside the walls rather than having to tear it down first. Right, here's the idea. Wooden wall there. Actually, wooden wall there and there in case it stops me building a vent because it's being blocked. Does it work like that? Temperature, vent. Oh yeah, it can be built. Or can it? Yeah, it can. Awesome. Okay, in that case, one little bit of wood there should be fine. Now build that. The lengths I go to to keep my people good. You used wall over vent once, but decided it was too cheesy for some reason. Okay, well, I don't feel that way now. I wonder if it's under one of my mod options. 
Or maybe I had it as a separate mod. I thought it was under replace stuff. Hide the normal cooler. Hide those nifty overwall coolers from build menu. No, don't. I like those. There we go. Well, too late now, but I can do that later. What's so good about the prisoner? Well, it's just nice to have more than four people, but uh, it'd be nice to have an excellent medic. Plants, I always think, is great to have, and they can be good at construction in Malay. Animals as well, because I will need to look after animals. Right, one last thing, Super Pie, and that should keep our prisoner from freezing to death. Killer and healer. Interesting trait combo. Uh, trying to make a good reference here, but his name escapes me. Okay, here we go. Just ask Harold Shipman, PhD. No, my traps! I think that can just barely not reach my traps. Yeah, that should be okay. I don't want it to reach my wood either. Also, I think giant smoke cloud is going to prevent, wa uh, prevent water from ever coming here. Ah, oh, crumbs. If it weren't for these tox rats, I'd happily go out and deal with these. There are tox rats. Mm. Now that you've had a few bites, have you warmed up to the non-body modding aspects of the DLC? I don't really think there's anything that much of value in the DLC. But I just love RimWorld, so I'll take it. Ah, oh, damn those Tox Rats. I wonder if they'll notice if I actually come up here. Because I need to handle the fire, otherwise it's going to do very nasty things to my... to my stuff. And I like my stuff. How long do I have you guys for? Another 8.7 days. Hey, Miriact, how would you like... Oh, no, you're great at Malay. All right, Lady Seru, how would you like to be a gren grenadier? God, the grenades are still out there and still dying. Right, finish that off, and then go and equip these grenades. Brawler will be unhappy. Of course you will. Then I'm going to hope that the rats don't aggro on me all the way up here, and I'm going to take care of this smoke spewer. It's got to go or else there won't be any rain, and that means this fire is just going to spread all around here, taking out all this wood that I really want. Thankfully my traps are okay, but still, yeesh. But that means that I kind of need this wall to become a door. Superpie, please work on that door. It's just wood. Yeah, but I like lots of wood. You're also grabbing a good sandstone sculpture. Good, you say? I know someone whose throne room needs to be better. Is he going to complain about his throne room now? Yeah, there we go. It's like a deliberate insult on my uh, from my inferiors. Pretty bad. Don't worry, let's dream about the day that the Professor has a nice bedroom. And let's see if we can't get you folks up and over here to deal with this as a matter of priority.
Uh, maybe Miriak's a bad, bad addition to this. Right, are the rats... Yeah, that kind of looks like a bee lining, doesn't it? I do not like the fact that Lady Seru is the one going in with the grenades. Hey, Lopasur. This is locked, huh? So I definitely can't make you equip something else. Hey, your clothes aren't locked. Ayoana? Okay, you're... Oh, everything of yours is locked. Da -da -da -dun, da -da -da -dun. Who's got that smoke pot belt? Someone else had it, didn't they? Yeah. <clears throat> That's a pretty good way to take these things out without being targeted. There we go and equip the uh, the smoke pot belt. Okay, oh, the rats are having second thoughts. That's good. So my brilliant idea here is that I'm going to just smoke pot this, destroy that from whatever range I can throw grenades. Is that really a good idea, Mary Act? I mean, there's a lot of rats, aren't there? No, I don't, Bane. Although it's probably going to be quite rare for a while. Right. Yeah, jeez, I, I don't actually want you coming out here, Miriact. I should have done this a long time ago, but I'm going to do it now. I'm going to add a new area, and that is going to be called... Stay Inside. And stay inside basically means all of this is kosher, but don't you dare go out beyond our wall. Even this should probably be taken off of it. And I'll probably do another one down the line, which is uh, don't even leave our little barracks. But that's going to be for real emergencies. And i got to hand it to Randy. He's not being big on throwing me really real emergencies. Is this injured? No, there's a, there's a tree on it. But come on, Randy. I don't have 500% on for my health here. There we go. And that way what I can do is I can tell everybody to stay inside so they don't go out and aggro all the, uh, all the rats. Right. One complication, of course, is a scyther. But there was always going to be a complication. In that case, Lopasur is going to be taking the choppings for us. This should stop everything in the area. Oh, oh, I can also burden the thing, can't I? Yes, yes I can. Right. Super Pie, Lady Seru, you're all the back. Lopasur takes the melaying. Lady Seru should be central enough to smoke pop it. And close enough to lob some grenades in that general direction. Yeah, that's good. Just keep throwing those. And then let's probably just get this going immediately. And then I want you to burden that thing. And I want the both of you to just keep smashing into that with guns. It's good. It's very good. This thing is so deadly though. The weapons that the Scyther has. I don't know if they're shown here. I thought they would be. But yeah, that thing can just slice through, and Lopasur is not exactly wearing the greatest anti-slicing weapon uh, armaments. Yeah, for example... Oh god, he got stabbed in the head! <laughs> Even cracked his skull. Okay, we need a lot less of that, please. And I need you to hit that with that before the smoke disperses. 
Lopasura doesn't feel so good. His toe got cut off. He's getting he's getting very hurt. Oh god, he's very, very hurt. He's down. Please, please, please shoot that thing. I wonder if our aiming is being uh, hurt because of this. Yeah, blind smoke is hurting it. Oh god, he certainly does not feel so good. Should we... Should we step back? That thing's moving is way down. We almost certainly should get away. That thing is gone now. We don't need to worry about staying inside the smoke. So just get the heck back. And don't accidentally shoot Lopasur. Oh, dear god. Please tell me that's not going where I think it's going. Phew! <laughs> maybe, maybe, Seru, just... Throw it, to where it, throw it to where it's going. Okay, great, 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 great. Now get over there. Uh, Super Pie, rescue Lopasur. Wait, what? Oh, dear lord, there was another one hiding under there. Seru, blow it up. Iona, stick over here. Super Pie should still rescue Lopasur before he dies horribly. Those cuts were nasty. Now take it out. And you shoot that. That should be clean. Yeah, it's all gone. Great. Now get over here before rats have a different idea about what we should be doing. There we go. Handled with utmost care. This fire really doesn't spread very much, does it? Oh right, you're you're not even capable of um, of dealing with fire. Also, who's our medic? I think it's Miriact. Yeah, I could I could do with you your medical help here, Miriact. We got we got a bleeder. All right, yeah. I suppose cutting that that tree is the more important thing right now. But that's that taken care of. Away we go. And I, ha I still have one shot of that pot thing, so that's good. Uh, maybe... Pick that up before you come back inside, please. And take care of that fire as well. Oh, but I hate that. You know what, Seru? You're gonna, do you're gonna take care of that fire as well. Because I do not want all this spreading to my glorious wood. <laughs> it really doesn't feel very good. <laughs> and all the rats are hanging around down there. And even though we've got other things going on, let's keep the spike traps around. This is pretty last resorty. Certainly don't want anyone coming through here, but I do want to be ready for it. There we go, that'll give Super Pie something to do for a while, and I'm just going to feel a lot more safe. At least until fire comes and destroys all those. Alright, Seru. Don't even beat that fire out, do this. Throw a grenade at it. Little trick we had from earlier. Explosives deal with fires as well. Lopasur's name is kind of like Jake Luck. It doesn't matter if he's doing the loping or getting uh, the lopping or getting lopped. There will simply be more. Hang on, is this counting as wait what? Well, I'm going to be pretty grateful for all of these rats. They're going to help me out with this wee raid. The Pact of Lurit have arrived, approaching from multiple angles and immediately attacking. Okay, well, the immediate attack I'm not thrilled about. The rats could deal with them. Look, that single fire isn't going to hurt anybody. Get away, Lady Seru. 
These guys will probably die to the traps, and the others will die to the rats. And you can finally have your crummy steel club back. But for the love of god, please hold the frag grenades in here. Fortunately, even if it's a 1% condition, it still is as good as anything else. But I don't want that to completely degrade, I always want the option to be doing that. Hold on, is there something here? There's a mech node. In fact, generally there are goods here, that's nice. It used to be very thankless whenever you um, when you took out a mech cluster or mechs in general, but now they carry plasteel, steel, and components. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you guys are so dead. That's actually a problem if I want to take any of you, because some of you might be worth my time. I'm sure the questions coming up are any of them are custom guys. Jay, Huntsman, Gorilla, Gorgar. I don't think any of them are. They certainly don't look like it. Is there an easy way to check? I think the easiest way to check is actually to check their ideology. Is it under records? Probably under misc. There we go. If it's of the if it's of our ideology, then they're probably a custom character. There was a horror movie years ago about man eating rats, and this seems like it. Well they're infected with scaria, so. They will hunt. Yeah, there they go. And these guys are going to get toxic build-up because they're getting nibbled by them. Yeah, so like I said, that sucks if I want any of them. But what am I really looking for in my colony? Tough is always nice. Fast learner and industrious is an amazing combination. But it's a Neanderthal, so bleh to him. So you guys are... I think you're going around to help your friends with the rats? Hmm. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> nice of them to bring me some drugs as well. Meanwhile, Super Pie just obliviously keeps working on his traps. Wonderful. There's a reason I made these out of stone. They're going to be much more durable. And it doesn't matter that stone is really slow to open as doors go. So there we go, that's pretty much the perfect outcome for me in a raid. I like it when my raids fight each other. It just saves you so many resources. That's really the aim of the game. Here's some of our charity free rats! <laughs> yeah, let's see. Extreme toxic buildup, that could easily cause cancer. Extreme, extreme, extreme... Their gear isn't worth caring about that much. Well, you know, a cloth bark is still worth some money, but we're not in a very good position to trade. They're big on their sashes. No, what I'm once these rats eventually die or bugger off, I will certainly be coming out and grabbing their drugs. And are any of you bringing some delectable drugs as well? 130 silver? It's as good as any drug. <laughs> Even chinchillas and Yorkshire Terriers, in enough number, are just... No no unit is good enough to take him on. I guess maybe a, maybe a uh, mech caterpillar would be, but that's your lot. But yeah, I'm not really in a position to still take on 22 of these rats. I could actually fight them. I could, I could hold up a defense here. But I don't want to waste my traps on these rats. And I don't think any of these people, well, now that they've got serious toxic build-up, I certainly don't want them, but... It's probably not worth it, right? I'm already working on grabbing somebody. And hey, Professor's room isn't hypothermically cold now, it's just regular cold. Actually, wow, it's getting really cold in here, it's only 15 degrees. But I don't really have the power to keep going with more of these. I could build one more heater. I guess I'd better. Hope my horses are all right out there. Horses are good to minus 35. A cold snap would do them in, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Plus, they're making lovely horsey noises. Wish my room was 15 degrees. I'm trying to accustomize myself to sleeping and just generally being in warmer places that I've previously been comfortable with. And I'm doing all right. 
I can sleep in 26 degrees now. That's quite the accomplishment for me. Good, these bodies won't start uh, going off. Although I don't think that's enough bodies to justify keeping around. I might just blow them up. 26, I'd die. <laughs> I know the feeling. But I do my best. Still wish I had some better weapons, but I want Professor to spend his time researching. Which he's not doing, he's playing horseshoes, throwing a horseshoe over the butcher table and the kitchen. Good going, Professor. Poor Lopasur. So again, remind us why you're here. Lopasur is a yeoman fleeing political trouble. They want to hide here at the Throne of Ascension, which I spelt incorrectly, and I don't know if I can change the name. Um... You must keep his mood above 40. <laughs> he's, he's too knocked out to change his mood. If people are unconscious, their mood doesn't change, and he wants it to be lower. Well, oh, too bad for you. Even 26 would be good. Must sleep under a fan, because it's hot. That yeah, sounds pitiable. Save editor, maybe. Yeah, maybe. We'll just live with it. I lived with... Gamp Granada. I'm sure I can live with Throne of Ascension. You know, when I huddled myself into the wall here, I could have dealt with hypothermia by going over the steam geezer. I don't think I thought about that. I don't particularly like it because it blasts a ton of heat. So you jump between being too hot and too cold. Anyway, job well done. The threat neutralized and I didn't lift a finger. And of course, I'll be having that silver, that smoke leaf, and that psychite tea. I thought that was a silver equa. It is not. Undergrounder, fast walker, child, but Neanderthal. I'm pretty, pretty much only interested in base types. Not a fan of the gene modding part. I hope Lady Seru wakes up and cleans the place eventually. We want one colonist for seven days. And that's not worth the honour. A whole week of losing uh, labour? Yeah, no thank you. I never take those missions that involve giving up your colonist. Maybe someday I will, but not now. No, no wild animals breed, Glue Glue. Only domesticated animals breed. Does it, no, no, chari that we're not counting charity work here. Just being charitable. You can tell if something is charitable because it has this. I can't believe we got betrayed on both of them, though. They certainly took their time. Whoa, I thought these were meant to not be refueled. I don't really care about the uh, crappy throne. Can we send sick colonists? Then they can come back healthy. I think their sickness continues. I've never tried it, to be honest. I just see it as a bad, a bad use of resource. Can't get betrayed if you betray first. Yeah, but then we feel bad about it. We don't feel bad about being betrayed. We just feel bad about betraying. The freezer's in such a bad position. I should have it close to where all my food is. Uh, where my table for eating is, rather. Which does mean I could move this over here. Not so far to go, but ah, it's not that big a deal. There we go. You got your immunity built up. Once that goes away and these fully heal up, well then hopefully I can start getting to work on your cultish feelings. Hey, would you mind trying to convert our friend here? Well, when they wake up then. No, I don't think it's th th This is old blood. Blood of Kur Kolas, who I'm pretty sure is one of the Imperials. Yeah, I'm not cleaning this place up. That, that throne is a token throne for the Professor. But look at that, a masterwork meditation throne. I would, I would sell that if the opportunity was good. But speaking of Professor... Oh yeah, he's still making his bleeding cape, isn't he? It's a lot of work. 
I want you to be researching, not making capes. But you're the best one, so you're the one that should be doing it. There we go. See, now that they don't hang around in bed, they're- wait, they're still not getting it? What took your clothes, you idiot? I left them there for you. You are hard to please. Alright, Miriact. No, not Miriact. Uh, Super Pie. Once you've done building all that, I would like you to please convert our friend. I mean, whether she likes it or not, too bad. She's stuck in jail. Oh, it was a really poor cape. Oh, well, whatever. Wear it anyway. There we go. Failed to convert. They were upset, but their certainty did fall. Well, that's what we're trying to do. There we go. Poor forced cape. Oh, but you're actually... you're happy with the uh, clothes that you're wearing now. In that case, I don't think I want you to spend loads of time making that formal shirt and uh, vest. Let's suspend that for now. And just cancel that out. Temperature range is still good for minus 17. It's not amazing, considering it's... oh, it's only minus 9 out there. Not a problem. I feel so smart for not letting my enemies be armed. And we grabbed ourselves another couple of foals, in fact. Won't be long until we start thinking about butchering our horses to keep the meat economy running. But uh, I'm looking forward to when it gets warmer and we can ride our horses around the map and sell our drugs. Because we got a lot of drugs. So what's that? One, two, three, four. About 450 drugs, and each of them have a value of 14. Probably the majority of our wealth is coming from those drugs that are doing nothing. I need to get them sold. Pretty much anybody buys Flake, but I... Hello. A tournament fighter named Sale is crashing nearby. She's not affiliated, but you can rescue them or capture them, but it's a charity incident. But there's a lot of rats. Oh my god, the rats. Please tell me they're gone. They are out there and maddened, but they're largely sleeping. Okay, let's have a look at you. Ooh, I want that warg. 40% chance of... Uh, yeah, okay, no thank you. Sale, what's your situation? You've been shot in the leg and your spine is broken. But you've got a really nice Devil Strand parka. You're nimble. But you're crap. <laughs> hey, apparently you're my religion. Wait, does that mean someone made sale? Ooh, I'm not sure. I do not know. The fact that there are a religion makes me think maybe, but I didn't keep track of everybody that was submitted. Anyway, I need to go and rescue you. Who's the fastest person we've got? Super Pie, you're a jogger. I want you to just dump the stuff you're holding on to and go and rescue sale. This is our act of charity, don't you know? Yeah, the cooler is just using a tiny amount of power. It just says low, but thankfully we can check here and see it's using only 20 watts. So that's okay. I don't see them on the list. Okay. Wait, what list? Oh, well, I guess it's just a happy coincidence that they are our ideologian. Tempting as it is to strip them, I will actually help them out. I'll nurse them to health. Uh, would you mind if I stripped you, actually? I mean, really? Because a Devil Strand parka is really good. Devil Strand is just, just good in general. I mean, it's warm enough indoors, and you're going to be healing up indoors. Honestly, have a heart. There we go. Now, please pick that up, pick that up, pick that up, and then rescue sail. Quickly now, before any rats get the idea of taking it out on you. 
There we go. We're being very charitable. What I'm doing here, Marvin, is that I'm not giving our guest any sense of guilt. They're going to feel like they've already paid us back for the kindness we're about to give them. You know that awkward feeling when someone does something really nice for you, and you're like, oh man, what can I do back for them, right? I feel like I'm I feel like I'm just take, take, taking and giving nothing back. Well, now we are giving something back. Oh man, that was a better Devil Strand Parker. Why didn't I steal that? I think the guy was already dead. Go slow to drag these people. Also, just dump, dump, dump. Someone will put those away for us. Poor guy's probably bleeding all over the place. He was shot in the leg. And cracked in the spine, although I don't think we get to know why. Wait, what? No, I don't you here. Sail is thankful that you rescued him. He decided that he'd rather stay than leave, and he's joining your colony. I don't I don't want you. Chemical fascination is bad. No skilled labor is bad. Oh, well, it would be uncharitable to let him go. No plants, no cooking. I suppose he can be our animal art doctor. Can you actually make drugs? No, I think that counts as refining, doesn't it? Oh, God, look at all these things he can't do. I, uh... I don't like you. Just make him the cleaner. Yeah, but... No. <laughs> yeah, I guess he's a meat shield, so what if he dies? Okay, right, well, if you're going to be our colonist, then sure. I will tend to you with... I want you better faster, so I might actually use industrial medicine on you. And by I, I mean Myriact will do that. And then once you are feeling better. You can put on those clothes I stripped away from you. Is he better at research than the professor? 16 for professor, 8 for you, so far from it. But he'd be a great secondary researcher, and there will probably be a point where we want a secondary researcher. He can barely move, but once he can move, let's put him to work. Firefighting, patienting, you are going to be a doctor in training, so I'll have you be our assistant doctor. Nursing isn't actually very good for a doctor to do. It's something anybody else should be taken care of. You can be our surgeon as well. Uh, I don't care about bed rest so much. Nobody should be doing childcare. I guess you can be our cleaner. That way Lady doesn't have to do so much cleaning. And you can focus more on other things. Artistic 6. Is that better than Lady? No, far from it. So you're not even best for that. And it would take a while before you become good with animals. You just... Uh, you really are just a meat shield for us. I hope you die. Right, who wants to be Sale? Now that I've said all these lovely things about it, let's give Sale a proper name. Who wants to join... Preferably somebody that has not submitted a character already. Oh, nice, 100% on you, but that's the last of the good medicine you get. Right, 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 right. Where is it under? Bio, here we go. Let's give you a much better name. Uh, your name is going to be Holmes, after Tim Holmes. And I'm hoping to just chuck you away. I suppose it's good that you are my ideologian already. And let's make sure that you are given the appropriates. You get recreation time. Uh, let's still stay inside. Those tox rats are probably still out there, aren't they? They are, and they're still mad as a hat. No, oh God, Lady Sarah was on no medicine. Um, be this on colonists for now. Just eat. You you don't deserve good food. You're on you're on the paste, and I want everybody on no drugs. Unfortunately for me, you have a you have a ticking need for drugs. This here chemical. You're only going to be happy if you get drugs. Now I do have flake. 
But flake is incredibly addictive. So I'd rather not have you be eating all my flake. In fact, I don't want you eating my drugs and junk. Could you just go out and die? Right, first raid I get from Randy. You're going up front and, and uh, taking the brunt of everything. You can have this Devil Strand parka, your light leather pants, this crappy cloth t-shirt. I should keep you warm, especially the Devil Strand parka. You know, Jake did say a lot of submissions exaggerated intelligence. Hope it wasn't already a color. Well, I was assured it wasn't there. But maybe it was. That'd be very funny. Sucks to be sale. Wait, 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 whoa. Nobody said you could be wearing fancy clothes either. Forced only. Although, fair play, I would like you to wear that toque. I checked links in Discord and soon didn't see it. They didn't all come from there, but most of them did. Oh well, if your name is Alexander Cheeky Sale, then I extend my deepest apologies. Maybe. Right, let's get rid of you. A trap set up. Frankly, Randy can bring it. All the while, Miriact is trying to convince uh, Hakuja to join us. I bring our numbers up to a staggering six. Yeah, we're going places. Also, Holmes, no, don't rest. I want you to be wielding some kind of mad slate club. God, I wish I had better weapons. We're only being attacked by Neanderthals, though. It's kind of a good thing these two have hung around for as long as they have. Also, where's that weapon? Where did we put that mono sword? Are you still holding on to it? <laughs> you are, okay. Right, when you bring it back, I'm going to make Lopisur grab it again. And tonk, and tonk. I mean, it's a damn good sword. Almost 15 melee DPS, and look, that cut, that just severs limbs right there. That's why we chopped the limbs off of the people that attacked us. What a lovely swing noise as well. Mm. He likes it. He likes it a lot. Professor, back to the microelectronics. The sooner I get that comms console, the happier I will be. Yeah, these two are temporary. So really, I'm only up to five. Well, six now with Holmes. No, wait, I can't count. Four, five with Holmes. Okay, the Waste Rats are largely leaving. And that gives me an opportunity to go out and grab the goodies that were left behind. The silver and the drugs. Everybody's dead. Their clothes are not really something I can grab anymore. And I'll just let the Waste Rats and their corpses... Uh, melt away, become one with nature again. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're leaving, so I can now say everybody is unrestricted. Still on that warg. It would be uh, what taming level do you need? Uh, what animal handling level do you need to be for a warg? Only five. Then I have to hope that, say, Super Pi gets um, an inspiration, although he's not going to at that happiness level. Why is he so unhappy? Oh, you tried to create a romance with Lady Seru. Also, you're frustrated because I haven't modified your body. We'll get something for you eventually. But yeah, if you got an inspiration that lets you get any animal, that would be amazing. Then I could get a warg. I'd want two to start my warg farm, but one's a start. And the wargs would be my attack animals. They're pretty strong and they're pretty easy to just get rid of all the time. I'm also going to get rid of this. Ugh, animal flu. They'll be fine, even with basic tending. Where we had flu not that long ago for our poor wee animals. But Myriac's on the case. This is part of the reason I like to tell my people to always carry some medicine. 
Well, you only did one of them, didn't you? Ah, there we go. Wait, quality 0%. Holmes, you and your... Well, actually, you should be better at that, shouldn't you? Oh, you'll get better at medical. What I can do is vivisect, and that would give them a lot of uh, experience with m medical. Oh, here we go again. The spirit chief of the Ergo recently rescued five tribespeople. Guard them at the Throne of Ascension. I'll collect them in 14 days. Right, these people don't betray because this isn't a charity event. I also don't need to do them because it's not charity. The question is, do I want a low shield pack? That can be the difference between life and death. Oh, they won't do any work? Sorted. Not charity, not my problem. God, Holmes is being a real sport about walking around with that broken back. Fortunately, though, pain is good. Also, all this stuff can be deconstructed. And I absolutely want that. Excellent. I had raids from people being angry. I shot my toxic waste right back into their base. Yeah, I don't plan on polluting the world if I end up getting it. I will invest in ways to take care of the toxins, I think. Good to see Super Pie's working on taming, but unfortunately he's doing really badly at it. How, how much skill do you need for these guys again? Oh, it's minimum five. That's a shame. It would be great if Holmes was good at animals, but he's just so bad. Rebellious student, that explains... Wait, your intellectual's apparently good for it. Self-actualization, meditating, practicing katana and staff fighting techniques. Ugh. Hey, Iona, Lopasur, since you people do pretty much nothing for the colony, how about you go and... Alright, Lopasur is still... Uh still healing. But I would actually like them to go out and slaughter some of the wildlife for me. Maybe not the warg, but certainly that lynx that's prowling around. It's being built. I wasn't quite paying attention, but something got built, I'm not sure what. Down the warg and rescue. Uh, downing a warg is a bit of a big ask. Sometimes wargs just don't want to be downed. And when they counterattack, they can absolutely kill you. Also, wargs, uh, wargs only eat raw meat and corpses. So they will hunt for the food that they desire. Lopasur, that was a hell of a beating you got. The being stabbed in the head, though, to the point where it cracked the skull. That cannot have been fun. I'm glad they didn't lose a limb, though. And they, again, they easily could have. Their clothes aren't so great. Still worth good money, though. Kind of tempted to strip you down before you go so I can have your, have your clothes to sell. What's Holmes doing, anyway? Maybe, if nothing else, you should be researching for me. I know this kind of gets in the way of everything, but people only go to bed once a day, so I think that'll be fine. And I'm not in dire need of artwork, so we'll move this over here. Someday I probably will be, but not right now. I really need to sink my teeth into the mechanoid aspect of the DLC. So far, I only really did the eugenics aspect and dabbed with the vampires. Yeah, I, I did dab with that, but I didn't like it. I have played around with the mech stuff. But you can't have to play for the mech stuff with that. It's, it's a huge investment. They require tons of steel and the infrastructure to handle them. And something I don't like is how detached that is. You end up with this dedicated corner just full of mechanoid stuff. And it kind of looks and feels out of place. Maybe it would be better if you played as the Mechanator 
scenario where you just start as a mechanator. That'd be kind of cool. All right, Holmes, this is your job now. Don't even clean. I want you to research. Actually, maybe priority clean and then research. Anyway, it gives you something better to do. Don't don't haul, get researching. <laughs> no one's gonna clean instead. Okay, fine by me. How are you feeling? Impressive prison cell. I can't believe they're keeping me here. Yeah, but we're not feeding you for some reason. Do, do I not have somebody set to warden you? Oh, warden includes uh, delivering food to prisoners. Yeah, Christ, who, who's best suited for that? Honestly, Lady Seru, but... Mary Act, you do it. Go and, go and look after our poor, uh, poor individual. They're not going to do us any good if they're just starving away in there. In the darkness. Unusual, I'm keeping a prisoner, but what I'm not doing is hacking off their legs to prevent escape. It just doesn't feel right. Good. I'm getting too much of that back. I really want them converted. Yeah, why are you not why are you not doing that conversion right now? Do it while they're awake. And then I'm probably gonna keep using the conversion from Super Pi. Here's a question. Does this work on... Does this work on prisoners? Can we have a ritual to try and convert our prisoner? Might be worth a go if we're still working at it in two weeks' time. Plague Captain says, hello, careful with the word plague. I'm already thinking about State of Decay 2 again, because the mod, uh, the mod dark side is hopefully being made. doing something bad with the amount of stuff I'm just building up and storing here. That's certainly going to make me look real interesting to raiders. But I just generally like having the resources here to do with as I please. I thought it wasn't being updated anymore. It wasn't, but I heard from the, uh, the mod author that he's planning on getting around to that. Wait, you got up just to eat. Oh, good thing you're not a glutton. I always throw gluttons out. There's no situation I can think of where I'd keep a glutton. I ate them. And they ate all my food. No, no, Ioana. Eat at the, eat at the very much overcrowded table. I think I could fit a fourth seat on this thing if I shoved it over a bit. As long as I didn't block the interaction spot for you. But I do dream of expanding my base. It's just... That requires a few things. It's a larger area to heat, so I'd need more... Oh god, look at all these nasties hanging around here. Lock the sewer. Kill. Then kill. Then kill. And then... Is there anything else that needs to be taken care of? I think not, but please do so. You've spent long enough lazing around in bed and not doing any actual work for the colony. Of course, that's what he does. He doesn't do work. But you can help as well, can't you? Splendidly handled. That's one way to pet the bunny. What did you do? Cracked his body, spine, and leg? And just... Leg, lung, heart, spine, body. Well, it was just a rat. Oh, oh, here, here comes the, the bunny's mate. Eager to see how the other bun's doing. Actually, it's probably eager to eat my food. Yes, it is eating my food. Get away. Well, I don't just chase, I kill. Splendid. 
Where's that links that I want? Yeah, there you are. The link will the links will revenge on uh, on attacking. That's why I'd want Lopasaur and Iona together. See, they don't do any work for the colony, but I can still work them into doing stuff. I could even have them like attack a wall where I want to extract um, resources out of, like steel and that. Drone strike the hair <laughs> could be done. Could uh, orbital salvo the hair, but that would be ridiculous. So no. Jeez, you are being a pain to convert. We'll get you though. Can't believe it, that broken spine and you're all better now. And yeah, this is the best thing I can think to do with him. Just have him do a lot of research for me until I can make him fight and die in, uh, in combat for me. But yeah, all these clubs <laughs> are not great weapons. They hit hard, but they also hit slow. Oh, this is wrong. We've got people hanging around doing absolutely nothing. Right, for one, let's have this actually store some wood for me. Unroofed and outdoors. I mean, this stuff doesn't count as roofed. It would be very hard for me just to... No, not home area, although I'm glad that is all home. take that. But I'm looking for a roof area. Let's just build a touch of roof over this as well. And you. Let's try not to forget about that. But yeah, Miriak, Seru, all these people doing nothing. How can this be? Probably because I severely lack meat, so I want this thing to take all the meat that it can. Why is beef blanked out? Not human. Not insect. I think everything else is okay. I thought they added another kind of undesirable meat. But yes, you take that. We need more meals made. I don't particularly need more kibble made. But I do really want some more animals. Do these things revenge attack? Uh, not really. But you know what? The two of you are going out and hunting animals for me because we're hungry. And too many people are doing too little work. Doubt there is some mining that I could have Miriak be doing. There we go. Still, it's nice to be in such a privileged situation that I can be. that I can be doing this. Oi, what are you doing? I bet you're going over to eat my kibble. Well, not on my watch, you're not. Now, get me those yaks. No, they're not yaks. What are they? They're elks. But I think yak. All well and good. It will bleed out and die, no doubt. And when it does, it's all mine. There we go. As long as they're going to eventually die, I've already done my work. I'll just pick up the corpse when it's good to go. A little risky cross-firing against the... Um, the muffalo, but that's okay. I knew it, I knew it, but this is why I had my people set up the way I do. Splendid. Any more for any more. You might think this seems cruel, but remember, charity is only for humans. I certainly remember that. You're, you're a really good shot, Iona. Only six, but you fire a whole lot better than Super Pie could have ever dreamed of doing. I wonder if there are any more of them that are still hanging around being not injured. Yeah, those elks are miles away. There's also a cougar at the bottom here. Some rams going around. You know what, the odds of getting these guys is way too low. Why don't we just cancel trying to tame them and instead, risky though it may be, Let's take him out with us. It's going to be pretty bad if you end up killing Lopasur. Well, that went exactly how I didn't want it to go. We got them all revenging against us. Manhunter, Manhunter, yeah. 
that could be what we term a problem. Especially since Lopasur is slowed down. Could I get some assistance here? Oh god, Super Pi is out there! <laughs> Super Pi, run! Uh, hope nobody else is out there. Should have paid more attention to that. Right, Lopasur, if you could please. Burden and burden. What's the point in having these powers if we don't use them? That's good, that's good. And then another one to burden. Perfect. He knows what he's doing. All of them set to hunt. Well, you're already dead, but I will just have you. Easy peasy. I didn't even need to use my traps, did I? Okay, one trap got used. But there we go, that's a whole load of meat and fur for us. The mods are in the title there, Maestro. And then Super Pie just finishes the job. Slicing the neck is an instant kill on anything, even a thrombo. Still sad about losing the thrombos, but oh uh, well. If only I'd afforded that Psychic Shock Lance from earlier, that's exactly what I would have wanted it for. Oh wow, what a what a mixed meat platter. Muffalo hair and corn? Mmm. God, I could go for some nice meat. I, I asked my, uh, my local butcher if they had any lamb, and the lady just shook her head. Why in the world do they not like lamb here in uh, Hungary? It is beyond me. Right, yeah, we really work our way through fine meals. Well, at least Seru has a job and it keeps people happy, but I'd like some inspirations based on that. I'm a bit miffed that I missed making character, but hey, I'm sure this isn't the last we see of RimWorld. I'm far from it. I first played RimWorld four years ago, and I'm still playing it today. I'd have made a good addition as a cave. We pretty much picked up a caveman with homes here. Loves his drugs, doesn't know how to do anything other than hit things. I'm a little worried about him. But hey, we got the drugs right here. So if he ever starts going off the wall... In fact, why don't, why don't we just tell him he can have some tea right now? Go and drink some Psychite tea, buddy. You've earned it. Psychite tea is purely good if you just have a little sip a day. Look at that. Your rest, uh, your, your sleep goes down slower, so you can actually stay awake for longer. As long as you have a cup of tea every now and then. The uh, the smokes are not quite so great. The smokes make you... Well, here you go. Consciousness goes down. Moving goes down. Hunger goes up. That's pretty bad. But Psychite tea is great. I actually regret not making more Psychite tea with my Psychoid leaves, but the point was to make a lot of money out of drugs. Hello, an ancient terminal! They'll attack you when you touch it. You can attack the terminal from the outside or personally try to... Ooh. I'm definitely going to do that, but where is it? Oh, it's in the mountains. That's a long journey right there. We'll take care of that once the... Um, once the weather gets good again. It might not look it, but it's freezing cold right now. Then I have a cunning plan for dealing with that, actually. But it re requires a few things that I'm going to take care of. What I'm getting at is that village is going to have a lot of um, capital in it. God, I love a song carry on. Saru, I'm glad that you're cleaning and all that, but... Maybe I'm going to turn down Saru's clean desires and up your cooking and butchering desires. Because I want this stuff dealt with before it goes off, and then I want to process the muffalos before they go off. And then I should have a big fat stack of meals for everyone. Honestly, I could do with another of these. I just haven't done the layout of this place particularly well. Oh, what can I say? It's underground like this. I have a dream of it being larger. Get to it and react. Why don't you just leave the corpses outside so they stay frozen during winter, Jake? 
Oh, you mean these corpses? I want to process them pretty quickly. Sure, they don't take up that much space, but I just like having a good idea of the amount of uh, food resources I have, especially after our early days of starvation in this run. And also, outside, sure. But also, yeah, they'll get warmer, then I have to move them inside. It's not a big deal just to have a freezer like this. On reflection, maybe I should have gone to... Uh, Ice Sheet. Maybe that would have been better, but there's no trees on Ice Sheet, is there? Well, I like Boreal Forest. It's probably my favourite. I like it even more than Cold Bog, and I do like Cold Bog. Reminds me of home. A lot. There was barely any starvation. Too many berries. Disappointing. We didn't even have to eat Super Pie. Mmm, I could go for a Super Pie. What I'm surprised in is that we didn't get a massive raid that forced us to run away. I was prepared to uh, just grab everybody and make a caravan to get away. You are proving difficult to convert. Super Pie will give it another go. By the way, I've never actually seen this uh, conversion thing just straight up convert somebody. Of course, when you're only social four, I shouldn't expect it to do that much. Reminds me of home. Funnily enough, this is why I like to play an Arid Shrubland. What kind of home for you is Arid Shrubland? Yeah, these, these uh, animals are sick, but that's fine. Are you actually giving it some proper medicine? Quality 32, I'd be surprised if you are. However, I should probably make sure that you do carry three herbal medicine. Kinda wish I could set that to higher, but I cannot. But yeah, cooking is such a full-time job for a colonist. That's why I tend to shy away from uh, doing lots of cooking. And there may still be a day where I just, where I just transfer over to paste for everybody. Especially when everyone's too happy, but I'd really like some inspirations. I don't know if you can get inspired at content or if you have to be fully happy, but Seru is always very happy and she's never getting any inspirations. She'd probably get inspired creativity given her artistic, but she could get in inspired taming. I think anybody can get the uh, the goat stuff where you just do everything faster. Speaking of faster, good. We're making good progress on the research. That's going to be a big leap getting microelectronics. And then I'm going to get pod launcher. And then I'll be able to make allies and trade with allies. And that's going to allow me to... Oi, 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 oi. No animals allowed. <laughs> that startled the horses. <laughs> hang on, hang on. Being born in a barn doesn't make a squirrel a horse. Loppy. Get lopping. This is happening because I'm not closing this off. I have about the only food around here because it's too cold for grasses, so they're all just worming their way over here. It's alright. Go on. Keep on killing. I didn't know that interaction existed. What interaction? Yeah, inspired creativity is amazing for weapons and clothing. Mostly weapons, because weapons last forever. Clothing degrades. But what I would use that on is trying to get myself a legendary minigun. Legendary miniguns have obscene DPS. Every shot does 15 damage. And is surprisingly accurate, especially against large creatures. Good. How could you miss a raccoon? It's right there. How could you miss it twice? It's right there. There we go. You got anything else you want to take care of? It's all meat, so I might as well take it. Any more critters going around? Eh, yeah, there we go. See that bunny? No, we don't. See that rat? No, we don't. See that warg? Yes, we do. That warg looks like it's been eating this raccoon. They go in 4.7. Whoops. He didn't finish the fight. Wasn't there also a rat? Yeah, there was. There we 
go. Rats eat anything, though. Rats eat corpses, raw meat. Rat I think they eat grasses. I'm not going to be able to drag in these back. They're far too... Far too little amounts of eating. And I can't make you crab things. Actually, I can make you wear things, but I can't make you pick things up. It would make you really unhappy, but I'd get your clothes if I simply made you wear these. I mean, how could you say no to a good Devil Strand parka? And you're already happy enough, right? No, then he'd have his no nice apparel problem. I'll just strip him before he leaves and try and liquidate his, uh, his wealth assets. That entire herd of elk, just a field of blood. Oh yeah, crikey. Thanks for reminding me, I forgot I need to grab those. Are there any more elk hanging around with my name on them? Give my haulers something to bring back. Once we're done processing this into fine meals. And I'm gonna chop up all these animals. Oh, Saru's getting even better at cooking, which is great. I think at level 10 you have the lowest sickness chance from the meals, but I just can't believe... Did I accidentally turn off food poisoning or something? Why have I not had it at all? It's possible I've just been getting obscenely lucky, but... Where's food poisoning chance? Is it a thing? Yeah, here it is. It's 120% and it's not happening. Well, good for me. And let's suspend fine meals for now and unsuspend kibble. There we go. Yum, 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 yum. Only a little bit of time is wasted reaching over the butchering thing to grab the creatures to butcher, but that's some lovely animal capital. Whoa, whoa, Mary, I got to throw them away into the pond of dismay. Actually, why are you taking them to the Pond of Dismay? I want them over there. Well, I'm sure they'll be taken over there in due time. Maybe the cook is just very clean. This place is considered dirty, but... Oh, God knows how it's happening. Paste never makes you sick. That's yet another good thing about paste. His mod adds a mini paste maker, but that's... That's just way too powerful. One of the one of the few downsides is it's big and bulky and can't be moved. You have to deconstruct it to build it elsewhere. And that's just kibble is great to have because kibble lasts forever. Okay, bad example because it's freezing outside, but yeah, kibble does not go off. Come on, we're working our way through this. Super buy. Do you think you could try and convert them again? This is what I'm wondering about. Oh, we could do it through a ritual. The odds are it would be kind of bad, though. So instead, I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way. There we go. Not too bad, actually. Lost 15%. Once you're down, then I'm converting you, simple as. Well, converting you to my cause. An enemy has been converted to my cause, is what I want to have. I've never used paste in a run before. Paste is so good. The minor downside you get from people not being happy having eaten paste. Here it is. It's only minus four, but the amount of labor you save, because it, uh, it's very efficient on nutrition, and it's extremely efficient on time. All the time. Look, Sor Seru's job entirely is just butchering and cooking. And you can just cut all that away, maybe not the butchering, but uh, the cooking part, just by throwing the ingredients in and getting paste. It's very powerful. And I'm fine by that. Although what you could do now with the uh, latest DLC is just make a, co a, a cooking bot. You can just have a, a robot that cooks for you. And I think it's treated as having cooking skill 10, so that's very good. Because cooking is such a thankless chore in this game. Dirt floors, counterintuitively, are better than sterile, as you can't walk dirt onto dirt, and therefore it rarely hits minus two cleanliness. 
the point where you can't get uh, you can get food poisoning. Pretty sure you can get food poisoning above that, but I still think a sterile tile is better because cooking in a dirty place like that's pretty bad for how it looks. But I suppose you could build these, but then that's a lot of wealth in statues. I don't know. There's a lot of give and take in that. Okay, Randy seems to have fallen asleep, but once I'm able to get my microelectronics and I start selling my drugs then we are probably going to have a big leap in terms of our power. But what I could also do, especially if Super Pie has nothing better going on, is finally just clear this out in preparation for it becoming my throne room. And I will want a big chunky throne room in due time. So what I could, would, and should do is check where the roofs are. Okay. I still want that thing kind of locked away in there, but... What I could do, what I could do... What's he thinking? What in the world is he thinking? Mine out like that. Definitely cut you away. And then I'll probably start with a modest throne room, with the idea to grow it bigger later. But I'm probably going to fine floor it already, because I know I'm going to need that fine flooring soon enough. In fact, I can check that under your bio. Currently, the throne room just needs to be all floored. For a knight, it needs to be all floored, but for a freighter, still just all floored? When does it need to be fine floored? Well, look, it eventually needs to be fine floored, and fine floor isn't actually much wealth, especially if it's made out of blocks. The downside, I suppose, is that it's incredibly expensive in terms of the number of blocks. But hey, look at all these sandstone chunks. I have a funny feeling. Uh, it's not just sandstone over there, but stuff over here as well. Right, I'm going to reposition you over there. And I'm going to take this excellent chair and move it over with you. And then whoever's got downtime can be cranking out those stone blocks. Everybody will do it if they've nothing better to do. But I might have Seru do it once she's turned all this into kibble. Yeah, that makes a world of sense. And then I'm just generally taking Seru off of cleaning. There we go, then you do stone cutting. A perfect plan. I can't believe how intellectual this club man is. I'm kind of looking forward to the big fight where I just put him in the front line, shooting him over his shoulder and seeing how he fares. That is the stone cutter table I'm moving. I'm surprised I had two of those. Uh, no, no, that was not the stone cutter table. Uh, okay. Whoopsie doodle. Super Pie, would you mind uh, undoing the work you just did there? And then bring that over, please. No, no, not that. Impressive how they very quickly just thunk down an entire bench like that. Sterile has minus one blue beauty. Dirt floor with flowers is the best for cooking. Mm. Hey, yeah. Might be right about that. Is sterile really minus one? I don't think that was the case. Floor. I haven't researched sterile tile, but I can still look at it here. That just doesn't seem right to me. Well, I'll be damned, it is. Hmm. Even so, I doubt I'm going to make my hospital out of that. Oh, well, Super Pie's on the case. That must mean that Super Pie really has nothing better to do. Well, I've suddenly got something better for you to do. And I actually want Seru to be doing this. Oh, but it's a crafting job, isn't it? Well, I still want Seru to be doing it. Anyway. You'll die, that's fine. Are you malnourished? Yeah, they are, okay. Wow, three shots, three hits. You're good, Super Pie, you're real good. And they're not gonna have any missing body parts from that either. I'll go and grab the corpses later. What's 
It's going to plan. It's going to to plan. Randy Random, what are you on? Okay, this isn't a plan. I've burnt through all my corn. So, kibble is suspended. And honestly, that is so much kibble. Fortunately, kibble is practically worth... Whoa, okay, kibble is worth more than I thought. That's maybe a bit more wealth than I was wanting. Yeah, wasn't this the spike up from the drugs? Yeesh. I think the kibble and the... Uh... And the textiles we got out of those dead things was worth a bit more than I was after. Poor Super Pie, he has nothing to do. What could he spend his time doing? Right, getting this ready, of course. I would like... Probably the wall's made out of sandstone, since so there's plenty of it. And how big a throne room do we need minimum? I'll go above it, but let's have a look-see. Let's aim for... Uh, let's see, 30, 30 for that. What's the highest you can get in this game again? Is it Baron or is it Count? I guess it's Count since it's showing here. Needs to be 80 tiles. Can I plan for 80 tiles? If the wall is here... 9 times 12. Well, actually, we could just go for the whole damn thing. Yeah, why not? Let's let's aim high. Let's aim real high. And, 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 and... Just give it a crummy wooden door. Get that built up, eventually this will be our throne room and it will integrate into the rest of our base as it grows and grows, and it will grow and grow. The next raid is long overdue is what I'm hearing. Well, he sent uh, a large number of rats and a fairly healthy raid at me, so he's probably thought that he's thrown more than his fair share at me, but that's just not true. Not true at all. Bring it on, Brandy, is what I'm saying. Forty percent. You're slowly chipping away at your cannibalistic cult. So you you require a strong amount of cannibalism. You require execution. How do you feel about charity? They feel nothing about charity. You're monsters. You deserve to be in prison, Hakuja. I'm worried that your prison break interval is actually worryingly high. So I'd love to get you converted sooner rather than later. Can I move these, by the way? Yeah, I can reinstall these over here. Professor... Awful throne room. Undignified throne room. The braziers must be lit. Oh, they'll be lit all right. You know what? Kinda, kinda makes more sense for them to be blanking you like that, doesn't it? Yeah, there we go. It's going to hate the lack of flooring on, on it, though, I'm sure. But I, I just want to do away with this whole hole-in-the-wall building style that I've been doing. Granted, this is just a larger hole-in-the-wall, but in time, you can, you can see there's a plan forming here, at least, surely. While we're at it, I would love solar pinhole so I can actually see what's going on here, and solar pinhole there, so our our guest has a bright light shining in their face at all times. I want human meat. Hey, why don't I just shove a corpse in here for you? I bet you'd eat that. Oh no, you won't pick it up for me. Holmes! Mm, it'll certainly keep you happier if I do this.
There we go. Let's let's see how you feel about eating dinosaur, your your old friend. And now for you. In fact, I don't think I even need to do it that way, do I? Because what I could probably do is change your food restriction. I can do something like prisoner corpse. And then I can say you are only allowed to eat human corpses. And then someone might feed it to you, but you might just eat that yourself. We'll see what happens when your food meter goes low. Charitably donating a corpse to your guest. You really are a beacon of virtue. That's how I see myself. I'm glad you do too. Go on. Eat your friend. Superfly won't be happy about that. He was trying to get the uh, get his groove on, wasn't he? With dinosaur. Come on, I know you're hungry. I'm really hungry. Yes, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I know you're thinking about it. Eat your friend. Oh, here's probably the problem. I didn't set you over to prisoner corpses. Eat your friend. I will forcibly feed you your friend in your sleep if you don't take a bite now. Actually, why are you not tired? I guess you spend all your time sleeping. Is this the guilt we're carrying? Well, they're not converted yet. They don't have to care. I wonder if when I convert them, they're suddenly going to reflect on the human meat that they ate not too long ago. <laughs> yeah, the real war crime of no table. Well, that's what they got to live with. All right, Miriact. I don't strip them. Can we not? Can we not feed you? Or did I not sort this out properly? Prisoner corpse. Allows human corpse, yes. Hmm. Don't know why you're not being fed that, but some someday you'll have no choice. Maybe you need to butcher the friend. No, no, it, I've specifically left it as corpse. Get all that roofed up. And now for a very big and largely thankless job. The floor. Which is why I'm needing all of these rocks tended to. And why I wish Seru was getting to work. Well, Supervise going to take forever at that. Just cut the plant yourself. Now, I have... 500 limestone for one. Wait, I don't know. Oh, I do know how to do fine flooring. Thank goodness. Well, there's 400 of it gone just doing that. And this is going to take a long time, but it needs to be done eventually. I might as well do it now. Give Super Pi something to do. While Seru continues to chug out the blocks for us. Your problem, Hakuja. You don't want to eat your friend? Whoa! Okay. Solar flare and chunk of ship at this. Oh, cripes! I just took out my uh, my wooden fence. There we go. That didn't get automatically replaced, so I'm wondering. Yeah, this isn't my home area. Let's fix that. This is all my home area. Is a royal with no this is your throne room hang on is no throne room worse than undignified throne room minus eight and that's still minus eight all floored yeah okay you're just going to be sitting on that minus eight for a while but he still wants to go and sit in his throne for a bit where are you at professor i need this place lit up with your solar flip oh okay he's out of side focus Still just barely lit it up enough for homes, though. 
this takes a while. This takes a heck of a while. There we go. Meditating royally at least builds up side focus. What is your problem? Why can't you be made to eat your friend? Your diet is meant to be eating your fresh friend. Eh, maybe they'll do it eventually. Maybe I have to get rid of this storage part for it. And then don't let my own people take it, and then maybe you'll eat it. We'll find out soon. Wait, it's for oh, it's freezing cold in there now. Okay, well, welcome back to hypothermic land. Solar flare usually lasts for a day. I think. Well, let's hope it does. Don't forget the deer. Yeah, the deer are probably dead by now. Where did they choose to die? Hopefully not miles away, but I'm seeing a lot of blood here. No, no, those were our esteemed friends earlier on. Ooh, yaks! Lovely. Anybody got better vision than me, seeing where our dead friends are? I don't think they ran into my base, did they? No? Every time I return to the stream, Jake, my first thought is, am I dead yet? Glad to see things are going pretty well. Actually, you're unharmed, unlike Seru, whose finger got shot off. Where in the world did it go? Numbers, corpses... Oh, that's a person. Or do animal corpses kind of something different? Here we go. Oh, right. Why are you? Why are you over there? I wonder. This should be important for animal corpses. Maybe this should be critical for animal corpses. But even then, it should have been higher priority than these. Maybe other people are just busy doing other things. But that's not the corpses. Those are not the corpses I was looking for. Hmm. So either they ran away or they were already dragged over. I've never had it in me to line up beds next to each other like that. It isn't how I want to do it. I just need to use the space that I have somewhat efficiently. And I still have loads of empty space that I'm not using. But I do, I do think this is the most efficient way. Just use a barracks, make it impressive, and then everybody's happy enough. Why are you not eating the corpse? Eat the corpse! I really do not know why I'm not able to feed you this corpse. I swear I've fed people corpses before. Corpses. Allow human corpses. Colonist, stranger, slave, human, it's all good. Hmm. Of any quality as well. I do not know. Well, we'll just starve you for a bit and see if you can be convinced to eat the corpse. Oh, 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 oh. Aw, oh, you're just hauling it. You're not feeding it. Is it that your corpse disagree? Uh, your colonists disagree? Yeah, that could be it. But I uh, I do not know. Oh well, lucky you. You get to eat some actual food. I'll give you the paste that you somewhat deserve. Oh, well I can't because of the solar flare. But once the solar flare is over, you can eat. Till then, just enjoy your malnutrition. The professor enjoys raining. But I need you to use solar pinhole again. It actually takes quite a lot of side focus away from you. The utility ones tend to use quite a lot of side focus, and the combat ones tend to use a lot of heat, in my experience. But it is just my experience. Good. Goodbye, Solar Flare. Tian Shin Han will disturb us no longer.
Let's go down the left. Could you haul that elk over? Actually, could do that right now. Get that dealt with, and all will be well. Huge edifice is a building job, and I never take building jobs. It's just ugh. takes such a long time to build. I hate keeping them around, even though nine on. Oh man, I would love those. Even so, I don't like doing them, so blip, away they go. Word of Inspiration is my favourite, it costs 80% focus, yes. And it is really good, but it's it's really easy to just farm Inspirations that way. And that's how you get loads of legendary items. Of course, an even better way is to have a production specialist as part of, ide of your ideology. And then you just print that stuff. Okay, this is going to be moved over to corn now. That way we can still keep the paste flowing. Officers eyeing up the drugs. Holmes, how are you feeling for your need for drugs? Not good. Uh, Alright, well you can have another Psychite's tea, I guess. I could give him Flake, but then I stand the risk of um, an addiction or an overdose. Or both. Uh, you know what, why don't you... Why don't you smoke a pancake as well? You're, you're smoking away all my money here, Holmes. I don't appreciate it. And the thing is, he could just go on a chemical binge regardless. They're like pyromaniacs and gourmands. They have their own little mental break that they can just have even if they are pretty happy. And you are happy. I'm fascinated by drugs. I love satisfying my desires. I should really make fake drugs for him and just Tell them that it's the good stuff. I took a building job to destroy it on purpose once to give me an off-map sunblocker. So I took the darkness meme. Ah. Hey, that's going to be useful if you get invaded by people that try and shoot you. I don't know if darkness affects uh, melee as well, but it would stand to good reason if it did. Didn't I have a dumping spot for... Uh... For big heavy things like that. If I didn't, maybe I should. Just in case I end up with some that I need to move. This is just a dumping spot for chunks. They don't get moved there unless they're set to be hauled, and I want these hauled out of here. But it looks like you've grabbed all of this, which is good, so let's go and reinstall you over to even more of them. Thank you, whoever pointed out that it's much less effort to drag the stone cutter thing rather than drag the blocks, because yeah, dragging blocks is uh, heavy and thankless. And what a dry area it is. We're very, it's very unlikely that we ever see any, um, any rain or any snow. Also, you two never do enough work for the colony, so go out here and slaughter some yaks for me. I'd always carried stones, yeah, well. We don't do that anymore, we just carry the stone cutter table. Because minimizing movement is the way forward. Lopsur doesn't actually need to come out here. Uh, these things are not going to uh, not going to attack back. Also, attack them from the south, that way they're more likely to head north. What biome are we on? Yeah, Boreal Forest, my favorite. Ugh, an anima tree. Someday beavers are going to come along and eat that, and then everyone's going to have a massive penalty to happiness for it, I'm sure. Good job. Now, these things are pretty hardy, so that's not enough to kill it. That will be, though. And we're rewarded for our charity work, as always. Fortunately, only women are bothered by that, and we only have... One... Wait, is Iona a woman? Iona is a woman. Lopsur is a woman. Oh god, we're outnumbered by women. No, we're not. Holmes is a man. Ah, uh, but we're even Stevens because Akuja is a woman. Anyway, they're all going to be unhappy now. Dignify. Everybody's finding a reason to be unhappy. Let's not risk hitting that warg as well. Oh wow, every every one a hit in the darkness. 
Remember, I'm not here to kill them. I'm here to let nature do the killing for them. I think that was that was a lot. Good. Oh, was it? No, it was not. Iona. Iona, my favorite fire bomber. Kill it in its sleep. Job well done. Just clarter this place in blood. I don't think blood slows down your move speed, but it certainly doesn't look nice. So at least anyone trying to evade me might uh, might mentally snap from how ugly the place is. Charitably watering the plants with blood. So, real question, do plants actually get anything out of that? Could you water a plant with blood? If you did it with rhubarb, you'd end with some really red rhubarb. Carry on. Mm. That's okay, but since I'm not making meaty things anymore, let's clear that. Then it can be shoved over in here. Oh, real life, of course. There's no such thing as watering plants in this game. You only plant them and harvest them. Yeah. How dare the squirrels be mad, right? Go and put it in its place, my react. Thank you. God, Randy's taking things way too easy. I'll be, I'll be saying just the opposite when he turns around and uh, kicks me in the face, but until then... Jeez, why are you so... Oh, right. Oh, that's a problem, actually. The... Hmm. I thought it showed their average happiness. But yeah, that, that drone is actually making you so unhappy that you don't want to be here. It moves at 36. What can I do for you? Um, you're currently on paste, so I'm going to give you some good meals now. I, I don't want you to take it to your inventory. That means you're going to walk away with it, but oh well. And you people don't drink... You people don't take drugs. I think that's always part of the Empire. They are prohibited on drug use. You can make them so happy with drugs that they don't mind the downside of having taken those drugs, but... It's hard to get your beauty up. Come on, get happier. You've got all that recreation, you can have all the comfort you want, and you're still not happy. Yeah, see, giving them flake. It would make them short-term happy for the flake, but it would make them long-term unhappy for having taken drugs. But their average happiness has surely been high enough for that not to be a problem. I need to keep that in mind, though. I need to check... Um... Probably in the evening of the 1st of December. I want to strip Lopasur, because uh, they should be donating those clothes to me for me having hosted them so well. I gotta say, I'm gonna miss having these two. I feel so much security having a... Um, what do you even call that again? Biosword? Biocoded Monosword. It's so powerful. And the LMG is not to be sniffed at. That's like a lighter version of the minigun, and I'm always a fan of the minigun. Good to see Seru hard at work over there, because I know I need those blocks. Next up's going to be some sand stoning. Superpie is doing a lot of hauling these days. Which again isn't a great use of his amazing construction skill, but it's okay. I, I kind of miss having my, uh, my people that visited me. At least they helped me out with hauling and planting and things like that. Now we're feeling the burn from low labor. 
more fine stoning. 440 of that. The game again telling me, yes, I know my guest is unhappy. They'll be happy eventually. And yet, three out of five of our pawns still use the power of bonk. Yeah, we have yet to find some good weapons. And I don't want to set aside the time to make good weapons, because I'm pretty sure just, just one good non-primitive raid, and I'll be able to take them all. Mm, hey, Iona, I don't particularly care if you're happy or not, but would you mind taking care of that uh, cougar for me? The days of having IEDs. You're such a good shot. I really, really am impressed. Look at that. Didn't even need the traps. Down you go, go. And while we're at it... There we go. Grab the axe. I guess Super Pie's working on making that throne not undignified. Soon you'll be able to try and convert our prisoner as well. Doesn't seem very charitable holding a prisoner. This used to be one of the... Oh. Oh god, don't tell this cougar about the other cougar. Anyway, I can actually do something good with you. What I can do here is go to my zones. Add an additional zone. Call this zone... Slaughter. And then what I do is I... Add slaughter to probably here. And to see that cougar that I just got? I mean, there's something to be said for having a little army of cougars. I got one male, I just need another not male. And they, they breed for panthera fur, which is... Actually kind of pales in comparison to human leather, even. And why does that have negative beauty? I'm pretty sure using... This stuff has a... Oh, here we go. 170% beauty. Really good for making beautiful things out of. But even so, you're going to the slaughter area. Temporarily floor it with cheap concrete. The only requirement is floored. It's undignified. You can slowly upgrade it to find without the mood debuff. Nah, Professor can handle it. Because Professor spends a lot of time doing things that he loves, he stays very happy. And one day he'll get his not-terrible bedroom back. I certainly made his bedroom like one tile too small, didn't I? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, five. This is under 73, so we'll extend this out. Five by six, 30 tiles, good enough for any personal bedroom. Cougar is almost a warg, DPS. Yeah, but I want wargs. Simply, thematically, I want some wargs. Wargs and horses. Match made in heaven. And the wargs can be fed the uh, the raw meat of whatever. Not entirely sure what I'll be feeding them in that regard just yet. Let's move that. Get you to here. Get you to there. And then I got space for more. Goody, goody. Who would have thought I'm planning here? Oh, right, this is where I have my chunk area. Get rid of that. Battle for profit. Ah, now we're talking. A war. Alright, what's this? Three groups of... Three of them. The first group will be... 20 people and a warg, and you'll get two more of them. Uh, they'll arrive in two days. You'll be gone by then. Hmm. Hmm. I only get one trooper. Wait, wrong one. Wrong one. I'm not going to get a trooper for this other quest, am I? No, I'm going to get nothing. Get five honor, though. Five honor is good. Oh, jeez, that's, that's a big fight. Holmes can surely hold the gate, right? I don't know about that. 20 is a lot of people. What kind of tech group are the Itkin pirates? Ah, here they are. 
Hmm? Another industrial tech. I might regret taking on 60 enemies. Could you call the troopers for help? I could. I certainly could. Well, no fear, but I'm probably going to want additional traps for this. I also don't know how they arrive. If they drop pod in on me, then that's, uh, that's going to be bad. I leave them one and a half days. God, what if they attack when these guys are here? How long do I have to accept that quest? I got seven days. I could always line this up with a potential other thing that causes them to infight, but that's a lot of them. Maybe grab the trooper in the mech cluster uh, and the Yitkin raid mission and hope they fight to the mech. Fight the mechs. What uh, mech cluster event uh, thing do I have? I don't think I have any. Anyway, I think I will take that, but I'll try and line it up with someone else to take the take the bulk of the work for me. However, I will take a quick water break right now. Surely no need to pause, though. Yeah, as Baron's asking, his home's a guest for a permanent addition. An easy way to check is if they have this little, if they have a little symbol down at the bottom right of them, or bottom left, I suppose. Anyway, a wee symbol here means that they are a temporary faction member, and that's the symbol of the faction. For example, they're part of the Broken Empire. Can't believe I haven't had this go up to plus ten. I'm gonna have uh, my work cut out for me. To make friends out of these two, because she needs 75 relation to become allied. But I will get that alliance, because alliances are important. Or they're very powerful. He's very much a temporary. Yeah, he's the first guy I want to die. Not capable of any decent skilled labor. The stuff that he's good at, he's not very good at enough. The intellectual. I'm just kind of burning his mind until I can burn his body on the battlefield, and then we are done with him. Oh man, I really do think I'm going to want a whole lot more traps. Just takes that annoying nimble person to get through it, but yeah, not having my bio-coded sword user to help me out, that's something I'm not looking forward to. I start thinking, is this too many traps? Maybe you're right, but you're probably wrong. What's all this meat doing lying around? Why is nobody hauling it over? That's the thing, I suppose we're a little low on the hauling right now. Maybe I should make homes do a bit more hauling than researching, but I'm so close to getting that good research. 
Part of my problem is that I don't have a dedicated hauler. I might actually make you be a dedicated hauler. Because I can have you do a lot of planting when it's planting season. And I, I can have you around as my, um, my medic. And, uh, oh, damn. Your low kick, uh, cooking skill is a pain because I want you to carve up corpses. If it comes to that. That's okay, you can learn cooking through uh, disassembling a body. I always remember what my mum told me. She said, you know, I bet I could tear apart a human body just as well as I could do a chicken. It's basically the same thing, right? And some people wonder where I get it from. There we go, now go back to bed. No such thing as too many traps, Jake, yeah. No kidding. Remember, I got three groups of 20 coming at me, and if I can't distract them with something like, uh... Oh, are you done here? No, you're not. I can't dist if I can't distract them with, I don't know, man-hunting rats, or mechs, or another invasion, then I got problems. Because there's only going to be five of us to deal with them. One of us doesn't fight, and uh, three of us are armed with clubs. Although at least the first people that die will surely give me weapons to help deal with the others, but what if they come with doomsday rocket launchers already? I don't even have psi powers to help out with that. I'm definitely sending in the troops if it uh, comes to it. Akuja is incapable of dumb labour, so no hauling- oh, oh yeah, I forgot that, didn't I? Then what's my point of keeping them around? Why did I want you? Plants is good, but only during growing season. Medical is great for... medical. What would I have you do otherwise? God, I have no idea. Could I even teach you something? Because my part of the problem with Holmes is I can't even have him process drugs, because he, he can't do the skilled labor. And you're dumb as bricks, so you're not good for making drugs either. I suppose Animal 5 isn't the worst. Mm. Oh well. You could also just be another person to, to die for me. I might give you a gun, all things considered, because that's one thing we lack. Gunners, plenty of melee and no gun. And I do think I have an auto pistol with your name on it. See, it's even in good condition. Or you could, ha you could have my grenades. Yeah, yeah, that's a thing. I'll have you be my grenadier. Love me some grenadiering. One, two, one, two, three. So I guess the top one's going to be three. Probably the same kind. I want to have some kind of nice lookingness to this. Yeah, you're right. I got Trooper Squad, and I could actually call it twice. I mean, I can call it once for free. The second time costs honor, and I only have one honor. But this quest does give honor. I don't know if you get honor at the start or not. But yeah, I'd be spending my prize, but I do want that honor. Because I want to get um, Professor up to Knight. Because I have a cunning plan for how to use Knight. And when you see it, oh, you're going to be amazed. You're going to think, why didn't I think of that? But I did. I did think of that. Okay, today is the 1st of December. -y. I need to strip my guest before he leaves. That's Iona. Uh, no, not Iona. Lopasura needs to be stripped before they go. They leave in 19 hours, so please tell me to strip them before night arrives. What do we even get for this quest? I hope it's something good. Three advanced components. I have no conceivable use for those right now. But maybe I will eventually. I mean, what am I researching? The comms console... Uh, doesn't say what it needs to be built. That's inconvenient. Well, if it needs an advanced component, I'll have it. But I think advanced components are for the really advanced things. Maybe the long-range mineral scanner needs... And I do want that. But I first want microelectronics, then transport pod, and then long-range mineral scanner. Mm -mm -mm. However, I also think that to research these... Yeah, I need to have a high-tech research bench, and those things are big. Oh well, we'll get it. Is the LMG biocoded? Yes. 
They usually come with bio-coded gear, but you can't bio-code uh, fabric gear, I think. So you can't have bio-coded cloth pants, but you can have bio-coded uh, recon armor. And I can't force him to drop his flak jacket because it's locked, and I do not want to strip him because that's minus 50 relations. I don't think high-tech research bench requires advanced components. And the multi-analyzer, I also don't know. There's a lot of things I don't know in this game. I'm meant to be alright at it. I'm probably going to want this space, actually. I think I should re-move you to over here. And you can go over to here. And then I'll have space somewhat for my research setup here. It's gonna make it harder to move around, but it's just part of the fun. Bombs console is only four components, so oh, good thing I've got 12 components here. And in a sense, it was kind of good getting Holmes. He's surprisingly smart, and he's gotten us our microelectronics. Huzzah! And for the love of God, get me the. I suppose you can't get this just yet. In that case, wasn't there something simple that I wanted? I wouldn't mind having Devil Strand. It's really, really good for making clothes out of. Beards, long swords, crowns. I want fertility procedures, but maybe later. None of this appeals to me, although machining table is good for breaking down uh, the, mech, the mechs that come my way. Most of the stuff I'd rather just steal off of invaders. So I guess I'm just going to do other stuff whilst I probably just destroy the research bench. Yeah, yeah, the research bench doesn't even let you research as fast as a good old-fashioned high-tech research thing. Construction 6, I have... You really blocks the way, but needs must. All right, I'll deconstruct you and you, and I will move these around. I'll shrink the zone by one and put down a little touch of concrete there. Wait, was that dirt? No, not dirt, but it was something underneath there. How much of this is holding out on me and not being concreted? Apparently just you. There's so much hauling work to be done. Having somebody incapable of doing that kind of skilled labour is disgusting. The minigun is only 20 regular components, yeah. If I if I had the ability to, I would take somebody that has the um, the inspiration and have them make a minigun, because getting a legendary minigun is just delicious. It's so good. Kinda crazy how good it is. Scary, if you will. Right, power is also a bit of a scary thing. I'm really running this tight. How much power is needed from a high-tech research facility? Production, high tech. 250 watts. Two of those is 500. That is more than I'm willing to afford. I guess I could make another wood fired generator. I don't particularly want to. Well, what's the point in having wood if you don't put it to use? But I've also just gone and, you know, cut down most of the trees in the area. Well, if I need the power, I need the power. Just slam it down for now. I have the steel for that at least, I think, but how much steel do these things cost? Ooh, boy, 250. And another 100. Yeah, wow, we are definitely transitioning into the steel era. Alright, more steel is needed. Myriad can get on that. These will probably give me back a little bit of steel when they're gone. And on top of that, I'm going to want to chop the remaining trees down. Trees just spawn as they see fit, so I guess I've got that going for me. There we go. Just grab as much wood as we can. We're always in need of wood. Oh yeah, this is this has been gobbling up our wood, so it shouldn't surprise me that it's been dribbling away. 
Any plans to go geothermal? I've got a very convenient geothermal thing right here, which is going to be a lot of power, but I don't want to do it just yet. Geothermal is a nice to have, but it's not integral to any of my strategy, which is why it's not being uh, considered much right now. Yeah, Professor, go digging. Uh, I want homestead. Oh, right, you can haul. There we go, get hauling. Can I not tell you to largely do... Yeah. Haul, then clean, homes. I'm in dire need of hauling right now. Including hauling that dead rat. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, Holmes. Wouldn't know what to do without you. Hauling all those rats and bunnies and things for me. I shouldn't criticize. He's doing he's doing work that I need him to do. Remember, I intend for Holmes to die. In that case, maybe I should only have one advanced research thing. And maybe Holmes can take a break from research. Nah, it's always good to have more. More research, more better. What are you up to, Super Pie? Playing chess while sitting sideways on a chair and doing it alone. You also get a bonus for listening to the harp. It's kind of useless, though. It's only plus two, and harp playing doesn't last very long. This is looking rather nice, isn't it? You know, I bet what I could do is just to make this look somewhat nice is I could have a single strip of fine limestone using up most of this, and then I can have two sandstone and two more limestone. It's going to require a lot of limestone, but that was... that was kind of the implication from the get-go. It's stripping our gas time. Thank you for the reminder, because I completely forgot. Strip, 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 go to bed and stop complaining. Actually, I'll give you some really crappy clothes. Here's a bad head wrap, a um, cloth t-shirt, some cloth trousers, and a light leather jacket. So once you're done with all that, go and wear these heavily undignified clothes. So we don't have the whole, oh, I'm naked problem. Not to mention the, oh, it's cold. But man, it is cold. Minus 25 outside, only minus 15 inside. That's bad temperature. I need to boost. I actually need more freaking heaters. All this steel requirement. So there we go. Now you're relatively warm. Tattered apparel, pain, drowsy, cold. Yep. I look forward to saying goodbye to you too. Actually, I don't, not with these invasions coming in. A couple of animals would solve your hauling problem. No, 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 no. Animals don't haul smartly. Animals haul very badly. Not only that, but animals that can be taught to attack, which is inherent for animals that can be taught to haul, um, add to your wealth considerably. And on top of that, hey, would you mind hauling all this meat away? Uh, on top of that, maintaining them... Uh, maintaining their knowledge to do that costs quite a bit of uh, labor and food. Eh, not really much the food, but the labor certainly. Do I really not have space for more leathers? I guess not. Ending up with more textiles than I thought. Also, super pie, I know I'm bothering you when you're sleeping, but could you please get rid of these? Ah! An orbiting space drone contains information about a tablet of shame. Now that I will want. On top of that... I might be able to have the Nichits imps. Who's Nichits anyway? Savage impid tribe. And you're definitely going to be hostile to the Yitkin pirates. Every eight hours. 
Seems risky. But of course it's risky. Everything's risky. Tablet Shane, does that list the weekly one? Oh, now that's, that's a bit rough. We'll have a maybe shameful weekly one-shot tomorrow. I think it's two and a half hours to beat Maniac Mansion, but I'm not allowed to use Bernard. And Bernard's about the only guy I know how to do anything with in Maniac Mansion. Well, so long guys, it was nice knowing you, but now you gotta go. Uh, Iona, are you not gonna... you're not gonna go? Okay, well now you will. Complete! My three advanced components that I don't think I'll ever need are now mine. Well, I guess I will need them eventually, but right now they're just a big stack of wealth for me. My wealth is up to 61,000. It started at 4,000. That's scary. That's really scary. No, we don't know where the tablet is. We haven't done any tablet-related quests yet. Alright, but at least we grabbed some wealth out of you. This is, well, I, I was talking about how I don't want wealth, but at least if I ever get to trade with somebody, we can do that. I will want my comms console set up. Oh, we can actually see what that requires now, don't, can't we? Is it furniture? Is it production? Is it misc? It is misc. And it's once again steel. Matthew Steel. I am really low on space for things like this. Could shove you over here. It's such a hideous place for it. And I don't think you can pick this up and place it elsewhere. This might not be a bad place for it, as long as I move you out of the way. really crowded here. And I'm eating into my daylilies spot. Actually, I can I can keep that right there, that's no problem. Yeah, I'll put the cons console over there. But it's not much use to me until I have my uh, drop pods, which is of course the next thing I want. And do we have the power? No, we don't have the power. Come on now, it's taking so long. The immense lack of steel. Oh, and Professor's really starting to be not happy. Mediocre throne room. And undignified. He really does not like it. Well, I'll make him like it. Super Pie, I know you're hungry, but could you please build that? Uh, actually, could you haul this steel first? Hold the steel over, build, eat. Generally, there's stuff to be done. And I've got somebody to still convert. Come on. I can already see it. I'm going to convert her, and then she's going to break out, and I accidentally kill or maim her on the way out. I just know there's going to be something horribly wrong happening. Breakout interval is on average 60 days. Over here, yeah, just chipping away at it. That's another 4%. At this rate, maybe 5 or 6 days until I maybe have you. Here we go. Bad temperature. Yeah, it's also eating up all of my components. Oh wait, how many components was it for the comms cut? Four. Okay, so I'm going to need more components as well. Ah, but, oh well. Ohms just had them to hand. That's useful. And there's our power. As in, I have the... So much needing done, so few hands to do it. Come on, Professor, cheer up. Professor would be happier if he could spend some time researching, but he needs needs stuff to research. I suppose he's happy enough when he digs at compact steel. A little bit, I think. And I do need that steel, so get to it. Uh, why is Holmes so unhappy? Wait, why are you malnourished, Holmes? 
Ah, I see the problem. This is critical for corn when it should only be important. Well, don't you worry, Holmes. If you're that unhappy, then I will deign to let you consume a fine meal. That'll cheer him right up. I don't want anything bad for you, Holmes. Here you go. And while you're at it, uh, critical, important, maybe have these only filled up if they're not looking so good. Am I not seeing all the corn anywhere? Because the thing now, this is important and this is critical. Oh, because it doesn't take corn, it takes rice. There we go. All is well, nothing to worry about. And Holmes is cheering up straight away because he's no longer hungry and he had that lovely meal. Yum. Refill less than, I never knew that existed. It's a mod. A mod that absolutely should be in base game. I believe it's called Satisfied Storage. But yeah, this is so good. Saves your people just spending ages hauling one single piece to a uh, to a cabinet. Alright, you go, Professor. You mine that out. Super pie, you get that building done. Or make heaters. To be fair, we do need the heaters, so that is very welcome. Yeah, power requirement's going up now, because we got to stay warm. But at least it's, in quotation marks, only costing us wood to keep this power going. I would love to transition to chem fuel, but I think I said that quadrums ago. There you go, Professor. You can get researching now. The real question is, do I build a... S Wait, ten? I must have missed the ten... Uh... Yeah, the, the, the cost of ten components. That's rough. I don't have ten components. I want a comms console, though, so I'm just going to build that straight away. Hello, League of Eaton friends. Sadly, they have nothing to trade. Why does nobody ever have anything to trade? Oh, well, you could maybe trade some of his problems. Bad back, frail, double cataract, double hearing loss, dementia. It's amazing he can even move. He's delicate. Could put the generator inside for extra heat. Mm hmm, I certainly could. Because these things emit a fair bit of heat, don't they? My my overall plan is that this thing will grow and encapsulate the generators. Oh, I don't have my go-to uh, guys to go and crush this squirrel and this rat for me. Kind of a shame that they can get through fences, but it makes sense. They should be able to. Alright, mine that as well. And then, Professor, I want you to mine that, mine that... And haul this and Myriact on your way back. Haul this as well. Job well done. Get to super pie everything he needs to build my more advanced things. Professor's really not happy. It's okay, Professor. Just get this finished. Now you can go back and have a good time. Yeah, spending time mining here is not pleasant. It's dark. It's hideous. All this rubble on the ground. If you were an undergrounder, I'm sure he wouldn't mind, but he does mind. So once he just ditches that, he can have a fine meal and get back to doing what he really wants to do, and that is teaching me how to make... Why is transport pod not available? Ew! Ew! I needed machining all along. Oh. How could this be? Oh well, Holmes is still just my monkey for dragging things around until he dies, though. If the hauling is done, then you can clean. And we kind of need some cleaning done. It's pretty dirty in here. Why are these people hanging around? Did they actually have stuff to sell? The doe-eyed monkey. Please take care of my favourite pet, the monkey red, for 21 days. Absolutely yes. Mm. 
See that monkey? It's not going to move. And I can just shove that monkey. Uh, wait, what kind of temperature are you okay with? Yeah, I can't leave him outside as much as I would like to. But what I can just do is shove the monkey over here. And then we will... Yeah, I'm not even given you medicine. I actually hope that it doesn't get better. Holmes, go and put that monkey to bed. So as long as that monkey doesn't accidentally die, that's some free uh, honour for Professor. You don't put him where people eat? No, we can all look at the funny disabled monkey while we eat our food. Mmm. Eat our food while looking at our future food. Fortunately, animals don't have any needs for comfort. It's just food and sleep. And he'll get plenty of sleep there, and we will drag him over some kibble. At least I assume we're going to drag him over some kibble every now and then. Monkey belongs in the throne? <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely not. Is that monkey miserable to look at? No, it's that he's got a bunch of dirt underneath him. Here's another nice thing, he's not going to create any dirt. Holmes is having a great time playing horseshoe. Worryingly, our expectations are going up and up and up. Super Pie even has high expectations for this place, and the drugs are doing it for me. I don't, I don't want this. I want to sell my drugs. Maybe I should make my additional research lab so that... No, no, we need, we need the dragging monkey to do the dragging. I want work to be done. I'm even running low on meals again. It's amazing how quickly you get through this food. And that's concerning given my corn situation. Yeah, it's going to be a fair whack of time until it's growing season again. I might have to move everybody over to paste just to see through the days. There we go. Paste for all. They can eat nice meals when they need a mood boost. The professor's always in need of a mood boost. I can't believe it's so, so cold and not snowing, but at least it's warm enough inside for people not to complain about sleeping in the cold. There we go, Professor. Get doing what you know best. He should be relatively fast at chewing through machining, but once he does, it's a transport pod. Then I can make allies, trade my drugs away to the allies, and finally have some goods to show for it. I suppose one of the troubling things is I'm probably going to need to give my allies a lot of these drugs to make them my friend, but that's, uh, that's a lot in life. I could also give them all these old clothes. It's a great way to just get rid of those clothes. Uh, a further problem is that I need chem fuel. And although I don't have chem fuel, I do have a way to make chem fuel. I did research a chem fuel refining lab. So I get that operational, and then finally I'll be able to make my uh, make my friends. So there we go, a hey, super pie. Maybe you could... Come on, we know it has power. There we go. See, they greet us and ask what business must be allied for any of this. And if I go to these people... Demand you make a gesture of unity, bring gifts, release prisoners, then I'm unwilling to talk until then, snorting an insult. And then what about the... No, I can't do anything without a, a title with you. And the garbage crew hurls epithets into the microphone and disconnects. So basically, this isn't doing us much good right now. Uh, do I have access to the trade beacon? I do. Right, I was thinking about just turning this thing off until I need it, but if I keep it on, there's a chance that the trader ship will pass by. And if it does, I can quickly throw down a trade beacon and then do a lot of trading that way. That won't cost me anything apart from the beacon itself, which I can then move around. So yeah, I'll keep this thing operational. I've got so much stuff just crammed into this barracks. I feel sorry for these people. I would go mad living here. I like to think eat things at least a bit clean and tidy. RimWorld mod allowed monkeys to play board games when? I don't think it'd be hard. 
you just make monkey into a... What do you call it? This thing. Xenotype. Xenotype monkey. Then give them a monkey... Uh, monkey ex, uh, a monkey look. Maybe give the fact that you have four hands something, so then you can dual wield or quad wield. Whilst bouncing on your tail, I don't know. Holmes, I'm grateful that you're doing all this... Um, hauling, but maybe hauling could take a back foot to cleaning for a bit. Because you're going... I think you just go back and forth over there to haul over our stone blocks. Mmm, horses. Do horses revenge on attack? It says no, but I'm certain I've had a stampede hit me before. Well, Superpie's got work to do, so maybe I won't have you do that just yet. Really humiliating having him eat that. Get that done, get a proper floor in so that the professor can have a better bedroom. I think we're just using paved tiles here, right? Yeah, they're completely neutral. Now what are you doing? Oh god, you're hauling that. Yeah, people are getting noticeably less happy now that our expectations have gone up. I might have to actually start thinking about how I take care of them now. Not what I wanted to do. Also, the swamp is slowly reclaiming these bodies. Ashes to ashes and dust to dust. There we go, that's quite nice. And Holmes is now actually going to clean the place up. Whilst gathering more of these. Oh, that's fair. Rimworld Lanka, dual wielding minigun monkeys. Oh my god, be overpowered to the extreme. Ah, Lanka, my true Dominion's love. Okay, all in all, we'll hope we're holding it. No big raid coming, but I'm still a little tempted. Maybe I should take the Tablet of Shame thing here. See, we'll get attacked, sure. Ah, uh, but they're tribals, and I don't particularly care about dealing with tribals, do I? Depends where it lands. If it lands out there, then it's just... What the... Oh, God, what's your problem? Oh. Hmm. Just let him die, really. Even if I save him, he'll be so slow to leave the map. Yeah, not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. I'm sorry, Carlson, but um, I'm not that charitable. Look at you. You're 83. You deserve to die. There we go. It might not seem like we're doing much, but we are making good progress towards our goals. Unless your name is Super Pack. God, he is unhappy. And it's getting, getting harder to make these people happy. Like, what could I reasonably give him? The impressive barracks is not impressive enough to him. Are yaks pen animals? They are indeed pen animals. Okay, well, you're going to rope them up. Do you think you could grab this yak? So here's the troubling thing. I can't ever seem to get them to rope multiple creatures, but I think if I do it like this, they just need to be close enough to each other, and then you rope, and then you rope, and then you get two for the price of one. There we go. Well, maybe 1.05. Yeah, I am low on ways to make my people happy, especially as they're spending all this time outside. Super Pie would far rather be spending his time building, that's what he loves to do. 384 of you. 220 on that, if nothing else. Are we eating the yaks? We are eating the yaks. We have no good reason not to eat the yaks. At least give him a quick death and throw him in the pit of fire or something. Uh, well, I don't want to turn him against me. Even the thing he was carrying was rubbish. Did he even have any food on him? Oh, man. Not even contributing to us. 
an unmitigated disaster of a person. There we go, thank you, Yaks. Now while we're at it, gimme, gimme, gimme. And there we go, that neck cut. That, that cut, if that had happened by a sword attack in the middle of a fight, that wouldn't be deadly. It's just a special, completely deadly uh, thing for your own animals. They don't deserve it. RimWorld is all about people not deserving things. Well, not just people. But our corn reserves are low, so we need the meat. And I really need to weaponize my wealth. Still, still brandishing three caveman clubs at this stage in the game is all sorts of wrong. Alright, we've almost got you. Hey, Super Pie, I bet you'd feel happy if you converted somebody. There we go. Do you feel good about that? Why not? You were unhappy that you failed to convert somebody. Alright, there we go. Now that you're actually seeing things our way with Burden of Sin, we can actually go and recruit you. That means breaking down your resistance, and then we bring you on, and then you won't even do dumb labor for me, but maybe I can find some use for you. I'll probably have you help out with unskilled construction, because Super Pie has a lot to do on his own. Actually, can you do stone cutting? Hauling, cleaning, rearming, refueling, loading, mortuarying, hauling, wardening, mining. Yeah, you could actually do stone cutting for me. That might free up Seru. Poor predictable Jake. Always takes paste. Jake, good old paste. Nothing beats that. <laughs> I know that Simpsons reference. Hmm. Come on, you're warm enough in that, Professor. And he is getting a bit happier, but uh, good by any chance of getting inspirations. Not that we've had any so far. Pretty happy with my investment into kibble. It was a bit of work to use the meat and my corn to make all this food for animals, but it just means I don't need to worry about the animals and their food for a good long time. Oh, oh god, they were actually unhappy because this old man died of his own volition. Ah, oh, well, that's going to be a few, a few bits of flake to make up for that. I don't think there's any way I could have gotten to leave the map alive. I would have, I would have had to drug him and that would have made people unhappy as well. Express interest in their uh, their appearance. Well, react. maybe you could go for that. Resistance 13 drops down to not much at all. 12.4. All right, I see we've got our work cut out for us. Just nobody's good at social in this bleeding colony. 4, 3, 4, 2, 0. It's kind of like the early game problem I had with cooking. Nobody knew how to cook. But then we got our housewife, Lady Saru. Only three cooking. He must have been a terrible housewife. At least we have you doing what you deserve to do, which is trimming rocks for us. Wouldn't actually burning the brassiers make the professor a bit happier? I don't think so. Oh, he feels like he's been stuck indoors for too long. Eh, he can always go for a walk when it's uh, recreation time. It needs to all be floored. Now granted, I could fill this up with just cheap concrete and light the brassiers and then Professor becomes a lot happier. But Professor isn't... he's not hard to keep happy. Low expectations and he loves to research and sitting on this excellent chair makes him quite comfortable. Not only that, sitting here he's got a great view so his need for beauty is often quite high. Question, if we were to put corpses into a roofed room with normal temperature, would they still decompose but their skeletons would go away after a while? Uh, with normal temperature. Yeah, they would decompose. And their skeletons would stay, just like any normal body. These ones are staying in their rotted form because it's frozen. But where's a body that had a chance to... Here we go. Here, here's a guy that was out in normal temperature. And he still rotted away. We could make a, we could make a bone pit. But on 500% difficulty, I don't think I'm around to just make things that'll be... Hey, this'll be fun and funny. No, I'm here to survive. Even though Randy's not throwing much at me for some reason. Maybe I should be grateful for the respite. Damn 
raccoons and squirrels and things eating my precious food. Their hunger rate must be tiny, though. And that's still three bits of kibble a day they're eating, and I'd rather they didn't. It's my fault for leaving this open for people to, uh, for animals to come in. Look at this one. This one just is coming in straight in to eat our food. I miss having my uh, imperial friends to help out with that. At least on the other hand, I can turn them into food. Oh, hang on. Oh my, Myriat got shoot frenzy. Myriat has much more melee than shooting, but you got shoot frenzy. Ah. Uh. The skeletons would not lose condition if they were indoors. Oh, wow, Professor's becoming incredibly smart. This is great for my research. <laughs> Look at him grow still. This is good. What's even his research rate? We can get a number on that. Intelligence is one of the easiest things to bulk up, so don't be too impressed by it. But still, if I check for... R -r -r research speed. 215% on Professor. He's twice as good as Holmes. Well, almost, but I'm still not willing to invest in something for Holmes to do. He's here to clean and haul. He's my dumb labor guy, and in due time, Akura will be my skilled labor gal. Believe it or not, I actually have the sandstone blocks to do more of this. And then the last thing I'm going to want is a batch of limestone blocks. And then I should be good for my block need for a good while. So, Seru, would you mind focusing on these limestone blocks? They are limestone, right? Yes. Very smart, Seru. 20, 20, 20, 20, 160. 460. Perfect. Uh, this again. Taylor Christian of the Dim Party. Kind, delicate, non violent. Finally, someone that knows how to do social, but I really don't want you. They're not affiliated with any faction. You can rescue and hope for joining or capture. I can't turn you away because it's charity, and if there's one thing I am, it's charitable. Cut, crack, stabbed. You, I, you, I really think I'm just going to send into the blender. Uh, Saru, rescue them, and I hope they bugger off. Have you played SnowRunner? No, but I'm pretty sure it's quite similar to the dirt version of the game, and I do not like that. It reminds me a little too much of my childhood. At least, yeah, at least he's not a geriatric. Lucky me. You know what, Myriac? Someone needs to go and club all these little creatures to death. And that someone is going to be you. Where are the other wee bastards eating all my food? Maybe I absolutely should put a door here. Stop them all coming in. Yeah, just a crummy wooden door there will do. No escape. Probably not the best use of Miriak's time. Well, I'm actually surprised they're failing as miserably at this as they are, but I guess uh, I guess not everybody could be bio sword wielders. Oh, great, could I please finally get my transport pots? I could build a machining table if it comes to it, but it doesn't currently come to it. Okay, good, you didn't instantly join me. Oh, <laughs> I'd rather stay here than leave. I'm joining your colony. 
don't want you. No drugs for you. Only wear what I force you to wear. And what kind of work are we going to have you do until I can find a way to get rid of you? I mean, what are you good at? You're good at art, you're good at social. I want you to then be my warden for a wee bit. And then, really, I think I just want you to haul and clean. Always hauling and cleaning to be done. Oh, that's right, you're, you're having funny ideas about what you, what you can and cannot wear, aren't you? Ooh, that hyperweave flop hat is actually worth some money. I'm certainly taking that off of you. Otherwise, you are going to wear a normal jacket and this crappy t-shirt. And do I have a toque? Yeah, I got a crappy cloth toque for you. And you will like it. So, trousers, jacket, t-shirt, toque, and then get to work. Oh yeah, how are you on wet? Oh yeah, you're incapable of violent. Ah. <laughs> Hating violence doesn't mean he can't stand in front of others during battle to take the bullets. Yes. However, he is delicate, so he takes 15% uh, more damage. But he's nimble. He should be able to dodge some attacks. Oh, he's also lazy. Oh my god. <laughs> he chose to just awkwardly sleep between Seru and Muriact. High eight. Psychically bond with a mate. High mates are empathetic, beautiful, cheerful, and talented. And so I want to kill you so much. What the? Where does Mega Sloth come from? Now Mega Sloth is awesome. They've got a lot of meat. I would be interested in having this Mega Sloth in its entirety. That's a lot of meat. A lot of very good fur. Thick skin insulates and protects very well. Hey, Taylor, you want to go and stand in front of the Mega Sloth while the rest of us shoot it to death? It is a freaking smurf, isn't it? Alright, well, you're clearly not someone that's been put in, so why don't we... Who's the most detestable person we have in chat? They should be this freaking smurf that we want to die. Hey, Lightning Viking says that they've been lurking here for years. Right, you sound like someone completely unlikable. So we'll call you Light Viking. And I can't wait till you die. I would say me, but I already submitted a pawn. That's good of you to say. Alright. Hopefully it'll be a magnet for destruction. That's what I'm hoping for. And the least, the least you could do is pretty much recruit your replacement. Miriax healed from being gnawed at by uh, by wee animals. You, you didn't even do that very well, Lightning. But maybe it's because you're horribly battered. Oh, your sight and your hearing are fine. Whoa, now, look at that. Mega Sloth eating my food is not acceptable. I need to think. I don't really have the capacity to shoot it to death or club it to death. It's just kind of here. Well, maybe it'll self-tame, maybe I'll get a psychic shock lance to, uh, to incapacitate it and then steal its goods. That's certainly what I hope for. Please, Professor, figure out a drop pod. Whilst you are figuring that out, I am going to need to produce my own biofuel somewhere. And I guess I'll do it right here. It's probably not a very pretty thing to look at. But I need it done. So much stuff just jammed into this bleeding room, but needs must. Oh! Oh! The wargs do get hungry, and they will eat human meat if it comes down to it. And Lord Saru is under attack. Super Pie! You're a little far away to save the day, but get over here anyway. Holmes? Oh, I did want Holmes to die, but the traps should be able to deal with the warg, no problem. Come on now. 
Okay, well that was kinda good, but it's still very fast and very angry. There we go. Just as planned. Snap, the poor thing. Right, so anyway, those are at least good food. So, let's haul that thing back. Are they actually good food? I think they're about as big as a horse. Meat amount. Base 140. What's a horse? Meat, meat, meat. Oh, okay. No, horses are much bigger than wargs. Oh, fancy that. But it does have fancy wolf leather. Yeah, wolf skin. I won't get all of that, but I'll get some of it. Yeah, Super Pie's really getting there with a the gun. He was pretty... Uh, pretty terrible early. Finally some rain. And by rain, I mean hard snow. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold for my horses. But my horses should be good down to minus 40. <clears throat> if it does turn minus 40, then I'm in trouble for my horses. I don't really want to set up a little warm barn area for them. But I guess I could quickly throw an area here with their beds. I'd rather do it here, though, wouldn't I? Anyway, my goal is to never need to give them shelter. But a cold snap could change that. And beyond minus 40, they'll get hypothermia. Yeah. Really is the long dark here. Warm the barn for horses with a heater. No, they, I wouldn't give them a heater, I think. What do we have here? 21, 21, 22, 22. I mean, they're all working hot, uh, high, aren't they? Oh, some three of them go for 22, and there's a chance that two of them might be on the low. I don't know if that helps out in any way, but it's what I'll do regardless. Unfortunately, people that raid me are probably going to be wearing parkas and toques so they stay warm. And I already have plenty of that for myself. Do we at least feel good about saving uh, Light Viking? No! We would have felt bad leaving them to die, but we don't feel good for saving them. I I'm being conned here. I am being long conned. He doesn't like it. Mm, above all, above all expectation, we are keeping this place impressive. Right, Super Pie. When you're done with that, eventually, and when Lady Seru is done getting me the blocks, I will finally have a throne worthy not just of Professor. But it should be a throne that's so good we'll be able to use it for the rest of the game. Because I would actually like to have multiple... Um, multiple honourables... what do you call them again? Well, Imperial people that use honour. Having multiple of them would be good. Being good is about doing things that are above decent. <laughs> I would still like to be rewarded for it though. Some of this stuff is degrading even more from the snow. Yeah, five per day. Fortunately, though, my loudspeaker and light ball are fine left out in the snow. I don't care about the short bow, it can die. And steel is always good when it's out and about. So I don't think it's worth smashing the, uh, the mechs apart. They'd give a very minor amount of steel for probably quite a bit of work. But at the same time, I'm a little curious. So I'm going to put a crafting spot here and order the smashing of mechanoids with a that much radius. It's a crafting job, apparently. Huh. I'm pretty sure you just get the same amount all the time. Anyway, do that forever. Curious to see what this gives me. Yeah, it is a crafting job. How about that? Hey, Professor, I'm, I'm a little curious. Could you go and smash apart these mechs with your bare hands, please? I think this was added so that tribals actually have a way to benefit from uh, being invaded by... Whatchamacallits, the mechs. Put the kibble in a barn, then put kibble at the end of the trap corridor. Then it will go through all the traps. Mmm... A devilish idea, but much too close to a kill box. Besides, I can just go out and murder them, can't I? In fact, Muria feels the need to do that right now. We've got our door operational, so... Just go and squish them with your big club. Any more animals around here that need squish? 
What are you doing down here? Oh, crikey, you're grabbing wood. And Light Viking is very unhappy. High life missing. I should be altering my consciousness. Yeah, I've been sober for too long, for the love. Um, I have a little bit of ambrosia. I guess you could have some ambrosia. The, the, the sound of bunnies getting crushed out there. Uh, this is not worth healing with good medicine, so just heal yourself with normal stuff. He's so slow. The blood loss, the injuries. Yeah. Okay, how about this? Go and... I just want you to pick up a bit of Ambrosia. I wanted to segregate the ambrosia into a little bit. Alright, you know what? Forget that. Why don't you just drink some tea? Drink some psychite. We stole this off of dead people anyway. It'll also lower his pain, I suppose. That'll go a ways to making him less miserable. High life missing... goes away. He still hates the corpses, of course. Ah, there we go. The right path goes... what's that? The right path goes through altered consciousness, and I am walking it. How long, do you have to be high for that? Do you have to be high all the time? Uh, I mean, I still intend for you to die, Light Viking, but you should die in a useful manner. And that is body blocking for the rest of us. I couldn't even have you club that hair to death, could I? Well, that's okay, it'll die. Die and it's due. Oh, right, poor Miriak standing around with nothing to do. I think I want to self tend back on you, though. Oh, he doesn't even care about that. It's alright. Soon, very soon, we're gonna have your throne done, Professor. Again, this is a much nicer throne than he actually needs. I'm gonna start lighting these before I forget later. I'm bleeding mega sloths, eating all my food, and those things are hungry. How much food per day? 1.6. That's uh, 32 kibble a day. I'm holding out for getting shot clants to kill him, and then I'll certainly get all my food back from his nutritious body, provided I can do it within 10 days. Even here? No. <laughs> well, if the bunnies would stop eating my kibble, then I wouldn't have to keep killing them now, would I? But they keep eating the kibble and they keep needing to die. Boy, normally I can afford to be fussy about the teammates that we get, but Lady Seru is already pushing it. Holmes and Light Viking I don't particularly want it. The more I think about Akuja, the more I'm wondering why am I taking you? It's not like I'm in desperate need of a surgeon, and you not hauling or cleaning is unpleasant. I'll probably have you be the uh, the stone crafter in Lady Seru's place then. Because there's usually a need for crafting. Are you any good at mining? No, you don't even do mining. You'll tend to the animals, you'll be my surgeon, you'll construct, and you will body block. Hang on, hang on. This looks unclubbed. Seru, get clubbing. Lost its sleeps. Nicely done. By the way, finish off that poor rabbit. Put it out of its misery. Good job. All that, we're all good. Do you, you just go for a little dip in the body marsh first? Well, everybody has their ways of coping. A little curious about that quest. I've only got two days left to invoke a huge amount of pain my way. 
I really don't think this is a good idea. Well, it's not that I don't think it's a good idea. I know it's not a good idea. That's a 60 enemies coming here would just end me. Flashers and thrashers, those all sound more like they're Malay. I'll take it in the morning. We have enough shock troops to get the Mega Sloth. All glory to our new home. No. It's not just... Yeah, we could take down the Mega Sloth, but it would hurt us big time. That can do a ton of damage. We're very, very slowly getting Akuja to our side. That is light here. Super Pie should have an easier time crafting these. I imagine that has an impact. There we go. Finally, some relations are moving towards neutral goodwill at long last. I've been wanting that for quite some time. More blocks for you to get when you're out there, Seru. Yeah, people are mysteriously happier now. Despite the pasty diet. Maybe they're happy because I've been clubbing all the little animals. That's what I'll choose to believe. Anyway, smashing the mechanoids didn't seem to do that much for me, so I will just throw you away. I'm not hurting on steel too much right now. Although it's amazing how quickly that steel gets gobbled up. I want to make a little bit of chem fuel. You can make chem fuel out of kibble? Hey, that's pretty good. 70 wood or 70 food? Yeah, making it out of kibble seems like a really good trade. And heavens knows I have plenty of kibble. Alright, make it entirely out of kibble, please. Drop it on the floor. I don't really care who does it. But I only want you to do it... How much, how much do we get out of this again? 35. I don't need that much. Give me, like, five batches of them, please. Sounds like Lady Seru job. Refining is a particular job. Um, you know what? It's a kind of useless job. Oh my god, it's considered skilled. Alright, Light, you go and do it. Actually, they call me Viking. Get to it, you smurf. Thankfully, it's a job that you can't mess up. Well, I say that, you, you had to double back for that, didn't you? But I'm going to want this chem fuel ready for when I have the drop pods operational, and those are coming. It's going to cost probably all of my components, actually. Ah, oh, jeez. I'm going to be short one component, I can already feel it. I'm sure that Risk is Holmes and Light Viking are willing to take. Yeah, relations can go up, actually. Oh wait, did they go down? Oh, I guess they did go down. I thought it went... Ah, okay, neutral goodwill. I thought it went up. Apparently they were happy for me saving one of their guys, but now it went down. Because of natural enemy, and they are super... Wow, that seems very hard to get around. At least this one's naturally going up. Mm -hmm. If current goodwill is far from neutral, it will slowly... Ah, okay, it's within neutral, so it's not going to change. That is a shame. But at least it's not going to go down if we have it up to allied zone. At least it shouldn't too much. Right. I said I'd do it, and even though this is a terrible idea, we're going to do it. 20 units attacking us five times. Well, 21, including the warg. All that to make Professor an even more honourable individual. Hey, Super Pie, you got nothing to do? That's unusual. I got 240 limestone that you could be turning into fine limestone flooring for Leighton. And on top of that... I want to expand my cleaning area to involve this. A high smurf making chem fuel sounds like a hazard. Oh crikey, chem fuel actually degrades out here. In that case, let's dangerously store it indoors.
I need to think who I want to be my friend first. Since they're the closest, I'll probably make... Wait, uh, no, that's me. Um, oof, I'd like to do League of Eten since they're relatively friendly. Uh, they hate my guts. You don't, though. I could go for the Gokum Lagoon, but they are uh, primitives. You know what? I'll just st stack up on all of my flake and see what can be done. But I need to build my drop pod first, then I'll make my decision. Prepare a caravan flop, uh, spot for fleeing. Maybe we'll be okay. I'll be in trouble if there are sappers that come from the south, and I'll be in big trouble if there are mortars. But my hope is that it's just a, a bunch of people that blindly charge me to begin with. I'm going to pull this inside, though, uh, in a couple of days, or rather tomorrow, so that I don't risk that being a problem. Maybe a super pie has nothing better to do, you know, once he's done with all his flooring. I could go for the whole idea of there's no such thing as too many traps. Because, you know, there's no such thing as too many traps when you've got 20 of them coming your way. They're kind of good to extend over in this way because I find they tend to hug this wall a fair bit when they're on their way. thing about concrete floorings, I'm pretty sure there's no way to destroy it. I could be wrong. It does sound reasonable that a big enough explosion can destroy flooring, but this is hard to see because of all this snow. Actually, it's not just hard to see, I think it's impossible to see. That's nice to single these out as our spots. Hey, it could be a hint for our own people. Do not step here, you'll probably die. There we go, burn through. No, it's not that we're burning through our wood, we're weaponizing our wood, and that's a good idea. There's a hole in your trap grid on the left-hand side, you probably meant that. I'll believe you meant that. Viking, why are you sleeping? Did I say you could sleep? It's 9pm. Get to work. God, I hate this guy. Ah, there we go. Good to see that Sarah's thinking about the colony. I know I am. Ah, the garbage crew is mining nearby with a thousand steel. I am marginally tempted by what I see, but only marginally. Caravanning is for when it uh, brightens up around here. When does the temperature get better? Supposedly starting from the 11th of April May, it'll be warm enough. We're currently in December. Yeah, we, we get a much longer growing period than was advertised. Also, where's that mega sloth? I was just chilling over there. If only I could find a way to just... Right, now, I would like to take it out peacefully, but there's a huge chance of failure for taming. 30% chance... Oh, also he requires 10. And the best animal we have is 5. Oh, this is, this is all sad. are still good with their plants, but we almost have it. Oh, it's going to be good to have this. I might even be able to call in some backup. And that could be right on time, but I do fear I'm short a component. Get it done, Professor. Tell me what's what. Right, next up from that is long-range mineral scanner, I would dare to say. But is there anything more interesting to us? I love long-range mineral scanning. It's just such a way to get goods on demand. 
like gold. And I do have the uh, advanced components to build that. It's a bit of a... Oh, well, no. What would be nice is getting geothermal power. Just having free power forever sounds really nice, doesn't it? Now... Is it misc? It is misc. And it's only one component. Oh, thank goodness. Right. Where am I going to put you that you're not going to bother me for the rest of the game? Maybe not there. I could easily have big explosions around there. Perhaps here. There we go. Did we get the no baby modification yet? No. And I would love to shove IUDs up all of my women, but I, with no double beds for them to enjoy, there's no chance of uh, loving resulting in some undesired babies. Meacham Snow certainly slowing our walk down outside. Bad news for Seru, because you're still making me stone blocks. How about we... I said I was going to bring this indoors now, didn't I? Yeah. Let's do exactly that. Actually, 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 I have another idea. See this chair? I'm just going to uninstall it. Oh, but you're not assigned to... Well, actually, I could assign you to deconstruction, couldn't I? Deconstruction... I mean, deconstruction is nothing. Anybody should be able to do de uh, deconstruction. So uninstall that, and then deliver that. My amazing thought is thus. I'm going to leave this chair out here. Uh... Uh... Uh, <laughs> well, at least I probably won't be dealing with those timber wolves. Oh jeez, right. Everybody stay inside. And Seru, get back in right now. Uh, but only after you do this. Oh, come now. Hmm. Oh, that seems odd. Why does that not be? There we go, there we go. Come now, before the wolves decide to have your guts for garters. Yeah, I really hope they don't run over and ruin my traps. That would be a big waste. So hopefully they don't have any reason to run up there. Timber wolves are awesome, though. A rugged predator long feared by many ancient earth cultures. Complex, socialized, and fiercely intelligent. Very cute to have. And not only that, they can handle uh, pretty extreme heats on both ends. They even don't eat a lot of food. But they are filthy, aren't they? Yeah, twice as filthy as a normal small dog, I think. And infinitely more filthy than a cat. There we go. It's not going to be very comfortable for you, is it? Can I migrate a... Yeah, I'll migrate a seat over there for you so you don't get too uncomfortable. I'm sure someone like Myriact could do that. Since you don't appear to be doing anything else. Disable the door just in case. Fantastic idea. Now, finally. This is my last component, so it better be worth it. Unfortunately, meaning uh, having no more components means that I cannot fix anything that breaks down. So I better hope that, say, my comms console doesn't break down. Would be nice if there was just some more components to dig out of the ground, but... Uh, I know it's called machinery, isn't it? Compacted machinery. Nope, none to be had. Unfortunate. And they're not cheap to buy, either. Oh well, that's how it goes. Let's load you up as much as we can. Actually, you know what, 75 is probably fine because... Actually, could I just set it to nothing and then put in what I need as I need it? Right, transport pod. This is my one way to make friends that could help me out, or if nothing else, actually trade with me. Although I better not invite them just yet. 
but I need to make friends. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shove over all the items that I really do not care about in here. So, 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 so. A great thing to make is uh, beds out of these, so I will strongly consider doing that. I don't, give, I don't want to give my flake just yet, but let's have an idea of how much... How much does a hundred... A hundred's a lot. How much does twenty flake improve someone's opinion of me? <laughs> what now? I've seen three little pits. They'll huff and they'll puff and they'll blow my wooden door down. Right, if I were to launch that... It would be a very, very small bonus to how much people like me, and I can't even reach those friendly ga Oh, no, they're over here as well. Well, that's convenient. 3 for 20 flake. 30 for 200 flake. But I need more than that. I need 80. I don't want to give them all my flake. I want that flake for trading. So, we are going to shove in... Hmm. I like my go juice. It's good for just in cases. Even so, six might be a bit much of it. And we're bound to get some from people that come and attack us, so shove in four of that. Ambrosia, I kind of want that for my high life guy. The psychoid lead is just going to go off otherwise. But keep it anyway. Mm, all these dead bodies, but they're probably not something that they're after. Right, see all these weapons that I don't really want anyway? The knife, the club, the great bow, even that crappy revolver, maybe? I'm gonna keep that good auto pistol. Tox grenades, they're actually worth some money, off they go. Crappy head wrap, crappy slave collar, other crappy head wrap. Ah, the real stuff, right. Floppy uh, hyperweave flop hat, old crummy bird skin hat, the gas mask. Layton's old used bowler hat. I'm going to keep the toque because that's kind of warm for us. Someone might want it. Old crappy pants. You know, they're not really worth money. It might be good to keep around for people that uh, end up stumbling into my colony. No, there'll be plenty of that from the raiders. So let's just get rid of much of this stuff. That old t-shirt, that sash. Those other crappy trousers. I want to keep my jackets. That hyperweave thing, throw that in. The LTEX robe, throw it on in. Right, I'm going to see how much all this is going to do for making them happier. And if Super Pi has very little else to do... Oh, well, he's going to haul that stuff, isn't he? But I might want to put some of this to use. Look at all that plain leather. Plain leather's not doing us any good. So I would like you to make us some double bed rolls out of plain leather. How much plain leather do I even have here? 600. There we go. Hey, we are meant to be charitable after all. Good lord, Lady Q, you just can't stop. Eventually I'm going to run out of space for all these foals. This is kind of good that I kept my clothes right next to this. It makes it a lot easier to just shove them in there. So these things have reasonable value. 375 buckaroos from 85 plain leather. 85 times 2 would be like 160 odd something. So yeah, we're adding decent value out of that. Of course, that's for an excellent one, but it's also training up Super Pie's construction. In fact, you're about to hit 16, which will be lovely. I provide for the colony! Yes, you do! Don't worry, it won't be long before we're feeding you your own young. But hey, that's just RimWorld things. Right, I've actually got space for another one of these, and I've got a bunch of light leather. So... Light leather ones. One, two, three, four. How much light leather do I have? 300. Okay. Yeah, I don't actually have any human leather. I haven't butchered any humans, and trust me, that does feel very strange. 
But here I am just taking all my crap and giving it to my friends. Oh, nice. Masterwork on that. And that is worth the good dollary dues to send over to my friends. Uh, we didn't get to finish our traps. The Timberwolves have caused us a bit of grief with that. Oh, right, my poor, my poor little uh, crappy wooden chess table has no chairs. Well, we can focus on that later. It's not like people desperately need to play chess right now. Yeah. Hang on, do I not have the level up thing pinging up? I feel like I'm not getting noises for it. But I might be imagining things. Where's level up? Huh, I guess it is. I don't like level down things, but maybe I just missed the sound. Wouldn't be the first time, and won't be the last. Right, I don't think I want to use the rest of my nice furs for doing more of this, but I do want to take all of these and uninstall them. Get to that. So this has all of its crap except for one club. Very acts on the clubby case. I hope I don't come to regret getting rid of all my clubs, but it's not like Tough Viking could take it. There we go. And now you've got only 19 kilos worth of stuff in you. That's light. Well, anyway, if I were to launch all my rubbish at them, they'd get 26 relation. Now I'm going to shove them all of this stuff, which I regret people picking up now. Could I also have you then store bedrolls here? You know, just so they don't walk away on me. Makes it easier to shove the bedrolls into here. There we go. So people love getting good bedrolls, so let's shove in our good ones, good ones, and one of our excellent ones and see what we get with that. Remember, I'm trying to improve my relations by 80 with the League of Eton, and then I can have them as an ally. And then I can call them in for trading and friendship and all sorts. Imagine being an Imperial suddenly a pod full of crappy pants falls on our yard. Oh boy. Hey, I'm just being charitable. Ooh, only 43. This isn't going as well as I'd hoped. Alright, take the other bed rolls and also take my box for the rest of my light leather and plain leather. I'm not so sure I want to give them my panthera fur. I think I'd rather turn the panthera fur into a lovely bed roll for them. Be a minimizing movement here, just trying to get as much of this done as I oh masterwork for it. Now that that's worth some dosh. Surely anyone's gonna love receiving this. Load that while you're here, my friend. react with nothing to do. How oh, is my steel reserves looking? Surprisingly good. I'm just wondering if you could mine out anything of use. Oh, well, you could always go and club apart a another wee rabbit. How are they all getting in here? They must have been hiding from me this whole time. There we go. Now if I were to send this... We're getting there. 51. What else could I be sending? Yeah, I don't have a lot of chem fuel to be sending them more. So I guess i got to send them the bedroll. And... I don't have much option but to send them more drugs. I mean, I have plenty of flake. I might as well use it for something useful like this. But go and shove in... 50 more flake and see what they like. I hope a bunny bites your nose off! All the DDR that I play, you think you could manage my toes? I 
Dark Young walks into one of his weights and he breaks his toe. I walk into the weights and I break the weights. Okay, I think I'm getting diminishing returns on this. Even so, I really do need some friends. But I am getting rid of most of my wealth this way. You know, I kind of wanted this to be trading, but... Shove more of it in. Whilst I desperately think of any other way that I could... Uh, I don't want to use up all my blue fur, but I might be forced to make more bedrolls out of blue fur. Five of them. I don't, I don't have the makings for five of them. I got the makings for maybe one, two, three. Yeah, three, I guess. Come on, Super Pie. We need these to be the world's best bedrolls. Inspired recruitment by Light Viking, we could actually get you in a one -er. Unfortunately for me, we're already really close to getting you. Uh, I don't really want to waste this, but yeah, at least we'll, I guess we'll do it. Colonists for the Broken Empire. Give me three colonists for 15. Nope. Never ever. I was contemplating not using that uh, inspiration on Hakuja and then maybe waiting out for someone considerably better. 66. Alright, we're almost in Alliance territory. But that's used up so many of my resources. Just watch my uh, watch my wealth take a nosedive after doing this. Actually, I wonder if this hides your wealth. That'd be quite funny if it did. Oh no, no, it certainly does not. Bed rolls pretty please. Oh, it's not showing up. Maybe because you're yeah, you're trying to gather them up, aren't you? There and there and get them in, super pie. What a, what a sad looking throne room in a way. At least the professor's going to look forward to getting his actual uh, bedroom back as well. Okay, that is so close to being enough for you. God, the poily walks would love it. Ergo's less so. What else could I conceivably give these people other than the last of my drugs? Because I really don't want to give them more of my drugs. I need those drugs for uh, for trading. Hey Jake, you've been playing any Dwarf Fortress? Nope, I prefer RimWorld over Dwarf Fortress in really every way. So I don't tend to play, well I do not play Dwarf Fortress, period. Don't want to give away my food, I need that food for eating. Plasteel has good value, but I want to use that down the line. I don't want to butcher somebody just to get some, uh, just to get some human leather for sending them. Send them meat, send them ponies. Yeah. There's not even that much space for sending more things. I might just have to give them some drugs. What if I add in another 75 drugs? Everyone loves drugs. God, this tune outlaw is so good. Curiously, when am I getting attacked? In about a day, okay. 74, ah man, I am so gonna miss my flake. All right, give him another 75 flake. Oh, wow, our people really have very little to do, don't they? I'm out of, I'm out of corn actually, which is rather concerning. This isn't gonna last me. I'm gonna have to start throwing raw meat into my nutrient paste dispenser. I might even want a bulk goods collector to come around. 78. These people are having a lark on me. Right. Do I even have any flake left to give them? I got 111 flake left. And 
I really don't want to give it to them. <laughs> uh, Glitter World Medicine, that's entirely more than I need, so why don't you take like four of those? Yeah, they're at minus five relations, and I need them to be at 75. So I need plus 80 out of this. Plus 80, and it's currently at 78. Actually, 78? Then it's just a tiny little bit more. Then I really will give to them three bits of Glitter World, and... Mm, I've got all this Muffalo wool and wool skin. Why don't you take the wool skin and Panthera fur? How could that not do it? Maybe I shouldn't give my Glitter Worlds. Yeah, I regret the Glitter World. Don't don't give them the Glitter World. Yeah, I like my Glitter World medicine. I could give them wool instead. Still at 78. Yikes. Alright, give them all that wool. That's the stuff. There we go. Let's get a friend. Whee! <laughs> it's going to be very funny if I sent it to the wrong, wrong people. There we go. Finally an ally. Now, at what point is it going to update my wealth? Because the amount I just threw away like that... Is surely going to... Well, I hope it's impactful. If it's not, I'm going to be very sad. Very, very sad. Uh, Holmes, why are you doing Professor's job? Professor, why are you not studying? My poor people are uh, drumming their... Drumming their fingers, wondering what they can do to pass the time. Maybe figure out a way to get me some food. Because I sure do not have food. If people truly have nothing to do, what they could do is, and not those, but these, these could be hauled up for me. And is there any more mining work for them to be do uh, doing? Try and think how to keep them busy during these times. This thing can go. And certainly the floor. The floor could go, but there's no pressing need to grab that floor. I should be so grateful for those wolves. They've they've done me a solid. Dig through that and see what's what. Glad there's nothing over here. Going through all that water would be unpleasant. Trees won't last forever, but I think they... I don't think they grow in... Hmm? Trees do last forever. Oh, right, they do eventually uh, grow old and die, but yes, they're not growing. Their growth is down to zero and up to 58. But they're pretty hardy. They don't tend to die in the cold. That said, you, you can get things like Toxic Fallout, and that just murders all the trees and all the wildlife on the map. And then it can be a long time until you have usable trees regrowing, that's why I like to stockpile my wood. Tell you what, Holmes, why, why are you not cleaning my home for me? It looks awfully dirty. Actually, no, it's just that concrete looks like ass. <laughs> So I have them to hand. I can have a chair there, there, and there. That's going to give Super Pie something to do as well. I can move them around as I need, and then people can play, uh, play chess, do their... I think I could also have one here. Play chess, do some smithing, do some artwork. This is actually a good time for Seru to be polishing up her artwork. But uh, it's a bad time for my food. You could put down real stone flooring if there's nothing else to do. I don't really have the stone for that. I suppose it's a lot cheaper than fine flooring. 
Okay, there we go. We're finally getting Kuja to join us. Of course, this is the era of dumb labor, and you don't do dumb labor. There we go. Right. Worry not, Professor Layton. Your personal bedroom is yours again. There we go. A lot happier. And hey, it's a somewhat impressive bedroom. It's less impressive than the barracks, but them's the breaks. Oh, Hakuja! You fancy a bit of the super pie, do you? Right, time for you to learn our ways. You can enjoy yourself in the evening. You are only allowed to wear what I force you to wear. And you're not allowed any drugs. No one's allowed any drugs, unless otherwise allowed. You're still hypothermic? I guess you're not wearing particularly warm clothes and it's very cold out there. Do you need less sleep or something? feels like he keeps going without needing sleep. But there's nothing here about that high libido. Crikey. We need to research ways around that. Are you eating that? No, you're sewing. Whew, I thought you were eating raw corn. I'm hoping those raids start coming before the wolves go away. Good, they have Scaria. Scaria usually stops them from just giving up after a while. But they often go away after a few days, that's why I would really like my other going Right, Akuja is a terrible name. Who are we going to have here instead? Who didn't put in a name for our colonists and wants to be part of this? Akuja's not entirely someone I want to throw away, but you're not someone that I rate that highly. Why are you so staunchly anti child Not staunchly anti child, I'm happy to have children come in as raiders. Then we can dispose of them. Right, Kevin's not a very female name for this, uh, definitely female individually. Does anyone have a name that sounds kind of female? I suppose a Ramsey does. There we go. And while we're at it, you seem like just the kind of person that I would like to have equipped with. Frag grenades, because at least you won't betray me like your other... Actually, you did betray me, didn't you? Yeah, I remember. Oh, this is good and bad. I just got rid of all my flake, but now here's some... Oh, bollocks, I need a component for that. Uh, okay, let me deal with that momentarily. First things first, I want you to take off your clothes. Second thing, secondly, I'm going to force you to wear Took Tribal Wear Jacket. I don't care so much about the sash. And you've already got your grenades, that's good. Right, so here's the problem. I need the orbital trade thing down to trade. If I don't have it, no trade can be done. But I need a component. Where do I get a component? I think you used a component, right? Use three. If I destroy you, I'll get one back. One or two back. Wow, these are expensive in components. I could also get rid of my harp. I mean, uh, my smithy. I never use my smithy. I don't want to make any of these. I will have to make a harpsichord down the line. At what point do you need a harpsichord for the... Um, well, for this, is it night? Throne room, harp, praetor, harp, baron harpsichord, count piano. Okay, so it's not until praetor. In that case, I can rather happily dispose of the electric smithy, even though I'd quite like a second harp. Having the harp over here means people gotta go all the way over there to play with the thing, and they will want to play with it. So maybe you're not the best thing to dispose of just yet? Well, what else would I? Again, I turn back to the biofuel refinery. But I like my refinery. And I have an idea for you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna dispose of you. 
You can make harps at crafting spots. For real? If so, that makes my decision a lot easier. Well, damn. How in the world do you just make a harp on the floor like that? Doesn't even cost anything more. It probably just takes a bit longer. Fine by me. We're disposing of this in order to get our part. Please do that right now. I need this. There we go. That's good enough gear for you. You'll be cold outside, but you'll be warm inside. Our Ramsey laughed at Super Pie's self-control. <laughs> what a way to join in. At least he didn't take that as an insult, but uh, we know he's not that bright. Oh god, I only got one. Okay, so... So, so, so... I'm just gonna shove this down, probably... Probably here. That's gonna encapsulate a lot of my goods. Bang. Super pie, make that right now. And who's our best trader? All of the stuff that I've been setting up is just to be able to start using my economy. I hate to say it, but Light Viking is my best. Right, once you've done that, could you please call the exotic good company? Does this thing get power, by the way? Yes, it does. Good. Get power, get power, get power. Okay, good. I'll be able to put those drugs to use now, because these guys definitely take drugs. All your crap is outside. Yeah, but I'm not selling this crap. I suppose I could sell the plast steel, but I don't want to. What I want to sell are my drugs, because these drugs are a liability. Too much wealth, too much attention. Uh, ambrosia, I could frankly get rid of almost all of that as well. The go juice, I can finally get some money out of you. Uh, a few of the smoke leaves, I'll keep the psychite. The glitter world, the components. I could sell the horses. Ooh. You know, that's not bad. I got a lot of horses. Even the, They'll even buy the foals. Well, that depends what they have for me. I'm not willing to take the Luciferium pill just yet. I'd need to be very assured that I could have Luciferium, and it's not that useful now. It's useful to... It's useful to have when you have someone that's really injured and you want to keep around. And it's good when you can find it with a nuclear stomach. We're far away from that. These are outside of what I need right now, although there's a lot of cool stuff. Pollock seed would be great if I were doing... Um, well, these things are a free way to get rid of a small amount of uh, toxic packs. Triple rocket launcher. God, I love those shield packs. Psychic shock lance. Yes, that is what I'm here for. 325 gold. Oh, I want it, but it's so expensive. Telescope is actually pretty cool as well. ABC of RimWorld, always buy components. Does he have components? He does. And I need those. Right. You know, I only really need one stallion. Can I tell their genders from here? Tarkin is male. Female. Male. Female. Male. Right, well, I'm getting rid of my males. Tarkin, I think you've got to go. Although I can get rid of Stall, um, get rid of Kino. Kino's old, right? Too old. Away you go. I need the extra money. That'll get me my components. Literally says female male next to their name. It does? Oh, so it does. Cool. I managed to not notice that. I just need one male to do the breeding, and Tarkin is now going to be uh, having quite the amorous life. I think I'll keep the foals, right? We've already had them. I might as well just freely invest in them till they're big enough to be cut down or sold. Nutrimane is amazing to have, but I'm not really in a position where I could make good use of it. Although it is great for making industrial medicine. Wouldn't hurt to take, like, 20 of them and make lots of industrial medicine that way. I want, uh, I'm gonna get rid of like a few of these just so I can have some money to play with. You know, I didn't, if I hadn't made friends, I would have had so much flake to sell this guy. I could buy just about everything he had. Go figure that's how the timing is. Can we buy some food? He doesn't sell food, so no. 
And we're not going to do that. We, we can get plenty of meat. Oh, man. I really do want that gold, but it's probably better that I just go mine out gold. Um, and I already have three advanced... How many advanced components are needed for a long-range mineral scanner? I don't know that, but I should be able to look that up. Long-range mineral scanner requires... Two advanced components. All right, all right. I'm not going to sell the one that I have, but it's good to know that I have enough without needing to buy more. One, I think. Nope, two is what I'm reading. Although I could be wrong. Right, I'm still in the money here, so what could I still be buying? I love low shield packs. They're just such a difference between life and death. I will take one, and this will be my absolute get-out-of-jail-free card. And to afford that, I'm going to sell... Oh god, who am I going to sell? I could not take the Nutramane. No, I want that Nutramane. I want at least ten of it. Uh, there's not much left I can sell. I can get rid of two more of my... Uh, two more of my Glitter Worlds. Get rid of my Psychite and my Smoke Leaf. I'm sure to find some people bringing those in to me. I could sell them Plasteel, but I mentioned earlier I don't want to do that. I still don't want to do that. You probably want to keep three around. Not being able to build a fabrication bench can be horrible. I've never found that to be such a rush. Troubling me here. There's not really much left that I can even sell you. I give up on the Nutramane and I leave you one component, then there. Hey, I haven't got my silver uh, calculated into this, have I? I could, if I really wanted to, buy more of his Nutramane and components by shifting my silver indoors. All 454 of it, it's not a lot. But selling the Plasteel might not be the worst idea. I don't have any immediate uses for it, and I will be able to get more down the line. And I don't need it to build the long-range mineral scanner, which is my ticket to get more of it. I'm not selling a full. I want them to grow up big and strong, and then I can use them for whatever. Yeah, you know what? I think I might just do this. So, zone, stockpile zone, right here. And you are a critical place for my silver... And my Plasteel. And we're going to sell that. Also, regarding this uh, low shield pack, Super Pie. You will be in charge of the low shield pack. Miriact, for all your clubbing ways, you are going to be in charge of that Shock Lance. I went to great uh, great lengths to get these. They better be worth it for me. Also, please haul that plasteel. I still want to do some trading here. You can definitely lose about half of it. Even if you want to play it safe, you're probably meaning my, uh, my plasteel, right? We didn't really earn any of this. I think we got it off of the attacking whatchamacallums. Yeah, those things. I wonder if there's any kind of clothes this guy buys, because I might be able to make fancy clothes down the line for something like that. Super pie, please. Look at that plasteel unto us. Oh, while we're at it, I should probably make industrial medicine. Oh, I haven't researched how to make medicine. Whoops. What am I researching right now? Geothermal. That makes sense. Light Viking. Call them up and say, hey, I, know I want a refund. Start complaining about the stuff you just bought. Right, if I give them a class deal, that gives me a good amount to play with. I can get that component, and I can get a reasonable amount of Nutramane for making good uh, medicine. Medicine that never goes off, and is much better for treating wounds. Some plasteel doors are good for defense if you're not using it for anything else. You are very correct. I won't give him more uh, more plasteel than he, than he so desires. I think I'll take... 30 of that, and then I'll keep any additional plasteel. Yeah, there we go. 
seems fine to me. I could actually get one more advanced component, and then I could have two long-range mineral scanners for vast amounts of resource gaining. And I do like having multiples of those. Yeah... Uh, I'm gonna regret this if I just end up finding another advanced component, but I will take that. There we go, look at that. Wealth eliminated. Unfortunately, I've already taken my high, uh, high wealth mission, but that's how things go. In a few, few short hours, we should have that. Oh, the Mega Sloth, right. Myriac, your first job is to... Okay, bugger off down there. No, I want that Mega Sloth. Aranzi, since you have nothing better to do, I want you to come and join in as well. I wonder how many man hours that door opening and closing animations cost. Yeah, but it's just so expensive on power to have uh, fast opening doors. It's, you gotta really need it. Aranzi is gonna wonder why she's just staring at this uh, mega sloth for, but trust me, there's method to my madness. Come on, Myriac, stop being a martyr here. You wanted to take a dip with the corpses in the marsh? That's on you. Right, a Ramsey over here. Right next to that thing, please. Oh god, I gotta be sure that I hit the sloth and not a Ramsey. <laughs> right, go. Bang, good. One thing is you can literally set their brain on fire when you do this, and that's quite dangerous. So, let's not. And, ah, oh crap, Super Pine needs to be the one to, to hunt it, aren't you? Well, what you could do is you could actually rescue the Mega Sloth. And that'll bring it a lot closer. There we go. Just drag it over here so we can put it to good use. Super Pie, you're going to be slitting its throat, and then we're going to get a huge amount of meat and amazing fur out of it. Any big events in the last two hours? I was on babysitting duty, honestly? I wouldn't say so. We've just been working our way towards getting our trade groove on, and we certainly have it on now. No, Super Pie, I need this thing eliminated before it wakes up, please. Hunt that Mega Sloth. I don't care if it's going to make a bloody mess. I just don't want it waking up in here as I'm slitting its throat. There we go. The amount of resources on this Mega Sloth. Mm. 448 meat, 160 very good leather. Yes, please. This stuff just pays for itself. And good, we're almost done hauling all these blocks much as we didn't need to. Don't even bother mining this stuff. I don't know why I turned this stuff on. Okay, lady, show me the goodies. Your butchering efficiency is... 90%. Even though you're that good of a cook, I wonder if it's because you lost your finger. What a shame. You gotta love the personal army of wolves, it does not count to the call. That's an, that's an enemy army, not my army. Also, the thought occurred, I didn't use my silver to buy things. I certainly could have, couldn't I? Is there anything more I want out of you? My god, you are freezing out there, aren't you? Ah, you're not too bad. Oh, he, he keeps walking past the corpses and he hates it. He also hates the blinding light. Uh, you're a dim individual, but I don't like having people up and on the go at night time. I suppose I could shift your schedule. Alright. How many hours of sleep do people down need? Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's your recreation time. There you go. Now rethink about what you're doing. There we go, we also got Mega Sloth Wool, so yeah, that was a hefty amount of wealth out of that. And I mean that in a good sense. I can actually make good clothes out of that. Maybe the professor even wants to make that shirt now. For 
professor, maybe you want to do a bit of, not drugs, but tailoring for, oh, he's not doing it. Ah, that's because it requires blue fur. No, make one out of heavy fur. You deserve it. Same with the formal vest. I don't mind giving him things that don't block bullets so well because he's not involved in combat much. He will eventually have psychic powers that make him someone I want to use in combat, but not right now. Oh no! No! <laughs> now is not the time, not Brelix! That said, I'm gonna get all your goodies for free, but uh, do I really want dead children blood on my hand? They're only four and six. The Ergo people are my friends now. Oh wait, no, the Ergo people are tribal. <laughs> Hey, let's whistle for the wolves. You know, it's gonna... Oh! <laughs> oh, well. It is not a good day to be these people. They're about to be lunch, all right. Hang on, is this from the... Is this from the event? Yeah, it is. Three groups of Yitkin from Rochelko. Right, here I thought you guys might actually have some proper weapons and armaments for me. But you're dressed in tribal wear. However, they have shield belts. I love shield belts. And they do not count as tainted, even if they come from a dead body. Oh, but they do have one LMG. It's bio-coded. That must be the boss. Yo, the boss quack. Despite being 50 odd, he's got no crippling health problems. His shooting is quite low. Flak pants. Alright, well, they've got their own problems to deal with. Go, my wolf army. I mean, these guys are just every shade of dead. That's far from my concern. I'm more worrying about how this is going to play out. Good, they got the boss. Actually, wait, I thought you'd be the boss. You're the one with the LMG. Or did more of you have an LMG? Well, it matters not to me. The wolves are eating good tonight. Problem is, I'm unlikely to be able to get that stuff without Tainted becoming an issue. Because those people are so dead. Any chat pawns? Huh? Oh, that's the question. They're all neo-ideology, so I'm pretty sure none of them are people that we've made. But do you recognize any names here? I do not. Why is Warg so injured? What did you try and fight? Oh, the Timberwolves! Oh, oh of course, that's an attacking Warg, isn't it? I'm actually surprised that uh, it fought the Wolves, but it's still going to die, which is good. I, I did not want to have to handle the Warg as well. I'm a little concerned about these guys coming in immediately, though. A group this small I could take out, especially since those shields will not protect them from my tricks and traps. And hopefully a bunch of these wolves will die, but I also want them to take care of more of the attacks that are coming in. We don't know when the other ones will come, though. It just says two will follow soon after. How soon is soon? How soon is now, I think, would be the tattoo song. Okay, it seems that they want to go and avenge their pals. Fine by me. See, this is just perfect timing. It could have been wolves, it could have been mechs, it could have just been another faction, but it takes care of these guys for me. I need to consider if there's anything I really, really want to strip off of them to the point where I would run out and half die for it. Again, uh, shield belts do not get the tainted status. Hey, some of the dogs didn't actually uh, putrefy. I can see there's a numbers thing better. But there's no particularly good armor, and there's nothing made of gold on them that I can see. Sometimes people can have golden items on them, which are good for smelting down. But they did bring, they did bring weapons that are an upgrade over my big clubs, so... I won't be too uh, dissatisfied with that. You are my go-to doctor. You are absolutely my go-to doctor and surgeon and whatnot. In fact, nobody else should do surgery, just you. 
Preferably nobody else even does doctoring but you. But what else do you do for me? Great for growing and harvesting. Oh, that's right. I want you to be doing uh, repair work, deconstruction work, and construction work. And everybody should be around to do stone cutting. But that doesn't give you much to do. I appreciate that. There we go. Since there are more of these attacks coming in, I'm actually rooting for the dogs. The more dogs that survive, the uh, the more insulation I have against the other two attacks. Poor Shitatsu will die unrecognized and unremembered by Jake, just like in U4. I don't spy a Shitatsu. Unless it's Sho. No, it's a Sho Kotark. They're distracted, Jake. Go and save the dying children. Uh, dying child, and there's no way. Its arm and leg were torn off. Sorry, Brelixico. You and your kids are very dead. But there's no way this can be considered my fault, right? Oh, Miriact hates being in this ugly environment. I don't, I don't want it. I really don't want you to break and then head out for a particularly bad time out there. Doing a disturbing a good job of the dogs. All right, Miriact, you you've you've worked plenty. I don't want you to flip out on me. So at least you can do is haul this stuff back. Come on, man. Go, my timber wolves. Eh, oh God! I was saying how I did not want mortars. Ugh. Ugh. What am I going to do against that? They've got a quad rocket launcher. Uh, well, a triple rocket launcher, but that's still bad bloody news for me. Ah, uh, hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Super Pie is known for being a jogger. But uh, he's... yeah, people are getting really unhappy around here. I don't want it to be so unhappy. Maybe I'll have him eat this ambrosia to cheer up. But I'd hate to have him mentally break when he's out there. Do I still have any tea or did I throw all that away? I think I did. Mm-hmm. He doesn't like his ratty apparel either. Of course you don't. No Animal Insanity Pulsar? Nope. They're getting their goods already. I need to figure out a way to deal with you. There are 19 of them. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 of us that can fight. I don't have any of the normal things to use against this. I'm going to pound all my stuff into oblivion with those. Time to call for help from the friends. Yeah, but if they land near the wolves, they're just going to die to wolves. You are right, though. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Military aid. Hopefully they land to the north. On top of that... Where are they landing? Okay, that's kind of good if they head north. The professor could go up and bring in my... Uh, yeah, that's what I'll do. Professor's heading north as well. And he's going to call in our friends, and Super Pi is heading north in case I need an extra gun or the low shield. Uh, Miriak's got a shock collar. I'd rather have that, but hey ho, let's go. At least he didn't land on my traps. No, 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 don't go south. Do not go south. They're probably trying to go through those doors, aren't they? No, 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 no. Go north, not south. Mm. I need to wall that off. Steel is what I have, so steel wall it up. And Miriak, just ditch that steel, and could you please do that? Tell me I can make you construct. A little bit, okay. 
block them from going south. We need them north. At least it takes them a bit of time to make the mortar. The Yitkin are fleeing. Well, that's good. If they flee as well, then they're probably not going to go south to deal with that. But I need you to go north and deal with the pounding uh, attack, please. I really wish I had Achtung involved. I don't know why I take it off. I think I get annoyed by it always appearing with massive amounts of uh, information there, right? Block them. Good. Have them rethink their ways. I'd like them to come in and assist with this, but... Yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. Maybe I really could get the dogs up here, but I don't think there are many dogs left now. Thirteen of them, and they're probably mostly injured. Yeah, they're mostly dying. In fact, none of them are uninjured. Even that one's going to die from a big tail chopped off with a mace. I have the grenades. One good throw from an under... Uh, a low shield can do a lot of damage. We won't get that throw, though, because... A bunch of them have melee weapons. Okay, well, some of them have wooden shield and steel knight yet. It's not unthinkable, is it? Let's prepare for the worst. Also, please stay on Stay Inside if you're not doing this. Okay, good. They're heading north. We could make this work yet. But you two do not like just waiting here. Whilst they build and build and build. I don't think they've received their dropment of... Ah, oh crap, there it is. Incendiary shells. 18 of them. Come on, my allies. You better head straight north here. We need straight north. Alright, we'll see which way they go. If they, are, if they curb around here, then I just immediately call in my, uh, my allied assistants. Okay, it looks like they're deciding to go up around here, which is great. But they've almost built... They, they have built their mortar. They are loading their mortar. They are firing their mortar. Oh, God. Uh, oh, God. Why is, why is Lady Saru so unhappy? Why is everyone so unhappy? Uh, go and have some comfortable recreation or something. Maybe they're unhappy because I've run out of good recreation for them. Now you got bored of stuff. You got music, solitary, and social. Yeah, I got loads for my people to do here. But uh, we're not getting out of this for free. Oomph. I love the little animation of it firing. Right, what's that hitting? What's that doing? Okay, thank God it missed horribly. Our troops can go and deal with that, please. It's a shame that the Professor is out here. He's the one with the watery power. But they're going to they're going to send a second one our way. All right, Professor. Time for you to profess. Where's that going? I don't like that. I don't like that. Ouch. Oh, God. That hit just about everything in there. Um... Keep this door open to cool things down a bit. You go and deal with this fire. Holmes, deal with the fire. Even my grenades are away. Muriact, fire. Where was the roof? There was a roof, but uh, they go through the roof. We left a hole in the roof right there. Sorry to say, but you two have to be out here to help. Oh god, my allies are crap for weapons. Not to mention they got that quad rocket launcher, which is going to do very bad things to us. We might want to deconstruct a wall, what, to stop it from getting too hot in here? Eh, I think we'll be okay. Well, we might be okay. Seru? Come on now. Alright, we'll be alright if they don't get another one of those shots in. Fortunately, it takes a good wee while for this to refire. You know what, Ramsey, I really don't think you're best time is here. I'd rather have you back at the base, because things could go very, very south here. Oh god, our people don't even have cover. 
Alright, but at least they're shooting at them. Hopefully that will make them not want to keep firing at us. Oh god. How is it back home? That fire is getting a bit out of control, don't you know? It's 74 degrees inside. <laughs> That's not funny. Well, at least I don't have wooden flooring. At least they didn't hit that poor monkey. Yeah, oh god, they're taking out our uh, sculpture as well. Also, there's another one of these attacks due in, which is also not good for me. Professor, you wouldn't happen to have... No, he's got no additional honor. Uh... Yeah, I know opening doors aren't equalizing much here. All right, tell you what, Mariette, go and deconstruct that. I don't want people dying of heat stroke in here. And indoors is more important than outdoors fire right now. So once you've done with that, please extinguish the indoor fire. Uh-oh. Oh god. Oh golly gox. Well, my friends are pulling out. Maybe you can get a little closer and help out a bit. Maybe Professor should be back. Maybe Professor should be back here. He can't actually help out much anymore, can he? I don't have any more things to call in. Super Cat Pie can at least take a shot or two. Uh, oh no, the monkey's on fire! I wonder if he just combusted a bit or not. Oh god, Super Pie just got shot in the lung. The lung is gone. This is this is not doing us good. Run away, Super Pie. You tried. You tried real hard. And they're not assaulting. They're just going to continue pounding us with those fires. And in comes the other wave. Oh dear. Oh dearie me. We are getting flattened with fire here, for sure. <laughs> Daylily died from the cold. Okay, well, it's not, it's not burningly hot in here. Uh, please extinguish the fire on the monkey. There we go. Well, our home's going up in flames. Mm-hmm. There's indeed a lot of uh, everything coming my way. I was hoping we could at least distract these people from showering us in shells. But I think they're going back to... Yeah, they're going back to hitting us with ease. Okay, well at least the professor can help out with the fires in a big way. So hopefully they just miss a lot. Super Pie does not feel good though. That was a hell of a shot. What, what even hit you? Was it a sniper rifle? Yeah, that explains the intense damage and penetration. Oh, Jesus, Professor! What a shot! They knew what they were dealing with there. Put the fire out from Professor. Okay, save your, save your power, Professor. We might need it for more. How many more of those have they got? They got ten more incendiaries plus two in here. Ooh. Oh, hey, Odette. Not Odette from uh, Rune Factory Oceans, are you? Ah, this incoming mortar shell reminds me of a puzzle loop. Oh, holy moly. I hope they don't hit my uh, unstable power cell. I like that thing. Oh man, I so hope these guys would come and uh, assault me. At least then I could... Hang on, some of them might still keel over from their injuries and that might that might make them want to attack. But it also might not. I don't know what the cutoff for that is. 
Uh, Professor, have you considered resting up? Maybe I'll grab a few of these and just say that they're for medical, and then Professor can go and can go and rest up a bit. Super Pie is definitely on his way to do so. I just have to hope that they don't get mortared as well. And thank God the last ones are at least preparing for a while. But the dogs are no longer able to help me out. Yeah, the dogs are all KO'd. So we've got an additional 34 of them coming, in addition to the 18 that we have here. I was warned there'd be days like these. Can you reassemble the professor in 220? Ah, at least that's just a horse, but still, ow. The monkey doesn't deserve treatment. Oh, but it's very cold inside now, isn't it? Maybe cold is better than dead. Hypothermic shivering monkey. Yeah, I think I'll keep it cold inside, better than dying. Holmes, we, we got we got fire, you know. Lady Q, you'll be fine, it's just burns. Where'd that hit? Anybody spot anything? I think it just missed. Maybe it hit into the mountains or something. Those are quite uh, quite bad at hitting. The fearful building. Siege, siege, raid. Visitors. Yeah, I'm not building this. I'm not in a position to be building anything, thank you. Mortar aim has actually improved since they added a, uh, a an ingredient for the mortar. There's a specific mortar, um, what should we call it? This thing, the reinforced barrel that you use. They don't get additional incendiaries coming in, right? Because I mean that that would that would suck for me. <laughs> this whole situation does suck for me. Maybe my horses would do better if they went into specific little sleeping spots over here. The Bull, the Foal, Lady Q, Lenaru, Stalling, Tarkin. Are they all gonna go there? Maybe, maybe not. Is somebody tending to Super Pie? Here, please do tend to Super Pie. Use the good meds as well. Who's our medic again? I believe it's a Ramsey, right? There we go. Uh, do we have the good meds for you? Yeah, I've got two bits of good meds for you. And I'm going to use both of them right now. On top of that, a Ramsey should always be carrying... Three meds. Everybody should have three meds on them. Professor's burns. Oh, wow, his leg got pretty badly burned. We're not. They're not done yet. More is coming. Oh well, more just did come. Yikes! Please don't blow up my biofuel refinery. I bet that thing explodes. Oh God! They got everyone. Professor, I, I need you to put this fire out on the double. At this rate, you're gonna die if your torso take. Oh god. Yeah, the left lung is gone. Uh, okay. Uh, right. Let's have a lot less of that. You know what? I can totally see this. Uh, does the biofuel refinery explode? I don't know. New meme fear of fire. <laughs> What can I do but take the pounding? Well, I could not have my people indoors for one, but... Alright, Ramsey, could you please tend to super buy? I gotta hope the rest of them miss. That doesn't look like a miss. Ah! <laughs> oh god, super pie!
That is fiercely accurate. You know, how, how often do you hit that accurate when you're uh, when you're firing these? I certainly don't. I'm starting to think we should move everyone outside, but yeesh. Could I at least get Super Pi tended to? Okay, well his gunshot is gone, if nothing else. Medical sleeping spots are a bit away to rescue colonists too. Oh, you mean drag them over here? Uh, it's kind of hard to use anyone's anything right now. What are you grabbing a fine meal for? Probably because there's no real paste to give anybody. I don't know. God, yeah, we're out. We have a lot of problems hitting us at once, all because I took this freaking quest, and I've already lost Super Pie's uh, lung. Seru. Rescue Super Pie right now. Put those fires out. Uh oh. Uh oh. They're coming for me. My home is about to go up in flames. I think the best thing I could do is hold this open. And. Ah, oh, crap. Super Pie's gun. Well, Super Pie is in too much pain. I could inject him with drugs. Oh, but I get rid of all my go juice, didn't I? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Crappy clubs here, but maybe the three of us could line up here. A Ramsey at the back. The professor's job is to take, uh, is to you know protect the rest of the home. But damn it, the fires. And if they get Super Pie again, Super Pie is just super freaking dead. Because no one's around to save him. Well, I guess it's Light Viking, isn't there? The professor's just sleeping this all off like a bad hangover. How many more of those uh, incendiaries to go? Apparently four more, but I don't know if they get more air dropped on them or not. Well, four plus the two in here. Yeesh. Good, that looks like I miss. Kind of. Professor, could you please put that out? Oh god, nobody's happy right now. I can't believe we have such high expectations. Uh oh. Uh oh, they're coming in through the south, which is the opposite of where I wanted them to be coming in from. Oh, that's right, they're not coming in here because this thing's in the way. Right, what if I just, uh... Myriact. Deconstruct this so they have a way in, please. Hopefully they'll change course and come up north. Maybe they already are coming up north because the door is opened. Mm, well, it's already set on hold open. Okay, good, good, good. Maybe you don't need to disassemble that then. As long as they come up here. Okay, the siegers have given up sieging. They're just coming in. And I think that's because some of them keeled over from their injuries. Yep, two seconds ago. Good. Now they're actually coming for me. Unfortunately, they're going to come at just the right time that everybody else is coming along, so that's bad. Oh god. Oh, I missed that. Professor, please save our comms console. You can do it, Professor. My drugs! God, my everything at this rate. Why is there another one coming? You said you'd stop! Can I, can I deal with these before I lose my tricks and traps? Maybe. Alright, Professor, I really need to save this thing. But I also really need to save my drugs, so... 
up to it. Intense music for an intense situation. I do like it. They're close. Okay, Super Pie is capable of walking. Super Pie can join the fight once more. Barely able to walk, but you gotta come and help us. Only you, only you can prevent whatever the heck this is, Super Pie. Alright, my endless traps. Good, good, good. Unfortunately, these guys tend to be a bit more um, durable than others. And there are a ton of them. Professor, do you have a bit more water skip in you? Is that empty enough for you? There you go. Oh, Jesus. I should have taken this into account, but of course they're gonna zap me, uh, zap me with their guns. There's still somebody with a triple rocket launcher. Oh, God, right in the lung again. Well, I have little choice but to use. Oh, God, Super Pie's got it. Uh... And a Ramsey got shot as well. Oh, duty me. Out of the way, hot rod. Not like that, Super Pie. Let them eat the. Oh god, what? <laughs> he just can't catch a break. Poor Super Pie. Ah. Don't worry, I have a plan for the Doomsday Rocket Launcher, but Super Pie was meant to save me with that low shield pack. Damn it, I hate to say this, but you're gonna have to strip Super Pie. I need that low shield. Okay, and now... Who's the least injured person here? It's Holmes. Holmes, go and force equip that. Are you equipping it? Alright. Got no choice. Get it up. Alright, I am sorry Super Pie, I did not want to leave you hanging like this. My base is a bit of a disaster. Could you please rescue Super Pie before he freezes to death? Speaking of freezes to death, he'll do that indoors as well, so we need that wall back up. Fortunately, you're not too bad at construction. I'm just going to put up a single bit of wooden wall right here. So, rescue Super Pie, build that wall. And a Ramsey. Grenades out, please. Oh my god, they got inside my uh, my gunning area. That was not the plan. They're just going to point blank roast me here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Please stop that. Oh god, there goes our grenades, which was my strategy here. Holmes, you're our grenadier now. Muriak, this guy is too much of a threat. He's got to go. There we go. Alright, that got rid of some of them, but more are still coming. Holmes. Nades out. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Ooh. 
Oh dear lord, and they're still flooding in. Okay, some of them are fleeing. Not all of them. You didn't happen to drop a non-bio-coded doomsday rocket launcher, did you? Uh, it's a little risky to go for that, though. Better to just hope that Muriact can hold the line. Please, right... Right there. Oh, that'll blow up the Doomsday Rocket Launcher. How about... Uh, I think at this point needs must. I just gotta kill them before they come in. Uh, maybe even closer than that if we can. Suicide throws. Good. Good. I'm sure it feels good to kill people. That Doomsday Rocket Launcher is going away though. We are out of people that can fight. We just have the Professor and Light Viking. Unless Myriette can very quickly just bash one of these guys in. Oh well, I suppose there's Super Pi, but Super Pi can't really do much. Could you uh, stop Super Pi from dying that badly? Oh! Oh god! Well, hey, we got rid of Holmes, right? Jeez. Did that... was that the uh, Doomsday Rocket Launcher exploding for what it's worth? Right, Light Viking, we might have to take a step back. With a bit of luck, some of them will still trigger a trap and have to leave. Good, good. Come on, there's not many of them left. We just need to force her out. Super Pi is too KO'd to help. And he's still shivering from hypothermia. Oh, right. Yeah, the door is wide open, isn't it? Professor, perhaps now is the time for uh, legging it. Okay, right. They're just going to kidnap and leave. Who are they going to take, though? A Ramsey, perhaps? I mean, there's Seru and a Ramsey. But hey, Professor Super Pi! Oh god, they could take Myriact as well. Super Pi is the only person that can even fight back, and he can't do that. Oh, my wood! Oh, not just my wood, all of my clothes as well. All up in flames. Oh god, he's coming in with an axe. Are they going for Super Pi? Well, Super Pi's most important thing has been patched up. Can you carry Super Pi and just leave? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody said you could break my, uh, my stuff. I kind of need to drag him away and hope that they hope that they do leave. They're meant to be leaving. Who have they got in tow? Everybody, I think. Ooh, boy. That'd be painful. Pacifists in the colony. Never, ever. Oh, God, the fires. I actually need to turn back and deal with the fires. Hmm, Lady Seru, Myriact. Oh, and they leave us with a dead bum here. Well, I got I got Super Pie, right? Always count on Super Pie. If I had anyone who could attack, then at least I could do something about this. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! Right, shove Super Pie in bed and Professor go and help out with the fires. At least they're gone now.
So my, my colony is going to become two pacifists. Well, actually, you might die before you make off with a Ramsey. Yeah, chance, chance, chances are good you're not making out with a Ramsey. But a Ramsey is on um, death's door as well. Okay, right. Professor, if you could please uh, prevent all of my stuff from going up in flames, like all of my wood. There we go. Believe it or not, I like that wood. Theru kidnapped, Holmes dead. Super Pie is actively freezing. Because I stripped him. Do I have anyone who can reasonably... Uh... No, fire first. Bye bye, Mary Act. Oh, well, uh, okay, that's something. What a mess, my poor colony. Yes, 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 I know he's hypothermic, I know it's serious. I know he's probably about to get frostbite. Alright, for the love of God, do that wooden door then, uh, and let's not have this thing hold open. Actually, Professor, you've got another bit of water skip in you, right? Do that, and then... Light Viking. You're probably the better constructor, right? Actually, Leighton is cool. Get that wooden door done, please. Construction. Yes, you are willing to do it now. Ah, man, keeping Light Viking is a disaster. Trying to warm it up in here for you, Super Pie. I'm sorry for stripping you. Get over there, close the door. Hey, Ramsey's alive! Right, not for much longer if I don't rescue him, though. This fire is probably still going to spread in a bad, bad way. But I really want to save a Ramsey, so please rescue him. I can't believe Light Biking actually came out of that unscathed. There we go, that'll close the door and it'll slowly start warming up in here. Although, uh, a little less since all the holes in the roof. Actually, keeping him alive is a big deal, so how about you build the roof, build the roof, build the roof, roof and roof, and then help out with the fires. Oh. Yeah, here's a puzzle, Professor. How can you reconstruct my base in uh, 15 turns or less? Serious hypothermia, frostbite on the thumb. If I don't fix that, that's going to be more permanent. But it is warming up indoors. They didn't actually take out my power, at least. So the radiators are going to be working full pelt. Is that really the thing to be doing right now? Oh, no, 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 no. Not time for tantrums. He's going to smash up random furniture. Oh, yeah. Right, water skip the last of this fire and save a Ramsey. Because a Ramsey doesn't feel so good. Didn't a Ramsey lose something? No, you didn't! Oh my goodness. How do these people function? What are you even breaking? Why are you freaking getting raccooned? Well, uh, I guess you're dying as well, Light Viking. Uh, did I at least complete the quest? Well, I do have uh, extra honor, so I guess I did. You can be our acolyte. First boy, it's time to bow. Right. Not only do I want you to save a Ramsey, but I also want you to strip anyone that's still alive. I want to get at least something out of this. But Ramsey doesn't look so good. 
Also, Professor himself could go in a tantrum, and that would just be uh, really bad. <laughs> there we go. Fire is taken care of. Strip. Rip. 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 Rescue. Oh. Is that minigun bio-coded? A problem for the future. But it is not bio-coded. Oh, Psychic Sue, that might just stop Professor from going off the wall. Ramsey, come on now, I know you got severe blood lot. Light Viking's just gonna... The <laughs> Light Viking's gonna die! Oh, what a shame, what a shame. Maybe I should strip him before he dies. Like I said, at least get something out of this. Eh, yeah, flak vest. Strip, strip, rescue. Ooh. Medical emergency on who? Hopefully not super pie. How is his hypothermia not going down? Oh, it's warming up in here, but he is still, because he's naked, he, uh, he still wants it to be warmer. It's uh, surprisingly not warming up much in here. But I can't... Uh, I can't warm him up by forcing him to wear clothes unless he's willing to get up himself. And he's in too much pain. But I needed to strip him. If I didn't strip him... Actually, now I, won now I wonder if it would have made a difference. Oh. Professor, a Ramsey. Wait, did I strip a Ramsey? Uh oh. I didn't. I don't think I meant to do that. Well, it happens, a Ramsey. You gotta give. Uh, you gotta give the professor some credit here. They can't do everything for you. Uh oh. I'm gonna need to amputate some monkey limbs. Okay, it's warming up inside. Super Pie's uh, hypothermia should go away, and hopefully that frostbite doesn't scar. In you go! It's a staggering 12 degrees in here. At least I got rid of the... I cut the fat, so to speak. How's our wealth situation? Ah, it's looking great! The problem is all these corpses here are counting as a huge amount of item wealth. They're going to need to degrade away before that goes away. All right, Professor, your medical skill of three and your manipulation of 78 is about to be put to the test. But what survived out of all that? I still got some fine meals, at least. So I think for now... People can enjoy uh, fine meals. Professor in particular needs to not go off the deep end here. Stop the bleeding, have yourself a fine meal, and then... Uh, I was really tired as well, and yes, this place isn't beautiful, I know, Professor. I want to dump sleeping spots in the Professor's bedroom and make it a prison. Once I'm tended to and not actively going to die, I could provide lungs or new colonists. Uh, harvesting is not something that we are uh, considering, considering charitable. And there's no way I have the labor and time to go and scoop up half-dead other people right now. Okay, Professor. Go and consume yourself a fine meal. Tended to the war- oh god, no, he's still bleeding, isn't he? Ah, oh, Jesus. Well, once you do that, you can tend to a Ramsey. Well, the last thing I want is you having a break in the middle of this, a mental break. It's all the barking. Oh, a timber wolf. A, a man hunting timber wolf. Oh no. And it's not going to die because it's not bleeding. Oh no. 
Oh no. He's gonna make this place cold again. Super Pie, if only you were able to move. I have only one option. And that is to give Super Pie some flake. I sold all my flake. I sold all my dr oh well. Whatever I Oh my god, all my medicine burned. Oof. Oh, 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 no, no, some of it's over there. Some of it's over there. No, that's okay. Mm. Super Pie, please. You need to get up and save us from that one timber wolf. Okay, it gave up on the door. Good, 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 good. The ponies won't attack. Yeah, no, that uh, that timber wolf, because it's not bleeding, it's going to slowly repair these and get up and hurt us. Alright, alright. I wouldn't say it was hubris. I did not think I could take on such a big attack and Darius. But I knew I would never be able to, I wouldn't be allowed to live it down if I didn't take that quest. Forbid the doors, maybe. Yeah... But then these guys need something to eat, because their food desire is way high. I just need Super Pie operational again. Where's Super Pie's gun? Don't tell me it blew up. It's okay, it must have blown up. But there is a poor replacement over there. Yeah, getting to the fridge is somewhere that Professor's gonna have to go. Alright, keep on... keep on tending, Professor. Timberwolf in animal pen. Well, hopefully it does fight one of my horses, then, it, then they can fight back. All of this is now considered my pen. Oh, jeez. All right, Professor is also taking a moment. Tell you what, maybe you should self-tend a bit. Maybe you should tend to poor Super Pie. He's got burns that are probably going to scar, not to mention his frostbite. Don't forget the monkey. I will amputate that limb later on. Oh, but he's bleeding. Uh, of course he's bleeding. Well, he can continue to bleed. Not that much my problem. Yeah, the wolf will still hunt the horses for food, but at least the horses should be able to fight back against it. It's more likely to go for smaller prey if there is any. Woo! Could you, uh, please tend Super Pie as well? I know I'm asking a lot of you, Professor, but you are non-violent, so this is kind of what I'd be expecting you to do. Timberwolf. Yeah, you're right. Super Pie does deserve the good, uh, the good medicine. But now I'm out of good medicine. See how non-violent he remains if he gets a mental break. Can uh, incapable of violent pawns do mental breaks where they trash things? Because he, he is way... Oh, he's tired. It's hideous. Colonist lost. Colonist died. Oof. Yeah, I don't think that psychic soothe is going to be enough to save us right now. Right, I'm going to unforbid this. And I'm going to feed these guys so that they don't get malnutrition as well. The wolf is down south, so it won't notice me going up and around here. Pacifists can go berserk. Wow. Totally not living up to their name. In fact, tell you what, Professor, why don't you pick up ten fine meals and bring them indoors so at least we have them to hand. Save you going back and forth all the time. I should have done this earlier. Ah. Look on the bright side. I asked for these two to die and they died. Drop and 
feed and feed. Takes him a bit, bit of a while to eat because he's barely conscious. I just had to mulch it up and uh, pour it down his nose. And then forbid that. I just need Super Pie to get up. He can kill the, ho uh, kill the wolf and then we can start repairing. He's only in 83% pain. Oh right, what's he going to fight with? I got one crappy auto pistol back here. I guess I'll use that. Major infection. It's okay. It's only 34%. Hell, I might not e even need to um, to amputate it. I might be alright if I simply uh, treat it. The monkey will be fine. Just get a bit more sleep so you're not too cranky, Professor. And then we're going to tend to red. And then as soon as Super Pie can get up, he's disposing of this wolf. A few bullets will take it down, because then it's gonna... or even one bullet. As long as it's enough pain, it'll pain shock. So, Ramsey, how does it feel to be on the winning team? We beat uh, a lot of enemies there, and we cut away the dead weight. And you know what? If it weren't for you lobbing grenades and selflessly blowing yourself up with a uh, doomsday rocket launcher, wouldn't have made it. I think it was a bit more than 40. <laughs> I'm counting all three raids, totally including the one that got uh, eaten by wolves. I'm allowed to do that. Alright, Professor, you should be a little less uh, angry, so how about you tend to red? Red, I'm actually going to get some actual treatment for. After all, this is a this is a mission. This is a quest that we were given. I get three honor if I look after this monkey for another two weeks. <laughs> I'm gonna wonder why is it so crispy? Where's its ear? <laughs> Her favorite pet. <laughs> the monkey always had one ear. I saw the Doomsday Explosion and the angle was just right for me to be pretty much the only one not to get hit by it. All as planned. Is that so? Alright, that's enough monkey tending, Professor. Go to bed. Oh, look who's up! It's Super Pie! And you're shivering from hypothermia. Uh, well, all I have are these very, very burnt jackets for you right now, so how about you forswear one of them? And then, is there anything else I can make you wear? Uh, there's an alpaca wool t-shirt out there. Hey, there's some recon armor! Oh, wait, I bet that's, I bet that's well worth you wearing. Go and wear that recon armor. It's amazingly not tainted. And, uh... That, that cloth took, cloth took, cloth took. Yeah, wear the recon armor, cloth took. Uh, this button-down T-shirt, I guess. And then, is there a weapon for you? Yeah, go and go and get that minigun. It's time for some proper revenge. Wasn't there some marine armor as well? Tainted. Oh, I, I did not spy. As you can see, we're not in a position to be moving around that much. It's very cold. How much warmth do you get out of this? 35 degrees, oh that's quite a lot. Intense pain, at least that's good for you, right? Okay, okay, great, 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 great. You'll be nice and warm in that. Uh, okay, now he means freaking business. Uh, I can't make you wear the flak pants because that conflicts with the recon armor. But do we have any trousers around here? Come on, someone's bound to have been wearing regular old trousers. Well, I'm not seeing any, and I don't particularly want you to wear tainted stuff, but you're fine right now.
go and deal with that wolf so I can happily move around now. What's the beauty of the area around this trend? Minus 11, minus 12. It's not much better indoors here, minus 7, but our statues survived, so we just need to clean the place up. Actually, yeah, cleaning the place up will go a long way, and replanting our daylilies, of course. We'll get ourselves back on our feet, don't you worry. I'm not worrying. Kill it, Super Pie. Splendid. You know, only one bullet was needed, right through the body. Ah. Yeah, so, what do you mean only minus 12? It's minus 28 out there. Oh, you mean the beauty? Yeah, beauty's bad. Ooh. So who survived there? They made away with uh, Lady Seru. And they made away with Miriact, right? Holmes and Light Viking died. Don't worry, Super Pie, you'll be better in no time, although that lack of a lung is going to hurt. Don't suppose any of my invaders are still alive and willing to donate? No, certainly not, and I'm not interested in tainted gear right now. Oh. We can allow the doors again, that we can. There we go. Yeah, good good idea, Super Pie. Keep the keep the fuel going. We need to stay warm. And we have a lot of cleanup to do. What are you thinking of doing right now? Repairing. You know, cleaning has a bigger priority than repairing right now. But you're the only the professor's the only one that can clean. These other two don't do it. Ah jeez, once Professor said his rest, he deserves better. So you know, I'm gonna make that one for medical. And tell the professor to rest up there. He'll get faster, uh, faster sleep recovery. I actually think repair work is not a high priority right now. It's better just to just replace. Actually, in that case, I need to finish my pen again so I can get my uh, horses back in. I'd love to have my wall back here, and I'd love to replace all of these. Thankfully, all my wood didn't get destroyed, so I should be able to replace some of these traps. You see, they love to favor these ones, don't they? Less so these ones, but a lot of these blew up from that Doomsday rocket launcher. The ones on this side don't seem to get used that much, so we'll do it like that. Did the raiders leave you their mortars? They did! Look at that, they also left some food. Unfortunately, those mortars are going to add to my wealth, but hey. Could always counter mortar if this happens again. Bring Ramsey's clothes in so he doesn't walk out naked to get them. There's a point. Hey, by the way, could you bring that foal in? Broke that full. I don't want it clartering around more filth in here. Yeah, stripping Ramsey was an accident. Yeesh, I wish I had some blood to give them to get rid of that. Okay, Super Pie's starting to move a bit faster. Super Pie will never move quite as fast again, thanks to the... Oh, right, right. Here's the thing. Everybody quite unrestricted again. That missing lung is going to impact on Super Pie's movement until I get a replacement lung. But even though it goes against our morals, we might just do it anyway. A fresh, a sweet, uh, a, f a new smoke pot pack. Use Preach Human Health on, uh, yeah. Maybe a Ramsey once I get back. Ooh, man, I had a lot of things built here. Even my containers for the textiles are gone. My container for the steel is gone. Inside here, though, I lost surprisingly little. I think I lost one shelf. And a chair. Otherwise, surprisingly good. Very surprisingly good. But we need to repair people's uh, feelings, repair their bodies and then pick ourselves back up. Also, we have a couple of graves to dig for the Forgotten. Actually, I don't think I'll give them graves. I'm just going to blow them up because I hated them. 
Come on, Super Pie, help us out. The fun thing is that Light Viking killed himself. So much for being incapable of violent. You're the one that went off and started beating up raccoons. Actually, is that the case? Because it looks like the raccoon's the only one that hit here. Was it a mad raccoon? Heaven help me. Maybe you could buy a bionic lung with all the wealth you've got lying around. Uh, I don't see it that way. <laughs> How does it think I've got all this extra wealth from that? That's, that's the human capital, I'm pretty sure, once it rots. Oh, but it won't rot because it's so cold. Oh, bollocks. It thinks all of this is a fat lot of wealth, I think. Well, I'm not in a position to go and burn it anytime soon. Come on, Professor. Actually, why are you why are you getting more breaky risky anyway? Go and consume a lovely meal. And why don't why don't you do the same? Oh, because you can't walk. That extreme blood loss is doing you in. But once it's not so extreme, you'll be fine. Professor, please clean this place up so you stop thinking that you're in a horrible environment. No, not that. Don't touch that. And don't take that fine meal, although you probably should. Yeah, alright then. Super Pie, just dump all of that unceremoniously. And then just tell me what you think you want to do. Mortar barrels up there, probably like half of it. They're surprisingly... Yeah, I wouldn't mind selling one of these. On that note, why don't we call in some traders? Yeah! Yeah, we've got our ally. We need to trade with them. But what should we trade? Exotic stuff? Not combat goods. Exotic or bulk? Um, I don't really know what each of them sell that well. The exotic goods would give me the uh, paralyzing thing, but it, they don't tend to buy many goods. The real question is, does the exotic goods trader buy the mortar, uh, the mortar barrel? That's what I'd like to know. Why didn't you call in your ally during the raid? I did, Taciturn. They got blown up pretty fast. But thanks to them, they did enough damage to the mortaring team that they assaulted us, and uh, if they'd remained mortaring us, I think we would have died even worse. Yeah, do the exotic goods traders buy the barrels from the mortars? That's what I'd like to know. I'm just going to assume that they do and uh, welcome them in. To that effect, I'm actually just going to deconstruct these and take the barrels down. Boy, those are hefty things, aren't they? So kindly go up there, deconstruct, deconstruct and bring back what you can. And Professor, oh he's just relaxing socially. Well he does deserve some recreation time, but I really want him to clean the place up. The Allies did a single fire attack and an entrenched enemy, so to be honest they kind of deserved it. Yeah, they just single filed in to be shot to shreds. Oh! Non bio coded triple rocket launcher. Well, I'll certainly want that back home, but I've got a lot of organizing of my stuff to do. Hopefully, Randy just went, okay, that's plenty. Time to, time to chill out a moment. But probably not, because that was a quest raid, not anything else. He could still just throw me a random attack right now. And uh, Professor would probably just have to hightail it. Oh, I'm well aware of what I'm playing on, Demon. It's all part of the thrill. Hello, Didi. Why are you so naked? Animal? Monkey? Uh, we're gonna have to take that limb off. Operation Amputate Leg. Use the best medicine for this monkey, Professor. I know, I know. Glitter World on, on Monkey Man, but it, think of it as trading one Glitter World for two or three honor. Three honor? Yeah, see, there you go. Yeah, what's your story, Didi? Where's your clothes? Apparently you- oh, it's just flesh-colored parka. I'm gonna 
amazed you aren't dead. But that can be said about a lot of people here today. Bio-coded, a normal heavy SMG. Bio-coded heavy SMG. If you save this monkey, Iona will have to play games with it. Oh, Lona, yeah. Okay, thank God. Oh wait, no, no, no! You didn't, you didn't, you didn't amputate. We used it on just healing his crappy injuries. We didn't amputate his busted leg. Ah, and that's probably because Professor was not set as surgeon. Oof. Okay. Well, I guess we're doing this with uh, Doc leaves then. We just wasted our medicine on that bloody monkey. What a shame. Oh, hang on. I thought when you disassembled these things, you got the barrel back. Maybe the barrel has to be unused. He'll die from that infection if we don't take this leg. <laughs> so the monkey loses an ear, a leg, a toe. How much less of that poor monkey? Okay, only one reinforced barrel. How much? Is, oh, wow, they actually have regular shells as well. Which of this stuff is worth bringing back? Honestly, tons of it. Anything non-bio-coded I can give to an ally? I'll give to my one ally. They're not worth selling. And these things... Yeah, haul back some meals, I guess. There's a lot of good stuff here. Shame it's a wee while away, but it just feels that because Super Pi moves extremely slowly. That lung's not helping. Heavy SMG for sure, Jake. They're the best guns for low shooting skill pawns. We're not that low, though. We're nine with Professor. Uh-oh. What the hell, a Ramsey? Oh, why did you get up? Also, we failed on the monkey. Monkey not feel so good. <laughs> oh, Professor, please uh, tend to red. But we also need to protect a Ramsey. Oh, God. All right, stop the bleeding on the monkey and then rescue a Ramsey before a Ramsey dies. Supervise very slowly on the way back. You're, you're freezing in our freezer. Uh, I hate the professor is fully healed at least. This place is so filthy that these uh, this treatment is sure to be bad for him as well. You go and rescue a Ramsey, he needs it. And you need to... Right, we really need to uh, amputate that leg, Professor. If Monkey dies, then we'll have hell to pay. Not gonna be much of a monkey after this, is it? What's another infection? It's a fresh infection that I could deal with. God, oh, blood of Super Pie. I've gotta hand it to Super Pie. He got an upgrade out of this. Okay, he probably doesn't count losing his lung as an upgrade, but think of that as a mark of honor. At least it doesn't hurt. Come on, Professor, use your four medical skill to chop a leg off. Thinking about it, how did you manage to cut him in the torso when you're going for the leg? And you stabbed the wrong leg! Okay, I start to see... Oh, right, no, no, it is the right leg. Even so, please don't fail again. It'll probably die. Ah! Please, Professor! There's not much time! Ah, there we go. Super Pie's just cloud watching now. <laughs> Maybe Professor also played Nancy Drew. 
and the seven ships. And that's why he's so mad with the monkey. Take the leg off. This quadriplegic monkey reminds me of a puzzle. Uh, Lady Seru, you are still alive. That's the nicest thing I can say about your situation. There we go. Consume that fine meal. I'll get some clothes for you. Good thing it's warm in here. Yeah. Ramsey will eat a meal whilst Professor does uh, adjacent to table surgery. Tell you what, could you bring in these goods for Seru? Pick up that and that and that, and then bring it in, and we'll have. Uh, We'll have Ramsey put them on so I stop, I stop having to worry about frostbite all the time. Are there clothes for me before I freeze myself trying to get food? Yeah, I'm working on it, alright? Working on it like Red the Monkey. Please don't fail, Professor. Ah! <laughs> what are you doing, Professor? It's about to die! I'm running out of meds here. Also, Ramsey, why are you just lying down on the ground now? Probably because you're malnourished, right? Yeah, you got malnourished while actively eating. God, I've got so much to rebuild. I'm just thinking about it. At least if I clean this up, I can repair everybody's mood. I can't believe people still have their relatively high expectations for the situation. Right, how about you rescue a Ramsey? Then you feed them, because they're incapable of feeding themselves. Monkey about to die, Professor! Oh, that monkey is so dead. Right, drop, 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 and... No, don't try and romance them. I'm looking for... Can you can you not, you know, feed them, Super Pie? Not assigned to nursing. Ah, that's the problem. And maybe I shouldn't ever have you as surgeon. Professor Monkey about to die. Uh, unbelievably, just before the infection killed, the professor was able to hack saw off that leg. Okay, no more wasting our medicine on it. Can't believe we're going to focus so much on this freaking monkey. All right, Ramsey, how do you feel? Good enough to wear some clothes? No, you can't walk. But that malnutrition will go away very soon. And you'll be happy from having a lovely, yummy meal. Also, all that death made you pretty happy. Okay, great. I'm looking forward to having my medic operational again. A medic... Yeah, these two are coming away without any real injuries. I suppose I got that going for them. Alright, a Ramsey, for the love of God. Where, where, where? And now Professor is going to slowly clean this place up. <laughs> lost a toe, lost a leg, lost an ear. Head almost burnt off, neck almost burnt off. Two health left on the torso. There we go. Professor, just cheer yourself up. Actually, it's beautiful in the throne room, so this uh, will be good for your beauty needs. And it's a really comfortable throne, so this will cheer the professor up a lot. Oh man, colonists left unburied. Where are our dead colonists? Uh, it's Holmes and... Uh, a Ramsey. Where are your grenades? Oh, the grenades are gone. Um, really? No grenades? Any Molotovs? Yes, okay, great. We'll do that then. Equip Molotovs. 
and uh, burn Light Viking to death. Well, just out of existence, really. I don't want this unburied thing uh, hurting me more than it needs to. Oh, you are way too slow for this. Okay, he'll heal up in due time. Yeah, wow, well, the, the guy that got here with the LMG and just started shredding us inside our own shield hurts so much. Everything about that quest hurts so much. But don't worry, we got... Uh, what did we get for that? Five honor on the professor. Which I didn't spend, thank goodness. Ah, bulk good trader. I might be able to put you to use, but is anybody able to actually talk? Super Pie actually gives the best improvement to trade price. Alright, there we go. Now I want you to... What do you mean you can't pick up homes? Uh, I don't really want to take his tainted clothes off of him. But I do want him put into like a corner to be burnt to, to shreds. I guess I could haul him over here. Zone, dumping zone. Is this water or not? It's soil. Okay, well, at least not soil that melts and causes other fires, but still. Over here, this is where we exclusively put human corpses of our own colonists. So please, uh... Oh, you don't do dumb labor, so you're not going to haul them. And Super Pie is busy sleeping. Tell you what, could you haul, uh... Could you please haul homes? Someone else needs to haul Light Viking. Ah, no dumb labor then. What good are you in this kind of situation? It's better off that you just rest up. If Jake can hold a funeral for homes and Viking, it's a nice ceremony. It'll give you an ideology reform point. Actually, that's of no use, because I don't actually plan on reforming my, uh, my stuff. All it really does is add stuff that I could have made when I created the Ideologian, except for the high-impact ones, but I don't actually want a high-impact Ideologian. It's meant to just be there and punish me, not be something that uh, is central to the run. Uh, why are you hauling them over here? Because this one's colonist corpses, doesn't it? Yeah, no thank you. No thank you, and... haul them. But not, not here either. There we go. Ramsey go set them on fire and Super Pie bring the other one over as well. I just don't want this unburied corpse thing to hurt me. In fact, whilst you're on your way, trade with them and then... then haul that. Meanwhile, our Ramsey... There we go, it takes care of one here. While we're at it, this is not home area. So nobody go and beat that fire out. All while we're doing this, the professor's cleaning up our home. Making it slightly less awful. That's the hope, at least. And I think my horses all went back to pen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super pious problems. Uh, before that, did we, did we decide what causes things to suddenly be sellable? For example, I doubt I can sell you this reinforced barrel at this point. Wish there was a search screen on this. Yeah, it's not even showing up. Was it home area? Or was it stockpile? People say stockpile, but I want to test home area. Home area is much easier to do, so we're going to do home area. Seems to work. I'll just remove all of this later. Yeah, all of the, all this is my stuff. You guys can totally buy all this crap. 
All of it. All of it. All of it. All of it. Is there anything else? Any more dead stuff lying around that I can potentially claim as mine and sell? I'll remove this because home has some implications that I don't want for regular gameplay. The trader won't buy all of it. I don't care. You'll, you'll just need to buy some of it. Reinforced barrel? Goodbye. I need the money. Oh god. I'm losing half the value of it, but hey-ho. Uh, right. So packaged survival meals are worth surprisingly good money, so take those as well. Donkey, bison, no thank you. Regular old rice. We are hungry. And that could get me through a nasty spell. But I have regular meat that I could use. I think I'll just use the meat. Uh, I don't want my blue fur. or Actually, I might want these. I burnt a lot of my clothes, didn't I? I'm keeping the heavy fur then. And the wool, but not the muffalo wool. Get rid of the high explosives. They're worth good money. Same with the incendiaries. Hey, you want to buy my wood? Uh, I'm not selling the wood, though. I'll sell this other garbage. Hey, the masks! Remember those? Cloth took? Yeah, yeah, just get rid of all of it. I need the money. Black pants? I kind of want to keep and wear those, but even so... I might just get rid of them. That fire foam pot pack could save me in the case of more fire down the line, but I'll still sell it because I want the money. Oh god, a lot of this stuff is so banged up. Away it goes. I don't want sashes either. Get rid of those. Keep me dressed in tainted clothes and save the clean stuff for the other guys, says Ramsey. Tainted doesn't give penalties of bloodlust. Ooh, I forgot you're bloodlusted. Yes, we could do that. We absolutely could do that. I want to keep that jacket. It's not too bad. Okay, do you have anything with my name on it, though? Other than loads of silver. It is quite tempting to buy that rice, just so I have some stuff that I can uh, turn into paste for a wee while until it's growing season. If I can get a proper growing season done. Otherwise... I am a little short on medicine. Maybe I should take your meds, but meds are expensive. Well, I've got leftover stuff here anyway, so... I hate buying medicine. Well, needs must. Alright, let's do that then. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, please haul them over. No accessible spot. What, we're not counting this fire as accessible? Now hop to it. And then goodbye all that home area I just added. I may do this again in the future if uh, someone else comes along to trade and I can get rid of more of this stuff. But for now, away it all goes. That's fine. Right, Ramsey, is there any really good tainted stuff around here for you? Not just around here, but... Uh, well, actually, this is what number is for. All enemies are dead. What about corpses? Belcourt over here has a marine helmet. Bia over here has recon armor. Uh, both of that's really good. Hyuk Scott over there has a, another nice fire pump pack. Oh yeah, the shield belt! I really do want shield belt. I don't think there were chatters among these. I suppose in the end I didn't check everybody, did I? Can I add ideal religion here? Hmm, strangely enough, no. None of the names jump out at me, though. Which is going to make anybody feel really bad if they wear one of them. Right, I don't think we get better than normal shield belts from people that attack us. Oh, well, no, there's a good one over there. Show. I want Show's belt. Ray's had a normal belt. Hmm, I do like flat jacket. There's another good one. I should grab all the good shield belts. In fact, I should grab every shield belt there is. Those can still be sold rather nicely. Uh, once I have someone that can actually move relatively quickly, I'll go around and do that. But for now, Belcourt and Bia have some good stuff for you. 
Well, I wish I could filter these for more uh, more stuff, like uh, particularly well-made things. Charles, uh, uh, Charles is all the way up there. Probably better to work with who I have here. A uh, Ramsey, you're close enough. So where's Bias? Strip Bias and Belcourt. And, 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 and. I think these people are already stripped, aren't they? Ah, uh, well, I'll get to it. Incredibly slowly. But you'll heal up. Spare a thought for poor Super Pie. That left lung isn't going to heal itself back up. We're going to need to take a pretty big hit to our happiness to carve one of those lungs out of somebody. I don't see that helmet. It, w it wasn't helmet, though. It was recon armor I was looking for, wasn't it? Perhaps I read things wrong. It's Bia. Maybe I didn't do Bia. Alright, well, with this a Ramsey, you're not going to get quite so banged up, although you'll pr still likely get banged up. And you still don't like wearing tattered stuff, so maybe something here isn't so tattered. Cloth button-down shirt of normal standard. Good enough for me. And maybe the trousers as well. There you go. Don't you feel like a million bucks now? Maybe we should have a requiem for this person instead of burning their corpse. I mean, we can have the... We can have the event, and then we can dig the corpse up and burn it for the hell of it. But the the event might do something to make us feel a bit happier. Yeah, what's that under, anyway? A miscellaneous grave for them. Alright, Super Pie, actually, if you could... You can't pick them up, because they're too heavy, huh? Don't worry. I'm just trying to do everything I can to make my movements as efficient as possible, because God knows I don't have much left to go on here. Clear. This is now a critical place for only colonist human corpses, so please go and drag them. And then build this grave. They're leaving, huh? Well, that's not a big deal. What's a Ramsey to yet? Get some much-needed rest. You really need to heal up. Actually, it's going to take you a while to get over for this event. Oh my, look who's really happy now! It's the Professor! Right, would you mind... Can I not assign this to a Ramsey? Assign colonists. Uh, not a Ramsey. A Ramsey's not dead yet. Super Pie, do some speaking. Odds are, oh, there's a pretty good chance it's gonna suck. But let's try it anyway. Celebrating the next step. <laughs> oh. This ritualistic burial reminds me of a puzzle there, Super Pie. Yeah, so, out of the front line there, Super Pie and Ramsey both joined in and both survived. That said, Super Pie was dragged. <laughs> First, he had to drag himself down from here with half of his lungs, and then he had to get dragged back here, and then he got firebombed. It was good. Oh man, see, you don't get this when you're playing on uh, Strive to Survive. Oh, maybe you do. We may have burned his body out of convenience, but the spirit lingers on. Uh, it's too much work to dig him out, so I'm going to leave the uh, grave here. It'll provide meditative joy to anybody that wants to go and uh, observe the corpse. But for now, could people please go to sleep? Actually, are they even tired? Yes, yes, and yes. Everybody go to sleep. Super Pie, this better be a great speech, because I, we need the boost. 
We really need the boost. <laughs> the speech was long-winded and failed to re resolve any emotions. Everybody is more unhappy. That funeral was really uninspired. It didn't resolve anything. You you made the talk and you still think so. Ah, uh, he speaks like Leighton does surgery. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite pet monkey. <laughs> We're gonna give back the leg and the toe and the ear. <laughs> ah. Okay. Oh, oh, all right. We lost one of our food baskets as well. Right, well, there's daylily sewing to be done, and there's cleaning to be done. Wait, we didn't even bury the corpse? Super power? The... Alright, well, in, in that case, we're not having a grave, and we're not having this. Go and shove it over in the ritual burning corner, please. Once you've all slept, I suppose. Lackluster Requiem. <laughs> the spare parts. Half our base may have burned down and half our colonists are dead, but at least the monkey is alive, if you can call that living. <laughs> I'm just doing this for three honor. At least when I get that, the professor should be able to upgrade himself to a knight. Which, like I was saying, is an integral part of my strategy. But um, having an actual team is also an integral part of my strategy, so we need some replacement skilled colonists. What can we still do? We can still construct. We can still shoot and melee. We can still kind of mine. We are again out of a cook. Thankfully though we have paste, we don't need to worry about cooking for a wee bit. Although we're still butchering to be done, that's now going to be Professor Layton's job. Always was, I suppose. But I'll have to force him to do it, because he's busy cleaning up the place. Um, what else? No, not that, please. I prefer to do this by a bio. Uh, we can still look after animals. We've still got five in animals. Professor Layton's our crafter. We have no artist. Uh, artist. A Ramsey, when a Ramsey heals, is going to be a fantastic surgeon. And nobody's good at social, and Professor is still the research the research man. Okay. We will survive. We are actively surviving. I see the horses are happy. I don't think any of them ended up with any horrible life-changing injuries and they can kind of look after themselves. Yeah, good. Very good. Alright, and see, Ramsey is able to somewhat move now at two -third, uh, one third speed. Building a wooden spike trap is now really the time for building. I'd really rather you hauled this rice over. Oh, you don't do hauling, man. Of course you don't. Well, building is still something. Something that is needed. But you're really, really unhappy. And you're also really hungry. Why are you, uh... Why don't you eat? You're alright to eat fine meals, you know. what I thought. Hey, we really couldn't. If we were just a few traps shorter, we would not have forced a, a route there. But we did force a route, I think. And hey, we were able to rescue a Ramsey. Probably thanks to uh, injuries caused by the trap. Where did a Ramsey fall, anyway? What happened to the body? Who was carrying you? Where'd they go? Oh well. Look, cheer up, Ramsey. Go and eat that food. You'll feel a lot happier. Oh, Miriact was your friend, and now that they're lost, you're unhappy. Also, your brother, Flebby. I really wish the game wouldn't just generate all of these uh, relations. It's like, since when did we have this brother? We're gonna find that we've got 16 aunts and 15 uncles, and they're gonna die and make us sad as well. Come on, Professor. Is now really the time for reigning? 
Well, it does build up his beauty, I suppose, but I'd rather he did some cleaning. In a way, it'd be kind of good if a Ramsey just had a little tantrum so that we could, uh... We could at least take care of that with catharsis. Oh god, this bloodlust is keeping you alive. Oh, right, there's that, also that corpse I wanted dealt with. Super Pi, when you're no longer tired, could you deal with that corpse, please? There we go, at least a Ramsey, uh... Yeah, I should get rid of that grave first. Now, almost the entire wall went away, we just have one little bit of slate left. But I have replacement slate. Oh, the tree! The tree that was uh, standing guard here is also gone. Well, that's a shame. Oh, man. So much stuff to rebuild. Super Pi's got a lot of work to do. Once Super Pi can get up and, you know, breathe a healthy lung of air. There's mods for that where, one, no random relations get generated. Yeah, I'll probably look into that one. If you know of that one, could you, like, whisper it or private message me it or something so that I can uh, pick that up? Because it's uh, it's a little flow-breaking to find out you have all these aunts and uncles. I've got a game that's been going on for a long time. Well, the, the old one that I streamed, you have no idea how many relations Illustrajon was holding out on. Okay, you are not very good at building, thanks to your injuries right now. That means you might fumble these, but at least we're making headway on them. You won't fumble all of them, right? Yeah. Ooh. Okay, Professor, I think you've done quite enough. Clean up the place and haul over the rice so we can actually get this in. Haul rice and haul rice. And also, yeah, clean this place up so we can get some happiness bonus for this. And also, I hate to say it, but you're going to have to plant some daylilies for me. Assign a Ramsey on repairs. You can't botch those. I actually don't want to do repairs for a long time. Repairs are... they take an extremely long time. And uh, this injured electric stove and this almost dead comms console still work perfectly well. It used to be an exploit where you could just damage your stuff to lower its wealth. And then it'd still work fine, so you'd damage all your walls, damage all your equipment. Oh god, the raccoons are now coming in to eat my kibble. Not what I'm looking for. Super Pie's helping build these up. You know, I'd rather we didn't have the colonist unburied thing. Oh wait, the dumping zone went away. Dumping zone, critical for... Human corpses, as long as they are colonist corpses. Once you finish building that, please all over them, and we will burn them to death, and then we won't care about unburied corpses. That'll be a plus ten for everybody, a very welcome one. <laughs> three of our people. Wait, three? Yes, three, okay. Why don't you bury corpses? This guy doesn't deserve to be buried. I wanted him dead the moment he joined. And I get my wish, at least. Hey, Ramsey, stop doing things that you're going to fail at instead. Come over here and help us out. I want this wall here eventually. May as well do it now. What even happened to you? Raccoon, sure, but why are you missing a head? <laughs> you were eaten. Eaten by the wildlife. Good. using slate because it's what I've got. 
Yeah, he's getting he's getting better. He's moving faster. I don't know how much this is going to impact breathing. At a glance, 50%, and that affects, I think, consciousness. Ooh. And that affects moving. In fact, breathing also affects moving. We really need a new lung for you. Oh well, all in due time. Ah, bye bye, Light Viking. You will not be missed. Not by that fire, even. Uh, do we have a solar flare or something? Why is all the lights? Ah, we're out of out of power here. Yeah, there we go. The barracks is now very impressive again, so we're going to get some bonus for that. Hi, Jake and Chat. Been gone for about four hours. I'm guessing things haven't gone well looking at the colonist count, or is it part of the plan? Listen, we did all that so Professor could get a little bit more honor. We burnt... We got rid of the chaff, basically. I am a little sad that we lost Myriact, but looking at it another way, they... Yeah, they, they, they'd had their fun, right? Leave some fun for other people. Just kind of sucks that we have someone who doesn't do dumb labor and someone who doesn't do violence. It's it's tough. There we go. I actually want my people to be happy, given this bad time. And I really want the Professor to sow those daylilies so I have a nice place to look at. And then I want to haul in all the stuff that uh, is reasonably good for me out here. But I'm also kind of wanting to burn a lot of the bodies out here. Oh Christ, the shield belts. Professor should actually get a shield belt on him. So that he can actually at least uh, do a little bit of screening for us. Yeah, you know, I'd rather get those. In fact, I want all of them, truth be told. Every shield belt that's out there. So, Professor, I want you to... Ah, uh, crap, what's an easy way to do this? Mm, never an easy way now, is there? Because those shield belts are, if nothing else, worth half decent money. Can I check that? Beer, shield belt, just a normal one. 355 buckaroos, someone's going to buy that. This tainted stuff is barely worth anything. What's annoying though is that the bodies have value. And I want those bodies gone, but they're not going to rot in weather like this. I managed to send a Ramsey on a... Uh, burn things up tour. Might not be the worst idea, actually, just to get rid of this accursed wealth. Like really slow, I forget it. For now, at least, we'll forget it. But I can set people for stripping, can't I? As long as I don't have anywhere that tainted clothes go to. Yeah, weapons we don't care about, but uh, where's apparel? No tainted apparel here, please. You should just be gone. I don't think there's anywhere else that tainted apparel would go to. So then what I can do is go to here, and then I just find them. And I think it's O for strip. It is O for strip, but numbers gets in the way of that. Fatty. Strip. Bend on. Rip. If there's any other really good stuff that we don't mind being tainted, that's also nice. Uh, Kukti's got the fire foam patch, so strip. It's going to take a while to get these, but hey ho. You need stripped. Uh, by the way, I don't want to haul the human corpses all the way over here. Then I've got a spoiler or anything, so. No longer bring human corpses here for now. And only for now. Same with this. In fact, I could probably just delete you. Lumi. Rip. This is a lot of hauling work, and I've only got two people who can haul, and they've got much better things to do. But I do want these goods. Already got you set for that. Did I get your thing? Yes, I did. Raise. Drip. All this stuff is adding to my wealth a whole lot. 
So it's... I am actually really wanting to burn the bodies as well. Bone strip. Win the what's it strip. And finally, yo. Strip. Okay, they get little red arrows to indicate that you want to strip them. Gotcha. Um, the recon armor I got off of somebody that went down. This one is tainted, but that's okay because you've got bloodlust, so you don't care about it being tainted. I don't usually like people wearing heavy armor casually, but seeing what the game wants to throw at me, it's probably the prudent thing to do. You might want to check which weapons are still around and usable. Quite a few of them will be more useful in the fire fight than Molotovs. Yeah, I've just got the Molotovs for, uh, for that kind of use, but yeah. If they're low condition, and some of these are just lying around here, or if they're bio-coded, then yeah, heavens no. But otherwise, I could still give them to somebody as a present. There's a good LMG, for example. We like that. Heavy SMG. Yeah, I'll take that. <clears throat> Pump shotgun. Oh, it's still worth some money. I could send it to somebody as a present. Didn't I see something else like that around here? Yeah, pump shotgun. It's losing a lot of condition every day, but maybe we'll grab it and be alright. Bolt action rifle, sure. Pump shotgun. Those can be bio-coded, which is just very weird, but it can be done. Assault rifle, but it's dying. Even so, it's probably a good weapon for us to have for colonists. I'd love to get the, uh, the refugees right now, actually. I could really do with the extra labor. I think these are all primitive weapons. But there was a mace here and there, wasn't there? Like, a steel axe does good damage. Hmm. Anything else worth our time? Eventually people will go out and grab these. Actually, I can, uh, I can allow these and delete this now so that people can take that shortcut if they need. Alright, and also all these dead timber wolves. I don't mind having them hauled back and carved up for food either. So for that we go timber wolf, dead, and... Hmm, problem is I obviously don't want the ones that are rotten, do I? I think I just have to do this one manually then. They had Scaria, which made it very frequent that they just immediately go down like this, but not all of them do. Not a good steel axe, I wouldn't mind that. Steel axe, wooden warhammer, hey, it's still worth money. Even a steel gladius, so... Oh. The, the, the uh, LMG is bio-coded, so that's a no-go. What about you? Hmm, it's nice but tainted. Okay, well that's a lot of hauling to do. Hopefully people can get to it. But wow, the day is already gone. What did people even do today? Did we have our sad reliloquy? You can set a rotten, not rotten filter on the stockpiles. Yeah, but I want rotten things in my base brought over here anyway to stop them doing their rot stink. So that's not a given that that's going to work it too well for me. Alright, I'm impressed you're still moving at 75. But yeah, consciousness is affected by breathing and moving, so it's a double whammy. Oh, that's bad. The psychic soothe is over. That one was keeping us alive. And when that bloodlust is gone, oh man, a Ramsey's not going to be happy. Are you, was Light Viking really your friend? Uh, you are probably going to have a mental break on me, and there's not terribly much I can do about that. By the way, could we please haul this rice before everybody eats it? One of the downside about carrying a minigun and herbal medicine is that it really lowers the amount that you can... What, is that all the hauling you were doing? Come on, haul more. It really lowers the amount of capacity you have for hauling stuff. Yeah, 10 kilos of minigun might not be the best thing for you to carry day to day. It's really getting in the way of things, actually. Could you equip that auto pistol instead? And 
professor. Yeah, get those day lilies so we've got a nice place to be. And hopefully the exotic traders come all the way over here. I don't know if I have much exotic stuff to sell them, but I can try. Damn it, man, I need that rice. <laughs> Look at them go and eat my rice. They eat quite a lot of it as well. They ate like 10 quid worth of my rice right there. But yeah, this is the downside of wearing heavy armor. That's 9 kilos of potential hauling taken away from me. Are you guys set to take rice? Maybe that's the problem. Yeah, you're meant to be. There we go, now you're grabbing that stuff. So when it says witness death with bloodlust, does that mean they saw someone die in blood? Or just they saw just that they saw someone die and they liked that? So if I could kill another human, that would kill that would keep a Ramsey nice and happy. Because when this goes, ooh, that mood is gone. Because despite the bloodlust, you don't like your friend or your brother dying. Bit of a wimp, to be honest. Also, could we please not have this thing? Better. got a lot of storage things I want rebuilt here. That huge explosion plus the fire just ravaged this. Also, we're running out of fuel again. Professor, I know you're busy doing that, but we need to, we need power around here. I've got the comms console operational. How can I ever get some help when I need it? So this is League V10. It's not unthinkable to give them a present to keep them happy whilst they're here. Mm. Alright, I want numbers colonists. And maybe I should claim that all this stuff is my own again, so they can maybe take some more stuff off of me. Who was it again? Super Pie, still our best guy. Even with one lung, he's the best at talking. Come here, Mo, what you got? Mmm, well, I did sell my Glitter World Medicine earlier. Maybe I shouldn't be buying it back. Wow, okay, there's almost nothing I can sell you. I want that Shock Lance a lot. But I don't have enough uh, Plasteel for it. And I don't think I want to sell my Stallions. I couldn't sell you enough to get that. Oh, damn. And here I thought I'd be able to sell more to them. Well, that's unfortunate. These people are just kind of a waste for me then. Unless they miraculously die, which would be cool. You have enough silver, Jake. You can afford it, do I? Oh, I do. Well, then that changes things. Where are you, Super Pie? Go and get it. Yeah, I keep forgetting that I have silver. I'm just used to not having any silver at all. Yes, yeah, well spotted. Right, yes, the shock lance is really good, so of course I want that. The telescope is tempting, but we don't need the entertainment from it just yet. Psychic animal pearls, sir, can also help you out in a big pinch, but... I can't afford it. Also, yeah... What's the animal situation here, anyway? Raccoons, rats, squirrels, does... Yeah, that's, that's not enough to really do what I'm looking for. Also, Super Pie, yes, you should equip that Psychic Shot Glance so we can use it in a in a pinch. Not even that heavy, that's good. Got my minigun to hand for if and when I need it. And also absolutely undo that home area. Painted t-shirts actually keeping our door open, which is not what I want, so if you could kindly pick that up. And just dunk it here and get back to work. Maybe use the cancel ability from Super Pie on me, it helps with the mood. Oh yeah, you're right, I completely forgot about console. That's going to get rid of that massive, um, 
going to take care of the worst one, and that's your brother. So yeah, console is a great idea to you do on you. Why are you hauling this wood to the trap? It's ages away. Oh, because we just ate through all of our wood. I'm going to regret that real soon, I think. Alright, let's cancel that for now. And instead of doing that hauling, how about you just generally... While you're up here, actually, can we strip the ones we said we wanted to strip? Can't, I can't tell them at a glance. They got that on them, but that's hard to see. Are you being told to be stripped? Oh, you got nothing to strip. Well, this ended up just working against me. Now I can't tell where they are. Well, I know it involves you, so Super Pie, strip him and then haul some stuff that's here. Uh, could you could you do that now instead of grabbing that useless wood? There we go. Now I don't want any of this stuff. But, uh, and I don't want that body, but I do want you to haul the rest of the stuff. That's the stuff. Ooh. Still hauling little bits of wood to the traps? No! Wait, Professor was working on his shirts? Oh, man. Well, the, the least that you could do is actually wear it now that we have it. Looking good, but you've got no trousers on. Do I not have any spare trousers? Spare untainted trousers, that is. Mm hmm. Is that too big an ask at this point? There's just flat pants that are tainted out there. Uh, fortunately, I don't think he cares about having his bits hanging out. And, oh, it's not good for temperature, though, is it? Okay, regrettably, I have to keep you wearing that for now. Are you not harvesting dead for the human leather? Not right now. There's just too much to be done. That would be nice. Hell, that would be very nice, but that's a lot of hauling of bodies. It would be really good for making friends, though, because I could send all the human leather uh, in sleeping bags over to our friends. Fortunately, though, it's going to stay cold for a while, so with any luck, maybe I'll get some uh, friends to join in, like some laborers. Uh, no, people that I'm helping. Then we can grab all of these corpses and drag them over here and just start doing a mass load of butchering. And a Ramsay has bloodlust, so a Ramsay could do it without making everybody unhappy. Well, without making themselves unhappy, everybody else would be unhappy. But it would be worth it for all of the, all of the leather. Not to mention the meat, which could be used for kibble down the line. So we are eating our way through that kibble, aren't we? How's our monkey friend doing? <laughs> Eleven more days, monkey. I hope they have healer mech serums back where you're going. Or maybe they have the mod for animal uh, animal prosthetics. But yeah, I want to do that Calmist Gamer. Even though it's against our ideal religion, we need the resources. Ah, okay, it's not off the cars, it's just not a priority. I just thought it's not very Jake-like. Yeah, I'm just trying to repair my base here first. Unthinkable, I know. Right. There's a lot of stuff just lying around that I need to collect back up. So, um, I guess we can transition to steel storage, since steel is what I have. And maybe not keep it over here, since this seems to be a big boom area. Perhaps I can keep them over here. It's a little further away, but you can hold the steel and the wood here, right? And then I need some big shelves to replace these busted up ones. And do I have more slate? I got a bit of slate, so I can have you back here. I took out one of my kibble holders, which is a shame, I hope. Professor, this is really not the time for your formal vest. Could you please do anything else? Uh, I didn't really mean researching. You would be good to be doing some repair work right now, Professor, please. Or just generally hauling. There's a lot of hauling that needs to be done. 
Yeah, actually, just getting hauling done would be great. Including hauling raccoons, I suppose. The game just hanged there for a moment, made me worry, made me think, what is it planning? Ah, thank god, Super Pie. So, with the missing lung, you're losing 19% movement speed and 10% to your everything ability. We'll get a new lung for you. I know that uh, harvesting organs is unthinkable for us, but the unthinkable is going to become thinkable. Oh, what a lovely Aurora. Shame we're too busy sleeping. Oh, it's almost Christmas. And it's snowing. And hurrah, that ship chunk is some, um, uh, I believe, steel and components for us. I don't see any raccoons or squirrels wriggling around here, taking all my goods, so that's, well, good. And that aurora didn't last long either. And this is why there's a constant drain on components. Some of your, some of your things just go bzzzt. But I seem to have some, surprisingly enough. And we're reduced to paste. That's going to impact mood quite negatively. Calling Hummingbird to where and why. I wasn't aware that I had a stockpile for human bodies. Well, this will actually tell me where. Wait, this place takes bodies? Not on my watch, it doesn't. Say no to corpses in general over here, please. One monkey doesn't give enough leather for a vest, I'm afraid. <laughs> Just do it the Dominion's way, just wear its ribcage. I'll uh, process those before they go off, or at least I plan to. Where are you going to now? Hauling these timber wools. I mean, yes and no. If Professor is going all the way around here, he's taking a long way because this thing is still in the way. Super Pie! I appreciate you doing that. But Ramsey, once you're done with that, could you please disassemble this so that the professor has a quicker way across? And while the press presser is going, I'm going to do some stripping. I plan to do some stripping. Ugh, poor guy gets wet. You know, Aurora feels like it should be a, a worrisome thing. So you needed stripped. You needed stripped. Anybody else see anyone here that needed stripping? The love of that, of that incredibly faint downwards arrow. So actually, go and strip them, then them, then them. Yeah, wait, what did I just make you do? I made you pick up a steel spear. Well, I don't want that. I want you to strip show. And then, now oh, this is going to take a bit of thinking. I will prohibit all of this. And then only grab what I want, which are these shield belts and the timber wolves that are not yet dead. Actually, you know what? Grabbing these timber wolves are going to hang around here for quite some time. Maybe I should wait on wait until later. What I should have the professor do is pick up. Pick up. And where's the other one? Oh, you can just wear that one. And then if there's nobody else here that I was planning on stripping, you're going to go over to the next batch and do that. Are there really just pawns? Yeah, just three of us left. A lot of us died in an enormous triple raid. Don't want to sound too much like I'm emphasizing the uh, intense nature of it all, but it was pretty intense. Now, Professor, there are some more people to strip, and strip, and strip, and strip. I think there were some weapons I wanted to pick up here as well, were there not? Well, too bad. Professor's already on the move. Oh yeah, it was pretty intense. I really thought my goose was cooked there. Uh, I might as well address that now. If everybody dies... We're going to have to sit and watch our dying colony until we have someone wander in. I do have set that set to happen within like a day or two with a mod. 
but that just means that the show can go on. I mean, I could just start from zero, but I don't think I want to do that. Because if we start from zero, then the people that have died will get a chance to come back. That's not very good. Death should have a bit of meaning, don't you think? I think. Right. I also want some of these weapons. Steel mace, steel axe, steel warhammer, steel gladius. Steel axe, wooden warhammer. Aren't warhammers very heavy, though? Yeah, five kilos. I don't think a wooden one's worth bringing back with me. Okay, and with that, I should probably just have you haul these things. Good enough. And then everything else that's here, let's just double make sure it's forbidden. Good. So now Professor is bringing back a lot of gear. Worth some actual money. Lots of shield belts. A Ramsey's going to get a shield belt and a melee weapon. I hope I don't come to regret that, but I really... I really value having good uh, melee. Now, this storage setting is going across all of here. At least this one was remembered. Did it include my bedrolls? Yes, good. There's going to be a lot of bedrolls soon. And I would quite like my... Where are they? Not medicine cabinet. I want my clothing racks back. Again, keeping storage here, maybe not a great idea. Oh, right, there's this as well. Um, I want you to store wood. And I want you to store wood. And I want... Did I set you for wood? Change of thoughts. I'm going to have you store steel. You also store steel. And these three store, uh, store wood. I tend to have more wood than steel, and I want to keep the wood out of the place that's more likely to go up in flames. And again, we did get a flame attack here, didn't we? Burned our poor horses. Burned our poor monkey! <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the flame mortar also was a dirty bomb, and it totally stabbed our monkey. Right, I'm getting the repair work done that I said I wouldn't want to prioritize, but we're... We're in a position we could actually get it done. I wouldn't want something to accidentally blow up my research lab. If there was anything that fight proved, it was that good armored melee fighters to block with are essential, so I agree with the decision. Uh, what was the decision? To take the fight? Is that a good decision? I don't know. By the way, I'm gonna want a Christmas tree soon. It costs wood, which I don't have. Uh... Uh, I'm gonna need the professor to chop a lot of wood. Do we have any wood around here? Close to the base? Let's close the ladder of this. We'll get this done. Bang. Alright, professor, just, just drop that gear, let someone else deal with it. You need to... Well, maybe get a more beautiful environment. Oh, that's right, Super Pie. I wanted you to console a Ramsey over the loss of his brother. And Professor needs to... I keep feeling like I'm bringing things to high priority, but... Where is Cut Tree again? Plant Cut? Cut Plants? I guess. That's actually a high priority now. Yeah, there we go. Go we'll harvest those trees. And these could probably be thrown into my... Uh... Well, maybe into here. It says that it has a weight limit, but I'm not entirely sure that's true. You botched the attempt and a Ramsey is ex upset. Somehow that attempt at making me feel better has made things worse. And why are you still eating without a table? Right, tell you what, this can be reinstalled over there, so at least all three can eat at once. Whilst looking down at poor dead red. But there we go, Professor, I need wood. I need that grizzly pair not to suddenly start attacking you for food. It might, though. Hopefully it goes to the raccoon, but it could go for you. Also, I want that uh, rocket launcher. All your friends die, and some asshole comes and starts talking about silver linings. It's probably the fact that Ramsey was somehow friends with... Oh, I thought you became friends with the guy that we burnt alive. Well, burnt dead. Yeah, apparently Light Viking was your friend. You managed to have forgotten about that pretty quickly.
Minus 21 cutting down trees. Gotta make a living somehow, Professor. And so much wood and it's just bleep, gone. Top of that, there's not that much more wood to grab, is there? It's okay, we'll have a nice Christmas. That'll cheer everyone up. Including the Professor, including a Ramsey. is even fixing our traps, so they don't need it. Okay, well, we're short on labour, but we're still here. And hey, at least we managed to build this awesome thing here. Uh, unfortunately, out of all of that, my wealth is still looking too good, because this is just the people invading the map, making my wealth go up. I need those bodies gone, but... I need to process them, and that's a lot of hauling. I really... Of all the times for me to want more refugees coming over here. Maybe it doesn't like the fact that I have so many missions. I'll chuck that away for now. And I do want to go and check out that village, but, you know, not really the time for anything. I don't know how I'm getting to get all my growing done when it's growing season. And I think it's meant to be growing season not too long from now. 11th of April for May, so in one quadrant it's going to be growing time, apparently. Why did a Ramsey cut down one tree? Oh yeah, you don't do hauling, you waste of space. Oh god, a Ramsey and Super Pie are both furious. Come on now, why is it cold here? Ah. Uh, at this rate, I'm going to need one more heater. Well, we do have the power surplus for it. But it says one of my heaters isn't actually working. Or was I reading that wrong? Uh, well, they all should be working. Keep this place nice and toasty. That's 21. Why in the world did you sleep in the cold? Maybe the heater gave out through the night. All right, Professor, go and chill out. I wonder if you could play the harp when you're not sitting down. Go through the harp over there, Professor. You might want to play it a bit. No, he just wants to play some horseshoes. Well, whatever, whatever satisfies your recreation. This is why I assign recreation time. Pollution drop. 295 toxic waste packs. Nope, nope, and more nope. It takes a very late game setup to be able to process that much waste. Very late game. Although I suppose if you are playing on a horribly polluted place and you just have people adapted to pollution, that wouldn't be a problem. Why are you going up there and doing that? All the wood, man. Don't waste the journey back. And I really want that uh, triple lock rocket launcher brought in. That could be my get out of jail free card. There we go. At least just sleep in your really nice bedroom, which is suspiciously cold. Why is it so cold in here? It should be temperature normalized with this, but perhaps it needs a radiator of its own. Well, look, we all got problems, Professor. Ting, ting, ting. Steel moving around as it should. Professor eats his meal, and I actually want him to go and butcher so those uh, animals don't go off. I've still got a good quadrant to bring in these corpses and start harvesting them, but we will, despite the anger that's going to cause for our, uh, for our group. Okay, good, we're shoving the weapons probably into the locker, where they belong. Yeah, good. Good, good, good. Professor just takes some time in his comfy chair and his relatively beautiful environment. I want you to get to work, though. Harvest those pine trees. See? Yeah, we're bouncing back. 
Granted, because we're not actively getting raided right now, and Randy could just decide to change that, but honestly, that was a lot of raids. I wonder if we, if we can even see it on the timeline here. Oh yeah, look at that! Manhunter pack. Enemy raid, enemy raid, enemy raid. Doesn't show that one of them was a siege. And that really complicated matters. Did not expect to get a siege this early, but get it, I did. Okay, good to see you're hauling that stuff. But wasn't that stuff tainted? Where are you going to put tainted clothes? Don't tell me I, I keep it. No, I don't keep tainted apparel here. Where are you going to bring tainted... Wait, I have this set for tainted apparel? Ooh. It was probably just to get it out of my way. Hmm. I'd really rather not. For now, though, you can you can ditch it there. I, I don't particularly care. Uh, Aramzi is wandering around sad. That's okay. He'll get catharsis out of that. I actually need him to have catharsis, so I'd far rather he did it with a relatively meaningless thing like that. The jacket was not tainted, I think. Tainted... that isn't tainted either, but it's really low condition, so I might as well just leave it there to die. There we go. All that tainted stuff. We don't want it. I never got around to putting up a place for my clothes, did I? The clothes that aren't tainted. Well, not like we're drowning in space here, but I think I'll put my clothes racks next to my bed so it makes a bit of sense. Keep it safe inside the base. Less likely to explode like everything else did. Do I want them made out of steel? Ah, I've got plenty of steel and not lots of wood, so sure. So Ramsey, fortunately, isn't going to starve, isn't going to pass out. It's just basically a day of lost a Ramsey for this. And that is putting more pressure on Super Pie. There we go. So this is an important place to have all non-tainted apparel. Pretty much every non-tainted apparel should go in here. I will decide what stuff needs to go. Oh, but no, I don't want it here, actually. I want it close to you so that I can send it away really easily. Oh, that's problematic, isn't it? It is. Oh, well, I'll do this anyway. Let's just assume it was a really uh, unfortunate turn of events that made this all go up in flames. And it was, it was flames. It wasn't the explosion that blew this up. So here we go, all non-tainted apparel goes in here. Uh, no bio-coded stuff either, please. You have a lot of unused beds. Well, we kind of needed them when we had people joining us. There we go, copy that over. There we go, it just stops my clothes that I actually like from degrading out there. Now oh, you've got a proper flak vest. Now. Now, now, now. I actually do want another pod in here. Because I do want to make another friend, believe it or not. And I want my friend to be the Mugmo Moor. Matted Doe. Okay, forgive me for thinking that's not really much of a threat right now. Unless somebody wanders out there, then it could be a pretty big threat. How am I going to collect all these corpses? Mm. I want a lot of corpses. I might just put loads of corpses out here and then move the butchering spot out to them. And I'll keep the corpses kind of safe over here. So what I could do is architect myself a... Yeah, I see it. I see it now. Get those hooks over there. Is this thing of value? Not that much value. And then I can get my... Uh, I can have this be the little corner that we don't talk about. 
where all the nasty things happen. I could even... Mm, what kind of block do we have? We've got a bit of slate. There we go. What I can do is I'll set up a little uh, campfire there, and that'll keep it warm. But we'll keep the corpses cold there for now, and then uh, when the time comes, we're going to make our leather. Should be plenty cold in there for a good long time. Oh, Super Pie is ready to flip. I don't have any drugs to make him happy. Just a very, very sad time to be super pie. Although a lot of your rivals died, but that does go away. And you're still that body modder unhappy. Uh, and you, why do you have high expectations for this place? I know why. It's because he has a role. But really, think about where you are. Give it a thought. Getting beauty high up is really good for uh, for mood. But it can, can prove a little troublesome. There is and was a laundry mod to add, uh, remove tainted, yeah. The stuff that lets you repair and remove tainted from clothes is, in my opinion, way too overpowered to allow. Christmas. Yes, we've got a special opportunity. No matter how bad our time is, there was someone who had it even worse. That's right, Santa Claus. Let's uh, let's set ourselves up a lovely Christmas tree here. Super Pie, when you wake up, build that. We're going to have ourselves some Christmas. There's no such mood as the 25th of April for me, so I couldn't be doing that. Also, Ramsey, if you could stop just wandering around. No? Okay. No, no. This is a charity incident. Poil Puwolok. A pyromaniac. A useless pyromaniac. Now oh, they got some ambrosia. Well, uh... Hey, Super Pie, I know you want to make the Christmas tree, but please... Capture them. And then we're going to patch them up and release them. Not before we strip them, of course. This is a charity incident. Funny how it's charitable to capture them, but still we do that. And just to be sure, yes, if things... If we're somehow in a situation where triple rocket launcher is going to save the day, there it is for us. And good, a Ramsey's got catharsis for three days from wandering around. Flavor. Hmm... I could buy some colonists, although I doubt I can afford it. Oh, your erg I don't think the Ergo people would be slavers. Oh, no, no. Uh, I thought of e Ergo people. Uh, what do you think of enslavement? It's acceptable. A normal, unremarkable part of life. If you say so. Right, so our friend here, Molly Gag. Oi, 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 take that Ambrosia. In fact, Super Pi, you deserve better in life. Why don't you... I'd like you to just take a little bit of it, but yeah. All that Ambrosia away so the door closes. Our prisoner is going to be released, but only once we heal them up. Can they move, actually? Oh. Oh, they're never going to be able to move because of this. Well, maybe the pelvis. Maybe if we fix that pelvis, they'll be able to move. Paste for them, and I hope we fix them, and then we can release them. Did you harvest that lung already? You make a compelling argument. I'm sure Super Pie would love that lung back. 
Oh, we, we hate slavery. We would be torn apart by being uh, a slaver here. Where is it? Where is it? I always forget where ideology is. Here we go. Harvesting an organ. Ah, but bloodlust probably overcomes that. Slavery is horrible. Sold a slave, minus 10. Someone sold a slave, minus 3. But again, I bet bloodlust overcomes that. And our bloodlust is our surgeon. So a Ramsey uh, wants you, in fact, before you even wake up, I want that lung. Our super pie deserves that lung. But Professor... Professor, could you light the place up for us? Yeah, first thing, first things first. Um, yeah, Jesus, this guy's gonna be a pain in my bum, isn't he? I don't really care about your clothes, they're nothing worth worrying about. Although there are trousers for the professor. And it should be warm enough in your little hole. Although you're gonna freeze to death if I send you out of here. If I strip everything out. Alright, we'll leave you with what you have. Anyway. I want to tend to you, but I want the professor to come over and light the place up. Because otherwise you're doing work in the dark, I think. Oh, no, you're doing work in the light because you stand here. Very clever. Very clever indeed. So I'm going to heal you up, and then I'm going to harvest your organ. And I hope that doesn't just cause everybody to flip out. Uh, yeah, even, even good quality for tending for the crack. And then... Yep, yeah, please operate on them. Does it matter which side of lung you get? I don't think it does, but even so, let's make sure we take the left lung. This works. It's okay, Christmas will let us um, forget about the horrors of what we're doing to poor Moilag. But honestly, they, they are our enemies. Poil Pawalt. This will probably bring them down to minus 100, actually. Uh, I don't actually know if it makes an effect if they already hate you. There we go. Oh, it did. It brought them down to minus 100. That's a shame. I want them to be my friend. And look, you look at that, you didn't care about taking the organ out. The others, however, do. Yeah, eight days of tearing out. Well, you know, Super Pie, you're going to be a lot less concerned about this when you go into bed and we install that organ in you. I'll do this tonight so the anaest uh, anesthetic um, affects you while you sleep. But yeah, good job, Ramsey. Thank you. You did a good thing. Someone had to. <laughs> Do we have a word with the slavers? I'm a little curious what they have to say or sell. Minus four, that's nothing. Yeah, but we've been teetering on the edge of very, very unhappiness. I need to do another console on you with Super Pie. I just wish she was much, much better at uh, social. Right, talk to me, slavers. I, I don't think I've ever seen slavers in the game. Uh, well, I can get a slave child, colonist child, or a geriatric. They also have pemmican and a bit of silver. Hey, they'd buy a lung. Hey, you know, I could go back and take the rest of the organs out and sell them to you. Uh, I mean, that is a genuine consideration to get some wealth out of this guy. Hmm, I mean, because he's got a spare other part. Yeah, poor selection. It's not even worth looking at them, because no matter how good Soothe is, it's not going to change the fact that they are oh, bad back, frostbite, psychite, crap in every way. Won't do hauling, but also won't do skilled lit. Yeah, these guys should just go away. This is an insult. Children doesn't seem too expensive yet. Yeah, I don't want any children in my colony. Guests, sure. Raiders, also sure. Nothing else. Right, so as soon as you're able to move, I want to 
release you so that we can feel good about ourselves. We rescued somebody. I shouldn't. I shouldn't be so diminutive about uh, about what I'm doing here. There we go. Super Pie just styling and Ramsey very quickly doing jobs. Get those meal hooks up as well, and then I'm going to start doing the long job of pulling all these colonists over here. One of the not colonists, these corpses. One of the downsides. Uh, ooh. More ancient complexes. Sadly, they're all hidden in the mountains, but still, it's good that they're there for me in the future. Uh, yeah, one of the downsides about grabbing all this stuff is the sheer amount of bad clothes. So I need to strip then all pretty much. Okay, I didn't want you to roof there, but if I really didn't want you to roof, I would have done something about it. Professor, I know you're not, you don't like violence, but I need you to strip, strip, strip. Rip. 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 Strip. Strip. I mean, this isn't violence, it's just stripping. Strip the dead chief while you're at it. And maybe strip all the people up here. That's funny. Odette. Odette's wearing some good clothes. Oh, right, I see, I see, I see. Um, I was wondering why they didn't explode and have all of their clothes get that chemical stuff that the Imperium puts on their soldiers to prevent you from just taking their good stuff. But you must be from... Yeah, you're from E10. Cool. Strip, strip, strip. I shouldn't have... Um... have... What's the word here? I shouldn't have drafted you for this. Phew, man, I was wondering why my, why my vocabulary is failing me here. It's because I've been playing for almost nine hours. But you know what? I'm going to keep going. It's only 8 p.m. or so, and I did actually already do my shopping, so I should be fine. Also, I want that. I bet a Ramsey wishes he had a better gun. A Ramsey, if you're here, what weapon would you like? Uh, I'm only going to let you have a melee weapon. So, axe... Gladius, Warhammer, which would you like? And whilst you're busy thinking about that, I'm going to give you a good shield belt. And I'm going to have you dump those Molotovs. Yeah, you never do hauling. And since a Ramsey is not choosing, or perhaps isn't here, oh, Gladius, the Normal Gladius. Okay, that's actually not too bad because it's light, but on the other hand, you don't do hauling, so... Eh. There we go. Our gun. We've now got Crap Gun and Gladius. I'd really like to upgrade Super Pie's weapon to something that's... You know, Heavy SMG is probably a good call for you. Super Pie, equip that Heavy SMG. And yes, you'll get your lung. I'll put that lung in you tonight after the Professor does all this... Um, all this stripping. I might start Christmas during his long walk back. I don't know how long Christmas takes, but... Yeah. There we go. Good job, Professor and Ramsey. Begin Christmas. Takes two hours. Fine by me. Yeah, who would have thought you're not participating? Um than a 1 in 4 chance that it's an awful Christmas, but we won't get our bonus. Yeah, okay, well, let's go for it. Hopefully we have a fun Christmas and everyone forgets about the horrible losses that we sustained today. Is Professor going to get there in time? <laughs> and more to the point, is Professor going to benefit from it? Oh, these are all ready. In that case, they are critical locations for fresh human corpses that are not colonist corpses. And not animal corpses, absolutely. And we'll keep everybody nice and cold in there. I'll keep the door open. Yay! A Ramsey and Super Pie just sit awkwardly around the Christmas tree. 
Come on, Professor, give us one of your knee-slapping puzzles for Christmas. There is no better gift than that of a satisfying puzzle. Superfy hates Christmas. Reminds him of the Andron menace. Oh, Professor said good things about Super Pie's accent. Kind words is actually a pretty nice boost. I've been bestowed with kind words. What a nice person. I don't think a Ramsey cares about nice things because he's uh, he's full of bloodlust. Connected on the topic of self-replicating machines with a Ramsey. Oh, surely this is a good Christmas. An unforgettable Christmas. Because <laughs> they didn't have to do so much Christmas shopping. Oh, thank God for that. Six days of plus eight. Oh, we're forgetting all about that organ harvesting then. And uh, Super Pie, it is time. I really wish I had better medicine for this, so let's try and not fail. But it's time for you to get yourself a replacement lung. A Ramsey, that's, that's your job. I'm glad you got that itchy. Oi. It's time for you to. Uh, it's time for you to get your uh, your operation. Oh, please don't fail! I don't want to lose Super Pie or another one of his organs. What a gift! Oh God, I'm, I'm, I thought I had so much medicine, and I did. But who would have thought our little monkey here? would end up costing us so much. Okay, eight more days until I can send this monkey packing. Crispy monkey. Oh, that's it. Next opportunity I get, I'm going to eat monkey. I mean, in real life, not in the game. I, just every time in games, monkeys are going out of their way to make my life miserable. <laughs> Molly's just sitting in their own pew. I do hope they can walk someday, but I think even if I fix that pelvis, they're not going to be able to walk. I'd need to give them some drugs that assist in walking. All right, Ramsey, do not fail now. It's well lit. You are an extremely accomplished medic, and it is dirty in here, but surely not too dirty. Yes! Yes! Super Pie is uninjured. It was like it never happened. And yeah, Christmas is offsetting the pain of having or organ harvesting our friend. There we go. We're righting these wrongs. Now Ramsey says, I don't fail. We well, didn't fail in the defense of our entire base, so why would you fail in saving Super Pie? We dragged Super Pie halfway across the map to keep him alive. <laughs> Trying to tend Super Pie whilst getting firebombed was it was great right that is why i put the difficulty this high i know it can be frustrating to build up so much and have it burned down or killed or enslaved away from you but it's moments like that that make this game so great and like i said i wanted super pie sedated through the night so that when they wake up they will be fully rested plenty hunger oh well maybe not they're getting fed through the night what luxury I really want more uh, more teammates, though, even temporary faction members, because when the when the hot spell comes, I'm going to want to plant all of this as soon as possible. What will I plant, though? I I am definitely going to want more heal root and more corn for sure. But we blasted through that corn. Uh, I do want more psychoid, more rice, and the rice just so I can quickly have something to eat. The rice is such a waste to put in the ground, but it does grow fast. Nah, it's it's good to have the variety. So I'm actually going to grow the same as before. Hmm. Oh well. If I had more hands on deck, I'd have no problem just clearing this out and growing lots of crops here as well. There's nothing saying you have to use the really nice high fertility ground. Just use all the ground, it's, it's still pretty good. It just means you're waiting a bit longer. But time is of the essence when you're this stripped poor, so I make do with what I can. Has the enemy base improvement mod affect your colonist retrieval quests? Ooh, I've never seen a colonist retrieval quest before. But if it does entail me going to one of these fleshed out 
um, enemy bases, then that's a big problem. Oh, for the love of God. A Ramsey is female. Thankfully, you're in catharsis. So that psychic drone will hopefully go away within two days. And hopefully Super Pi will be able to cons- Oh, okay. This is why I don't use batteries. This is 100% why I don't use batteries. That zoot effect started a little fire. If you have a lot of batteries, it can cause an explosion. And a lot of fire. And a lot of damage. And hey, look who's up! It's 1am, but he's uh, raring to go. Now that we mentioned it, odds are Randy is going to give us a rescue quest. Randy will do what Randy wants, sadly. Sadly for me. That door will stay open, and this is where bodies go. For the eternal rest. I might, actually might, want, uh, might want that mined away. It's not nasty overhead stuff, so that's okay. Sadly, you can just pull bodies one at a time, but... The meat and the leather that I get out of these bodies is going to be worth it. At least I hope it will be. Oh, so I just stopped to vomit all over the place. It's okay, it's outside. We don't care that it's filthy. I do like my extremely impressive barracks, though. Feeding our little monkey. Keeping it alive for that honor that we are owed. We did technically keep your pet alive here, so give me my three honor. We're at a six, and to become a knight, we need two more. So the monkey will give us what we need for the professor to become a knight. A knight's really good. Knight unlocks another permit and level three psi casting. Yeah, we lost a lot of people, Draken. A lot of people. Kind of cool that our friends come in sashes. All tainted. I just like the flavor of having uh, people come in in certain uh, certain kinds of dress. Super Pie, I know you're hauling all these dead bodies, but I would actually quite like you to, once you're done with that, haul some wood. I'd hate for this stuff to go up in flames or something similarly bad. Batteries can be okay if you have a switch installed. Yeah, but then you have to micro them to get uh, to get their goodies. I believe a Ramsey has nothing to do. No plants, no medical, nothing to build even. Surely that nothing to build isn't right. But I'm struggling to think what you could do. I mean, I suppose you could go around and strip a lot of people. They're forbidden. Oh, that's right. I forbid. I forbade these people. All right. Oh, they, these fluffy guys are already stripped, aren't they? Right, strip, strip. Rip. These guys are rotting, I believe. So let's ignore them. Oh boy, lots of stripping to do. Strip. 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 Stripping them here just saves me having to deal with all of their clothes hanging around in my base. Are you rotting or do you just look like that? Yeah, you're rotting. Good. Good. Lots of hauling to be done. Probably multiple days worth of hauling, which is all the more reason I wish I had temporary people here. Um... Hauling takes precedence over research, Professor. But yeah, cleaning also takes precedence, so get on that as well, please. What a sad throne room. Clean, immaculate, even looks quite good, thanks to all the stuff on the floor, but saddeningly empty. I can burn and strip corpses, I can build traps, I can even stand there and look pretty. Uh, I guess I could start making steel traps. It's not the worst idea, considering how much we're... Yeah, actually, I'm so low on traps, that's a good idea. They're also less flammable than wooden traps. But damn it, steel is necessary. If I want to build something to advance... Mm, looks like 573 steel. 
I'd still rather use wood, it's just uh, easier to get more of. In time, steel will be easier to come by, but for now, no thank you. Get that stripping done. Also, those timber wools could start being brought over. Those can also be turned into delicious things for us. Wait, I don't... Oh, okay, what was that? Super pie? <laughs> okay. I don't think I told Super Pie to do any stripping. I thought I told Ramsey to do it. Must have missed one. Oh well, whatever keeps you happy. Play some horseshoes. As soon as it's growing period, I have a lot of stuff for you and the professor to do outside. You could actually do intellectual stuff for Ramsey. It's almost unthinkable, but if you have truly nothing else to do, you could research. You can also eat, apparently. You're god-awful at it, but here we go. Look at that blistering speed. Compared to the professor, it's... Uh... Hmm? Did I get rid of it here? I should get rid of the stuff, some of the stuff here that I don't like. I like equipment. I don't care about title. That is useful. That is not. That is. That is not. Kills is just nice to have. Shooting accuracy, mood, construction isn't necessary. Patient isn't necessary. Butcher efficiency, tame chat. I don't care about tame chance. I always care about trade price improvement. But I was a little curious about your research speed. Less than one tenth of the professor. But at least you're doing something. Actually, are you able to cook? Technically. Butcher efficiency, 75%. It's not that bad. I hope I don't still have this on someone who's not here. Yeah, any worker can do it now. Good. That'll give you something to do, Ramsey. If there is butchering to be done. In fact, you're going to be butchering all these corpses, so one way or another you're going to learn how to cook. So, where's butchering at? Here we go. Be terrible if you weren't able to do that. Ah, Super Pie's having a chill out by playing the harp. And the professor doesn't care about the drone. Does care about other stuff though, he's got a lot of hauling to do. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> what a damaged Roly. One of the downsides of having a royal here is that they try to maintain their side focus. And it's good that he spends time there, he does get recreation out of it, but... It does feel not very productive, doesn't it? Alright, oh sweet, you're capable of walking! Right, I'm, sh I'm getting rid of you. Release them, make us feel good about ourselves. Volcanic Winter. For 17 days, I would like to reduce your sunlight and make it colder. You couldn't offer me enough to make me want it even colder here. I want my growing season coming, and the sooner it comes, the better. Molly, I get out of here. I know you're unhappy, I know you want Ambrosia, but I stole your Ambrosia, and I get to feel good for having let you go. Snap. Okay, good, you're doing butchering locally. I was worried that you were going to start butchering my people here. Also, do we not have a miner anymore? Mining is done by the professor. Well, it's not a priority right now. So it feels like we're getting very little done each day, but we are getting ourselves back to a position where we can be confident in, to a degree. The love of oh my god, he's gonna collapse from hypothermia before he go Oh Jesus. I need to give him drugs just to get him out of here. Right, I have a I have a follow-up idea. If he wants to escape by here, then I can just put him in a jail cell over here and then just let him go. 
but that means building stuff over here. That just seems like a whole kerfuffle. Ah, I could build one here. This doesn't look like a lot of work. Oh, right. It is, because it's close to Map Edge. How's that, then? Shove him over there and then let him go. Actually, he'll still freeze to death there. Hmm. I need to give him go juice or something to get him out of here. Maybe some flake? Does flake help them move? Oh no, I sold all my flake. Ransom demanded. Myriapt! 2,113 silver. I don't have that silver. Why are you asking me for stuff I don't have? Mm. That's that's unfortunate for me. Also, I have an idea. What if I put a uh, tainted parka in here? Professor, pick up should be a parka nearby. There we go. Pick up that crappy bird skin parka. Actually, cloth is better than bird skin, I think. And maybe give him a toque as well. Just to get him out of here. Jesus. Hmm. Any silver to mine? No. Not that we know of, at least. All right, hopefully you'll wear these. Once you stop shivering from hypothermia, hopefully you pick yourself up and grab those. And then get out of here. Oh, right, you, you, I think you're continuing to try to let them go, right? No, just no interaction right now. Yeah, even if, uh, even if we did have it, I don't think we'd be able to get that done in time. Uh, why? I hope our people don't get unhappy from not being able to do the ransom. We couldn't, even if we wanted to. And we do want to, that's the thing. Could you call a trader? Not within 20 hours. And I don't really have that much stuff to sell. Not yet, at least. Someday I'm going to have a whole heap of meat and... Uh, meat and leather to put to use. Right, nice. Level 10 in plants. That's going to be handy for growing season. It might seem like a big waste of time doing all these day lilies, but it's nice for our uh, nice for our mood to have a good place to sleep. And we only need to replant them every like four and a half days, I think. Yeah, four and a half days. Which might make roses a better idea, because roses last much longer. They're less beautiful, but it would mean less work for us. Well, I do hope to eventually get away from having indoor daylilies, and then I can just have some indoor statues. But that day is not today. Why won't you wear those clothes? Is it because they're tainted? It's really hard to make these people do what I want them to do. Can I, like, get rid of that and have you uh, wear them? Is the problem that they're on top of the bed? Now the problem's just you. Let me think. You are from Polly Popplewalk. Polly Popplewalk are these people. Oh, man. I could blast you out in a transport pod. I'm not sure that's worth the money. You can grow some drugs during growing season just to make some cash. You have a few people pretty okay at planting. That's exactly the plan. As soon as growing season hits. I've already got this planned out. Heel root, corn, cycoid, rice. More rice just seems like a waste. Most of my cotton reserves went away, but I don't use much cotton. Maybe more corn. I do like corn a lot. Oh, hay grass! That's something that I should have been doing. I didn't grow any hay grass, and that's great for making my kibble. In that case, I'll grow hay grass here. It grows pretty fast, doesn't it? Seven days. 
So really it's kind of like 14 days, but it's less than I should be able to get two loads of hay grass out of you. And if I have more uh, time and labor, I'm going to grow a lot more hay grass. During the day, it might not be hot enough for him to get away. Yeah, it's only minus six now. And you're good for eight degrees. It's still going to build up hypothermia, but he's just so slow. And any amount of um, any amount of hypothermia stops him from moving enough. It's almost like uh, removing a lung has made it hard to get rid of him. I wonder if that withdrawal is also kicking in. Possibly. Right, tell you what, I'm just going to blast him away. I don't want him... Uh, don't want him getting in my way anymore. I can just blast him over using this thing. Why are we storing meat here? Oh, these are full. That's kind of good news for me in a way. In that case, I will take another basket, if you don't mind. Maybe another wood one, because we're short on wood of all things. Maybe a sandstone one. Storage. Sandstone basket over there. And maybe another one. I mean, I could shove one. Another one in here. Yeah, there we go. It's good to have the, good to have the stuff. Good to have the space for stuff. Refuel the pod launcher while we're at it, please. And then, hopefully, hopefully, I can load in Molly Ag and just get you out of here. Oh, you'll never do loading, of course not. Get you the heck out of here. It's going to cost me way more than I want to spend, but let's get you out of here. You are Polly Popplewockle, right? Yes. So we're going to return you. Notably missing a part of you. I won't rebuild the transport pod because it costs uh, valuable components. Wouldn't want it to get destroyed or anything. There we go. Do we feel good about that? No. That was meant to be charitable, but we don't feel any good about it. Maybe it's because we organ harvest him. That would make quite a bit of sense, actually. Or maybe it just didn't take into account the fact that you can blast them back using transport pods. I'm a big fan of transport pods. I like to use them for just about everything. They're great for moving around, sending gifts, getting rid of people, making people happier. There was prisoner released. Ah, there was, but you can get that for anyone. I was hoping it would specifically be something special for that so-called charitable event. Alright. Oh, Super Pie's building a snowman. Now that is cute. People make these for the fun of it. I wonder what kind of fun that counts as. I imagine solitary. I remember seeing uh, Calvin from Calvin and Hobbes make those mini snowmen, and I thought that was very cute, and I tried it myself. Plenty of snow to, to make them with. Mm. Okay, well, Randy is really taking it easy now. He obviously thinks I've earned a break, and he's obviously correct. Why is there a pause? Okay, I thought, I thought it was just gearing up a, an invasion for me. With a, with a lot of stuff, I could make a lot of honor. But I hate doing these. Even if they're good, I don't like them, so I don't bother with them. The special thing was not getting a penalty upon refusing. Same with beggars asking you for medicine. They don't give you anything in return. I thought that they remember that and they go, oh, we haven't forgot what you did. And then they send you a special gift like a telescope or an infinite chem reactor or sometimes like a pile of crap. But yeah, what's a man to do? I tell you what, Professor, you brought these in, you take them out, pick it up, pick it up and then leave it outside, please. I just just leave it outside to spoil. I do not care about this at all. Bunk, bunk. Oh yeah, we've got these shield belts as well. Put those down too, please. One of those shield belts I could actually sell. If anybody comes willing to buy. There's still a lot of um, human corpses I want to drag over here. And then as soon as it gets too hot to store them, 
I'm going to put the butcher table in here and just go ham on them. There's a lot of leather to be had. The leather will be sent over to my, f well, my friends to be. The human meat will be turned into chem fuel and kibble. It's a good idea. I would know because it's my idea. We remembered your charity. Have 13 uranium versus masks again. <laughs> no more masks, please. It's not like we got shot in the face. Well, actually, Aramzi enjoys a bit of facial protection now. Uh, yeah, I have to reject that because I don't have the silver. Okay, thankfully we didn't suddenly uh, get mad about that. By the way, Aramzi... Time for you to be consoled about the loss of your brother. Come on, Super Pie, don't let us down again. Ah. I don't know what the success rate on that is, but clearly it's not good enough for me. Professor's getting the hauling done. Good. Wood isn't light. It's lighter than steel, though. Lighter than a kilo of feathers. to just have some downtime, isn't it? Oh, I forgot I, I gave these guys their beds over there. But they are munching their way through that kibble. Uh, could become a problem at some point. I have loads of meat, but meat's not what I'm after right now. I don't even have a cook to make fine meals with. I miss my housewife, Lady Saru. She knew how to cook. She knew how to clean. If we had any children, she'd know how to take care of them. our stockpiles of stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm really going to need more traps back soon enough. Strange, why are we not hauling off these fresh frozen corpses though? I'll tell you why. Because I didn't copy this setting to these. There we go. Now you'd be able to haul them. I assume. Yes. Good. More places for bodies. Get those bodies moving. The funny thing about human leather is it has very high value. So I will be turning those into bedrolls and sending those bedrolls to my friends. The nice thing is you only, you only need to make someone your ally once. And then it's better to keep the relations quite low and then just top it up with wee gifts. Because the higher it is, the, higher, the harder it is to move. But I still want uh, Poil Pawalok to be my friends, even though that's a big investment. After all, friends can occasionally help you out. I have seen it very occasionally where they go, oh, your allies are coming to help you out in your time of need. Very welcomed. Also, mind that out. I need to find out eventually. Boom rats are quite strong. Unlike boom lopes, they can be zoned. Really? Boom rats, uh, boom rats can be zoned? I thought they'd also be pack an um, pen animals. Raider outpost. Destroy the camp. Six imps are there. Zang could join me. Zang, the aching, scarred, glade, child splat explosive. Ah, no dumb labor. No dumb labor, no deal. Also, I am not in a position to be traveling to do anything. If it was one of those ones where they send a shuttle to help you do a mission, then absolutely, but absolutely not to that, please. I think I've, I think I've taken plenty of suicide mission today. Did you never have Scaria? No, you're just a regular Timberwolf. That's cute. The chance of success for console depends on the speaker's social skills and their relationship with the listener, Jake. Maybe I really hate Super Pie or vice versa. You just don't acknowledge... Oh, 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 your arrival. Does it actually show the chance of success anywhere? Oh, right. Harvesting that organ made Super Pie not very popular. At all. Wait, no. Super Pie didn't harvest the organ. A Ramsey did. But you still love Leighton. You had a lot of deep talks with Leighton. How does Leighton feel about that? 
Uh, failed to romance me. Yeah, please. Well, actually, you two getting it on would be pretty good for both of your happiness. I wonder if I could tell Professor to get it on with Ramsey. Imagine that, Ramsey. Fulfill your life goal of mating with Professor Layton. Someone's got to want that, right? Bet you're being eaten by the timber. Well, yeah, bitten off both of its arms, so there's less meat on you. Hang on, what did you have? A bionic tongue. It's got value. I I probably should have checked to see if any of the people attacking me had any good implants to take. But on the other hand, honestly, I was in no position for that. I was in no position to do anything other than barely survive. But we did survive. So something I could do in the future, actually. Let's say someone else came here to try and bombard me. I could peek around the corner and shoot them with a multi-rocket launcher. That would do a hell of a lot of damage. It might be a suicide trip for whoever does it. Well, actually, a Ramsey would be wearing their good armor. They might be able to get their way out of there without dying. But they probably would die. Their life for the colony, as I'm, sh I'm sure is what they'd say. Also, would it kill you to become smarter? Actually, it wouldn't. You are. You're getting there. Oh, wow. Your research speed's not gotten any better. But surely it will when you level up. Five, six, seven... Ooh! 50% better! I could dream up worse things, especially in Rim World. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, we, we mostly just you, need you and the professor out planting when the weather gets good. But I'm hoping to get the corpses over and dealt with first. Just how many corpses are there, though? Corpses. Oh, Jesus. 65 corpses. Taking away the animals, that's still a lot of corpses. Ah, but that's including rotten ones. But these guys aren't rotten, they're just kind of crispy looking. Maybe that's the case with the other people I saw around here. No, you are rotting. You are rotting as well. James, quite a few of them rotting. There must be some old corpses here then. You're fresh, but so much of you has been pulled off by even bother bringing you back in. There we go, the great lengths we're going to to get some friends. For a siege, it's worth risking my life. If I sit around waiting to catch a mortar shell with my face, that'll help no one. I don't know, quite a few of us caught mortar shells with our face. Uh, but sure enough, I don't think it helped anyone. Ah, Red the Monkey. I'm glad you didn't have an instant healing of this. I'd have, a, I'd have problems knowing what to do with you. I'd just shove you in the corner and tell you to do nothing, probably. A ransom demand for silver for Miria. I want him back, but I can't afford that silver. You know that. With what silver? Red, red was the champion catcher. Ooh, mega sloth. Ooh, you know I could, uh, I could use my my psychic lance to take out mega sloth. I don't think it's worth it though. The thrombo would be much more useful, and I'm not drowning in uh, psychic lance shocks, so I'll pass. Tempting though, because that thick wool is so worthwhile. Mmm, look at that there. Very hot. Okay, well, I do not need that sandstone. So, so much corpse pooling, but it's what we have to do right now. Centralize the corpses. Yay! Three desperate refugees for 16 days. That should help me do a lot of my planting, provided they can actually do planting. And, uh, well, we'll see if they betray me or not. Good chance that they could. They wouldn't like hauling all these corpses, that much is for sure. I'll bring them it at uh, daytime, so I don't immediately just have them waste time at night. That's just nature running its course. Why is Super Pie so angry now? How can anyone that comfortable be unhappy? 
They're, the people I bring in are going to be unhappy if I make them haul all these corpses, and they're going to eat my food, which, you know, my food situation's been alright for a change. Oh, but what if one of them's a cook? I can have fine meals again. Oh my god, I'm so looking forward to these temporary guys. I just hope they don't betray me. Everyone's betrayed me so far. Everyone. Why do they always betray me? Alright, it's morning-ish enough. Welcome aboard. Alright, so tell me about yourselves. You can handle the cold quite well, but you can't. Uh, you're not children, which is kind of good. You're equipped with weapons, which you are... Uh... Can you guys all shoot, by the way? Shooting, shooting, shoot. I've got weapons. Right. Before you even set foot in my colony, drop those weapons. There we go. Now you can come back. And what do we have here? We have got a miner. Uh, with a miner and intellectual. Well, you sound like my uh, my cleaner. My cleaner and my hauler. Um, ugh. I actually don't mind fire mining it that much. It's only a problem if you make things out of wood. You are my cook. Hooray. You're not amazing at it, but you're my cook now. And you are my... Oh, another intellectual. Nervous and tough. I, I, oh, you're a hussar as well. Hmm. Oh, genetic dependence on go juice. Did you bring your own go juice? So I need to give them that or else they die. Actually, they only fall into a coma after 30 days. So um, I can just kick you out before that's a problem. You've also got a wooden hand. You have go Do you have also got go juice? To Addiction? At least you've brought your own go juice, but I don't have go juice for you, you rats. Okay, point is... The professor can take a break from uh, cleaning and hauling. You, Ween, are going to be my hauler, followed by cleaning. You, Basir, I believe, was it Basir? I think I've got them wrong way around. I was looking at Gooklog first, wasn't I? Uh, Gooklog was the fairly useless one, so I want them to haul and to clean. Uh, you, you people hate corpses, though, don't you? You're going to be unhappy with that, but that's your problem. Um, actually, that is a considerable thought. But hey, once we get all the corpse pulling done, it'll be over. The Wooshnot's going to be my animals and cook. Not that I have much animal stuff to worry about. Work, Wooshnock. Train, handle, and hey, you could even bring in more animals if we really want them. But otherwise, I would really like you to cook. Oh yeah, that includes butchering, please. Butchering and... Where's cooking? Oh yeah, absolutely do not. I don't know why they're set to harvest by default. Probably because it's a very basic thing that's needed. I have such a hard time finding cook in all of this. There it is, right next to butcher, of course. Alright, fine by me. I could actually have you start making fine meals pretty much immediately. And then Basarosi, you maybe take care of the intellectual instead of the professor. I know you're not so good at it, but the professor's got a lot of hauling to do. Hauling, plant cutting, cleaning. Yeah, well, we'll just have that for now. Get over here. Hi, is this part of a series or only from this stream? I want to watch it from the start. The start is on YouTube. I just put it up, I think, today or last night. But yes, it's part of what's going to be a fairly long-running series. I estimate somewhere like 60 to 70 hours, but it depends how things go. Is one of them trying to haul a corpse? Yeah, good. Good, they're already hauling. And they hate that. Do they? Maybe they don't. That'd be amazing. You guys follow mechanism. And... Yeah, you find corpses ugly. That's a shame. Ugh. I, I don't I don't think you're gonna expect any of this stuff around here, friends. Well, at least if they t oh the hussars are gonna be a pain if they turn on me. Well, we've got our heavy SMG and we've got our shanking knife and we've got Professor's inability to do anything other than go crying to the elites for help. You know, it's tempting to get Janissary instead of what I'm planning, but uh, 
no, I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to my guns on my plan here. That leaves a Ramsey with little to do. I'm really looking forward to plant growing season. I hate you having nothing to do, but I can't reasonably think what you could do like this. Professor's stolen your steam when it comes to researching. Oh, well, if you want to bum about, that's on you. Good to get your outdoors stuff. There we go, get rid of your stuck indoors. So what are you guys up to? Hauling wood, that's good. Hauling corpses, that's good. Hauling other corpses, also good. These people are going to hate living here. Um, I don't think there was an, uh, a nighttime person here, was there? Oh, we got a kind person, that's good. Quick sleeper is also to a degree good. But let's make sure that they have good recreation time, but not too much. I don't want them to offer to join me. And, 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 and... Oh yeah, yeah, they're on nothing by default. Eat paste. Everybody eats paste unless I tell them otherwise. And no drugs either. You know, if they go on a on a break and I arrest them, does that make the Does that maybe make these people want to leave or not? Because I really don't want to fail this mission and take another hit to my happiness. Oh no, now is not the time to try and convert them. He's already unhappy. <laughs> Okay, well, if you're that unhappy here, I'll give you extra recreation time. Wouldn't want them getting too comfy. No, we would not. Five types of recreation is uh, recommended. Fortunately, I have exactly five. Six if you can't can, uh, my Ambrosia, but I do not. I'm really wanting to get myself a telescope at some point. That unlocks another type of recreation. The most it could ever really reasonably tell you to take are seven, I think. What are you up to? Who are you pulling? Kimmy the doctor. Kimmy the ex-doctor. There we go. Yeah, I know you hate those bodies, but too bloody bad. This is pretty full of corpses now. What I could do is just stop gathering them shortly. Do horses eat meat? Nah, not with, not with teeth like theirs, surely. Yeah, they don't. Well, they'll eat meat as part of kibble, but I don't have the makings for kibble. So I'm really hoping that uh, there's grass for them to eat soon, because there's not much. James, look at all these foals. There's going to be a lot of butchering from me soon. If I'm not doing much, I can start butchering, surely. Yeah, you're right. You aren't doing much, but there's still a bit that I want done here, I think. Well, for one, the butcher needs to be moved over here. Complete with its, uh, can we give you a better chair? Look at that excellent chair just sitting in the middle of nowhere. Here you go. And on top of that, we're actually going to want some temperature for you. So, ooh, didn't consider that, did I? Right, Professor of Archaeology, lest we forget. Mine that out, please, because I'm going to need some fire there. And we we're going to want this door to close, and I'm going to want, well, the fire will give the light, so that's okay. Tunk, 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 tunk. I mean, sure, it's a hideous place to be, but that is your problem, Aramzi. Stop researching, start building, and in fact, Aramzi, never research again. It was a mistake. You're taken away from the likes of uh, Besserolzi. I can't rename my temporary guys, can I? That wouldn't make much sense, but it would be funny. There we go. The two days that this burns will surely be enough, so let's not automatically refuel it. And it should make this place warm enough. It's already 15 degrees in there. Wow, it warmed up fast. Uh, a Ramsey, that's good. That's perfect. Bring it over. And now it's time for a big job. This is very specific. Where's the rename button? Here we go. Butcher. Humans. This is not going to be popular. All human-like corpses in a very, very close radius. Do it forever. Only a Ramsey should do it with your no-cooking skill. And I want you to get to work. This is going to be a lot of wealth and a lot of unhappiness for the rest of the team, but you just sit there and do it. Do it until all the corpses are gone. 
that's going to be a lot of human meat to store, but... Actually, that, yeah, there's no butts there. That's a lot of human meat to store. Make sure I have the space for it. It'll keep outside for a little bit because it's frozen, but... Uh, do I store human meat in here? I do, okay. It's definitely going to overflow, though. A typical corpse has about 70 meat on it. Mm hmm. I do want to turn it into chem fuel. Can you actually do that? Make chem fuel from people. People doesn't look like a word when it's not capitals, does it? Very limited ingredient radius. You're only allowed to use human meat. Anyone can do it, actually. People don't. People hate butchering, but they actually don't care about um, about making uh, things out of human meat and human leather. Well, they do care about wearing it. This is going to be a critically important place for human meat, which I will reinstall next to you. Still keeping those corpses flowing, well, that's fine. It doesn't take that long to butcher an entire human, surprisingly. I don't know how long I'd take to butcher a human. Hours, probably. I guess I get into the swing of it after a wee while, but I pro I'd probably start simple. Take the head off, start with the arms, then the legs. I don't know what I'd do with the torso, though. I don't know what I'd do with the head. Maybe I shouldn't be talking about this on Twitch. <laughs> It's about the game, Twitch. I'm obviously talking about what I do in Minecraft. Well, we actually ended up building a little bridge here for our... for our fence. Hmm. Getting a bit full of goods here. Well, that's okay. It's all part of the plan. I wonder if it would be alright if I kept the door open, because it's probably a bit warm in there for you. You feeling a bit sweaty? No, actually, the um, there's decent enough temperature reg regulation from the uh, the armor you're wearing. Although, if you're in a hot environment, it's great to wear Devil Strand under recon armor. Devil Strand's really good at resisting the heat. Right, are we gonna get that human meat over here or what? Because I got I got this to do forever. I'm still, still gathering the bodies. That's fine. I will want to stop eventually, you know. Especially so these people stop hating their lives. It's like, yeah, I'll give you a respite. Uh, oh, none of them can plant, can they? Ugh, I really wanted some help with planting. Well, you can't mess up planting, actually. I might have them do it anyway. Because the... let's see... Yeah, all the food that we're going to plant doesn't require good skills. Maybe they'll learn a thing or two while we're there, there. Well done. Is this making your wealth go up or down? Hmm. It's trending down, but I don't think that's because of the chopping that I'm doing. We'll have to see how... I think it's going to remain roughly the same because the constituent parts of these people is still... Uh, wait, do you hate what you're doing here? Cramped interior? Uh, yeah, maybe you can stop doing that for just a little bit of time. Kind of like... Actually, maybe I can hold this open and we will... Uh, it'll keep colder in here. Because I want to refrigerate this stuff. Maybe even freeze it. Maybe I should re remove the wall, because this stuff is not refrigerating. Alright, well, I'm starting to think I should turn all human bodies into do not carry around anymore, because I think we have something that I could describe as plenty. Forbidding that stuff is fine, fine, fine. Most of this is tainted clothes, isn't it? So absolutely. 
Yep. Okay, in that case, I think we've gathered up all the people. And Ramsey can just have a lovely rest up. We butchered human like, yeah, what a terrible sin, but Ramsey does not care. Uh, do you want to counsel them? Because I want Ramsey to stop being so unhappy about their dead brother. I should probably just deconstruct this, actually. Keep this place completely frozen. So you don't want to, huh? Everybody should be allowed to deconstruct. You can't fail deconstructing. But yeah, please deconstruct this so that we... Oh god, you're slow. Anyway, I want it cooled down. That way these bodies and all this stuff can stay frozen. There we go. Because the human meat's going to expire here in due time. Right, someone needs to do this refining work. Who do I generally not care about? Who's quite useless? Wine? Now he's my cook, or at least he will be. Vassar? Construction? Intellectual? Grukog is ultra useless. Okay, in that case... Grukog? I would actually like you to refine... This counts as refinery work, right? Surely. There we go. It'll take a bit of uh, a bit of time, and I don't want this thing ref refilled above forty percent. Otherwise, stuff's just going to spoil in here. But there we go. Hopefully, you'll just keep to work doing that until I have loads of chem fuel and not loads of human meat. So one bit of human meat has a value of eighty cents, and maybe it's a better comparison to do two because I'm doing two to one here. So one pound, or one dollar sixty of that is becoming ooh, worth more in chem fuel. So it's kind of worth the labor if we've got useless people doing it. And this dust been moved, so I can have my slate wall back. Actually, I do it in wood, much faster to to take and uh, remove. There we go. And this doesn't need to be held open. Ramsey's still very, very unhappy. Uh, Super Pie, do you think you could console yet? Oh, maybe once you're back. Don't like that bear skulking around. If it starts hunting us, that's bad news. Uh-oh. Oh boy, I am out of food for my poor horses. What am I going to feed them then? I can't feed them each other. I could feed them uh, nutrient paste. And I will consider that if I start facing animal starvation, which, uh, not to spoil things, I almost certainly will. Right, Super Pi, don't let us down. Console your enemy Aramzi. <laughs> Is it even possible? Three times now, and every time Aramzi's just nay seen the funny side. Maybe we should hunt the bear first? Nah, that wouldn't be very sporting. That bear's not doing any harm to anybody. I can't believe we're still holding on um, in terms of happiness. Right, Super Pie's finally run out of things to do. But you know what that means? That means you've got stuff to do. I need bedrolls. Bedrolls made of people. Well, formally made of people. I don't know how many of these I'm going to end up having or needing, but uh, lots, please. He's still amazingly good at construction, so this will be great. Why is Aramzi not butchering right now? There's butchering to be done, Aramzi. Should be your top job. Actually, it would have been your top job, but I think you're more interested in construction than... Oh, right, no, I didn't put butchery high enough. There you go. Master work. See, these things are actually worth some damn good money, and you better believe I'm using this to get myself another ally. Remember, there was absolutely nothing uncharitable about this. All these people came to attack me. In fact, we've had far more people come to attack us than help us in any conceivable way. 
Ramsey, I really want that job finished. Could you just... Uh, I guess I'll let you build that snowman, but for now, finish all that butchery, and then we can... Uh, we can never speak of butchering humans again, at least for a while. Seru says, when do we rescue me? When we get an opportunity to. We do not have the opportunity to right now. A question, do, do any traders buy bedrolls? Because it might not be the, the worst idea to bring over a trader to sell some of these two. They're still going to be worth good money. Like, if anybody knows that, I'd really love to know. Maybe bulk traders take them? I'm pretty certain that um, I can't sell these to... Uh, what should I call them? Exotic traders. Yeah, some trader. Yeah, some trader. Great. I'm wanting to know which traders buy them. Well, some of this food is actually spoiling. Could I kick out the stuff that's going to spoil sooner? I'm assuming bulk. Yeah. Ordering a bulk trader for trading seems a little risky. Should we give it a go? I think we'll give it a go. Trade caravan, bulk goods trader, please. I'm not very friendly with them anymore. I need to be careful of that. If it falls much lower than that, I'm in trouble. Something, something burst my bubble. I'm gonna transport pod. These, this is our ticket to making friends and influencing people. A blood parley. Oh, this is the um, this is that sandwich. Oh, I forget the word, but anyway, the vampire. Host us at Throne of Ascension. Four people will arrive from different directions, they will discuss, and then they will depart. You may betray one. Well, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna take my I'm gonna take my glitter world medicine and have them bugger off. Maybe they'll be attacked, but that's their problem. I have no interest in the Xeno stuff in the DLC, so I'll leave that to its own devices. So the thing about butchering humans is that it only stacks so high. Make sure you have a psychopath or a bloodluster do the slicing, because otherwise they take a huge mood penalty. But the rest of the base, it only stacks up to five times for minus nine, and it goes away in five days. Like, what happens in this little den, they largely do not care about. And I also largely don't care about these guys. On the other hand, that's some nice stuff. It'd be terrible if you had to do some kind of fighting while you're here and lose all those goods. Oh, charity. Charity. We are a charity. Oh, but I like that LMG. No, they'll be fine. They can just they can just be hosted and all will be well. None of my concern. Also, there we go. This is no longer something I'm going to care about, so we're going to clear, 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 and clear. Not going to restock that, and we're going to bring our butcher table back here like nothing ever happened. This won't be refueled, this will be kept open. There we go. Charity begins at home. That's what they say, and they're correct. Uh, that's a whole lot of not process. Why are you... weren't you that useless guy that I wanted to process? No, Gookrog is meant to be refining, and he's busy sleeping. Sleeping on the job. It's only 10 p.m. Fine. Chem fuel is very useful. It can be further processed and sold. I believe if you want to have something easy to sell to uh, exotic traders, you can sell them explosive shells, fifteen dollar value each, and it's only fifteen chem fuel and fifteen steel. Am I getting that right? Maybe. Weren't there more shells over there? What happened to all the shells? Maybe they degraded. Hmm. Huh, I guess so. It's funny, I thought I would have taken them. 
Oh, hey, they're having a little meeting in here. Oh my goodness, I could set them all on fire, but then I'd ruin the uh, the meditation throne. You sold the shells. Okay, that makes even more sense. Aren't these guys weak to fire? I could just lob a single uh, a single Molotov in there and watch them burn to death. But nah, we're we're gonna be nice. We want their glitter world medicine. Well, maybe they're gonna have a fight. I don't know. The thing is, they largely don't carry stuff that interests me except for their weapons, and at this point I do have some weapons. At least weapons I don't have to be so ashamed of. Drachnoir wants me to burn them. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Oh god, that scared me. Huh? Jane wants to join me. I will concede that you are good with plants and animals and mining. And you're a cannibal. Where'd the minigun go? We're storing the minigun. They're vampires. They hurt people. It's charitable to kill vampires. If I reject this, is this a problem? Okay, it's not. Okay, good. Charitable to burn vampires. Well, they already paid me. Hmm. Maybe I should have taken you and had you fight each other. No, come on. Charity starts at home. We can't judge people just because they suck blood. But we can, but we won't. Okay, I think we can finally have you stop doing that work. Catch up on your much needed sleep, piggy. Come a long way with us. Can't wait for the next raid to come along and ruin everything I hold dear, but until we get to that point, we are still holding on. That's an excellent chair. Should I leave it there? I think I will for now. How's Red the Monkey doing? <laughs> he doesn't want to move. He's now terrified of fire, that's for sure. Moving 10%. Oh, well, that's the Paris, uh, the paralysis for you. But yeah, a little lighter than before. Another way to look at it is they don't quite give their base value of 140 meat anymore. <laughs> but they're still alive, and they will get me the honor to become, or get Professor Layton the honor to become a knight. If I can just last another day and a half without eating another flame mortar on red. But you know, that triple rocket launcher gives us a hard counter towards people doing uh, mortaring to us again. Because when they drop the explosive shells on them, the explosion will detonate those as well, and the mortars, and just create a big explosion which will almost certainly kill them. Or at the very least, force a rout. If it doesn't, I'm in huge problems, but... Well, but nothing. What the heck is this? A blood torch. Oh, combat-capable sanguophages are nearby and don't want us to have that. Okay. What the heck is a blood torch? Specially treated wooden torch that produces a red light. They gather around torches like these during ceremonial meetings. Particularly pleasing to the blood feeder gene. Oh, well, good for them. What about heat? Small amount of heat. Okay. I should really rope this into my colony so I can enjoy that heat as well. Gook log. Asleep on the job as well. Would you wake up and get to work? This meat's going to spoil if you don't process it into glorious chem fuel. The, I might be at the point where I have enough chem fuel, actually. I want the rest of this to be processed into kibble at some point. In fact, I am very much running out of food. And my animals have no food and are probably about to starve. Yeah, that warm weather can't come fast enough. In fact, during the warm weather, I might open this up so they can eat everything they find around here. Make my life a little easier for feeding these. 
Because even during the warm weather, there's not a lot of grass for them to eat. You get it gifted, you can leave the map and uninstall it. I mean, what am I going to get out of it? A little bit of wood? A little bit of blood? Okay, you know what? I think I'm going to... Say that we're not having anything here anymore, and then I'll get taken away from there, and that'll put an end to my refining. This is enough chem fuel to see me through for a while. And it's also a good amount to trade, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five hundred chem fuel. It's a thousand dollars worth of trading, although it gets degraded down to like six hundred dollar dues. So actually, it's pretty terrible for trading, but. Right. Hopefully the bulk traders will arrive soon enough, and they'll want to buy all of my uh, my bed rolls. If they don't, that's a problem for me. But uh, either way, some of those bed rolls are going to be donated to friends that I would like. I want to uh, poil Pawalk to be my friend because unlike these guys, they're not uh, they're not crummy primitives, although they are hard to keep happy. The nice thing about these guys is that they won't naturally degrade to being enemies. It only swings if it's outside of that goodwill range. Mm -hmm -hmm. Super Pie's being super lazy. I think Super Pie super deserves it. As one of the few people that can actually fight during that previous fight. They took a bullet for it. They took a number of bullets for it. That said though, yeah, there's definitely stuff they could be doing, right? Any more construction to be had. I got wolf skin. Oh, I've still got some more human leather. James lost to let that pass us by. Oh, I can't actually make two. I'm just short for two. And wolf skin as well. It's all wealth. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. The items have gone down from processing the humans, I think. But the buildings have gone up. What did I build to bring the buildings up? Built this, sure. Maybe that's what it's looking at. Maybe I should get rid of these. 181, but it's made of steel. It hardly improves anything. Oh, the bedrolls. Good point. Yes, yes, but I will be rid of the bedrolls soon enough. Though close and yet so far, I'm going to make a small human... Leather bedroll, a small wool skin bedroll. Locks uh, enjoying no longer having to do refining, I suppose. But yeah, apparently we're just hitting warm enough to do some planting. And planting is a big deal for us. Anybody who can grow should have it as a pretty high priority. I know it takes ages to do, but the sooner we get it in, the better. I've messed around with these priorities a whole lot, which is making it a little difficult to know what to do with them at times. Not anybody to be able to nurse people with the need arises. Handling, training, cooking, butchering. Well, I don't have any... Uh, oh god, yeah. Right. This thing is finally going to take some meat. What kind of meat do I have lots of? Yeah. Yak beef. I only want it refilled when it's halfway because otherwise it's going to go off quite easily. But yes, I need a yak beef there so I can have stuff to eat. And Wayne is on it. I like seeing that when someone realizes they have a job to do, they just bolt out to get it done. I think I'm running out of space for these bed rolls. It's okay though. Small, dark, bloody room with meat hooks surrounded by a single chair. <laughs> Make sure guests see this, Jake. They'll think twice about double-crossing you. Ah. Uh, if only people would actually think twice about that. Why are, you not, why are you not sewing this? Is it too cold for you to consider sewing? Uh, I need it to be warmer. But yeah, everybody wasting away and not doing anything is painful. Truly, though, if there's nothing else for you to do, I'm always interested in wood. Plenty of wood out here to be chopped. There we go. Get to it, Professor. 
I think a Ramsey should be doing that as well. Harvesting what's that tiny little birch tree. I wouldn't mind starting with the cooking, but I need some vegetables for that as well. I might buy some off the bulk trader. They're relatively cheap, I think. Hmm, how much are they? Don't tell me they're a quid each. That's expensive. Wayne was shot is technically nude and his genes make him fast when he's naked, so he's really good for hauling. True enough. Oh god, look at <laughs> that pyromaniac had to had to come in handy somehow. He's gonna start fires and Speedy Gonzalez here is gonna put it out. Do not set fire to my generators, I need those. Pyromaniac really isn't that bad unless everybody else is in a really bad state. Oh, it's firefighting, not a high priority for these people. Yeah, firefighting should be max priority and you didn't do it. Maybe this isn't home area? No, it's absolutely home area. Anyway, you're probably just going to have to follow this guy around and put out his fires for a wee bit. Oh yeah, yeah, if he starts doing it as the chem fuel, I'll probably have to put him under arrest. Actually, no, Professor Layton can use his water powers to take care of that. Finding ideal things to set fire to, are we? Uh, can I even deal with that? Yeah, there we go. How long do these normally last? Until your whole base is on uh, complete fire, no doubt. Now at least isn't fancy setting other people on fire. No, 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 don't be doing that. I like my generators, they keep this place running. It must be very unsatisfying for him to start these fires and immediately have them put out. In a way, I think that'd be more frustrating. But I don't think this gives catharsis. If it does, great, but I don't think it does. I guess we'll find out once his fire starting times actually pass. But he sure is starting a lot of fires. We're hungry. We need to stop this fire nonsense. Ah, it actually tells when the nutrient paste contains meat that I might not be able to give these people nut uh, nutrient paste. You know what? This calls for science. I need to find somebody who's hungry enough for some meat, uh, for some nutrient paste, and catch them, and then I'm going to leave a meal out and see if fools eat it. But I don't think they will because it contains meat. Are you going for it? Yeah, there we go. Take that nutrient paste meal, deny it. And then, could you not just pick it up? For some reason, some things just cannot be picked up. I want this to be a critical place for a nutrient paste meal. And I want you to call that. There you go, and I'll deny it, and we'll see if you eat it. Well, I'll be. All right, this could save me, actually. Well, save my horses, at least. There we go. So now if they're in desperate need, I can actually just feed them nutrient paste meat. Is the monkey here having a great sadness? Oh, oh right. Yeah, as expected, you don't get catharsis for fire starting speed. Ugh. Yeah, red is soon to be gone. That's going to be sad for me. Yeah, I won't. I'll be glad to see the back of him. 
but yeah, I think the main reason that horses don't eat meat is because their uh, their chompers aren't well situated for it. But when pressed into a paste, anything's fine. These aren't the best farm hands I could have hoped for, but at least there's something. Right, I'm really starting to worry about my lack of defenses here. I need to get my uh, I need to get my traps back up and operational. Why? Why am I doing it like that? That's not how it goes. That is how it goes. I think I kind of need the ones closest to the base as a priority. Because I know I can't have all of these due to my lack of wood. I mean, look at that. It's 25 times 45. And the total amount of wood I have is only 600. Uh, that's okay. We're chopping down wood. We will get that. But I just want my traps back. Animal ash is what they put in cattle field in real life. True enough. Oh, easy now. Three, four, five, six. Basically, just turn it all into uh, paste, please. And this stuff. It won't spoil because it's cold out there. Can I put nutrient paste in here? No, it counts as a meal, so no. However, I can expand you to be like this. And then I can have you for it. There we go. All that over, please. There we go. So that's going to feed my horses for a while. Not the not the most dignified way to uh, keep them happy, but I will probably eventually start hacking my horses to pieces unless I can generate enough uh, kibble to keep them through the winter. Because evidently it costs quite a bit of kibble to keep my army of horses at bay. I'm just hoping I get all of this planted quickly enough and then I can easily just put down a fat lot of additional hay grass. Yeah, probably up here rather than down here because I'm, during the warm weather, I actually want to roam around down here. They don't seem to lose. I haven't noticed having to do any training. Maybe it's been happening, but... Uh, not seeing it. Or do pen animals not lose training at all? That'd be even cooler. Okay, apparently it's warm enough for you to sow hay grass. Good. Great. Does the professor agree? He's busy cutting down trees for our defences, which is fine. That is a lot less fine. They want to use sappers to tunnel in. There are a lot of drop pods. Surely that's just containing all of their, um... stuff. For sapping. Hmm. They got really good close combat guns. Micro machine pistol and chain shotgun and shotgun. And some of them are using melee weapons, so I can't just do a melee defense. The price of not getting rid of those bed rolls quickly enough. You're not wrong. I was hoping my traders would arrive. Oh god, it would be awful if they arrived now and died, wouldn't it? Oh, I could ask for help with this fight, and it's probably a good idea, all things considered. Oh god, Professor, get back inside. But I'd need to send a gift to them to make them happier for it. Do larger hauling animals like bears and elephants with your mod? No, I don't think animals do smart hauling. And I don't like using animals for hauling anyway, I don't think it's a very good use of their time. Or rather, it's not worth the uh, colonists' time to raise such animals. Right, everyone, stay inside. Yes, you guys too. Actually, whilst you're heading inside, it would be nice if you could haul that wood with you. Super pie. 
we need a present for our friends so that they stay our friends. So, much as I'd like to sell these bedrolls, for now, they are being sent off as gifts. See how much that will do. Minigun from a distance seems like your best bet as far as actual combat goes. Yep. Hmm, the placement of this is actually getting in the way of my fast loading. Okay, Professor, once you're back inside, you are on the stay inside mantra. Good. Right, how much of a friendship will this do for me? Not a huge amount, but certainly enough to bring them in as friends. Get that sent off, build another one. By the way, do we have any of our esteemed people here? Uh, what am I looking at? Numbers, enemies. Ah, these all look like the games. However, look at Sadako here, that's a high value. Same with Flea and Fair. An Elbow Blade. Oh, high on go juice, and you have absolutely pelted your way over here. Cochlear impa implant is not good. Elbow blade isn't actually that good. Because it gets used instead of your melee weapon, and it's often worse than it. Who else was that? Sadako. Oh, they must be beautiful then. Hmm? No? Then what's making them so valuable? Is it the Neanderthalic element of them? Well, you're beautiful. Right. It's possible that I don't need any help, but, you know, there are a lot of them and not a lot of us. If they end up chipping through this, then they're going to eat traps, and Super Pie is going to teach them what happens when you mess with the owner of a giant minigun. Be ready for the Super Pie, this could get ugly. And how about you guys? What are you good for? Aren't you? Isn't your bio thing pretty bad with weapons? Strong melee. But there's nothing making you necessarily worse at weapons, at uh, shooting, right? In fact, you're better for shooting. You're better. The other two I'll probably have is melee. Alright, what melee weapons do I even have in here? Axe. Axe. I don't want to waste my triple shotgun on this. You know, it could go fine. Well, there's not really a great weapon for you. I guess it's bolt-action rifle. Go and equip that. That. Equip that. While we're at it, just in case you end up getting shot to shreds. Also go and equip this. And equip that. A Ramsey already has a shield belt. Super Pi has the... We could handle this. Come on, have some faith in ourselves. Although I do want to be in a position to call in friends, and that's exactly what uh, Professor will be back there for. Whoa! You are chipping through that like it's not even there. That's worrisome. Maybe I should call in friends. Twelve of them against six of us. And the ones up front with their shield belts... Hmm... Yeah, we have Animal War Call, but there's no animals nearby to call. Unless that, um... Unless that Mega Sloth is still around. It is not. Yeah, you need to have somebody to call for this. Hmm. I wonder, can you call the, uh, the foal? Yeah, well, I don't want my horses, uh... Helping, dare I call it that. Oh yeah, the grizzly bear, is he still around? He is, and he's not that far away. It wouldn't be a terrible addition. And you know what? We could stand on this side of the water and they'd be very slow to getting to us. Now that'd be quite good as well. Part of me is really feeling like I shouldn't be chancing this, like I should be 
grabbing my allies as soon as possible because these guys are on their way in and I doubt they're going to trigger all my tra all my traps. Super Pie, Ramsey. All of you guys, just get over here. You call your weird friend. Where's the grizzly? Where'd he go? Was he never really there to begin with? Oh, he's right in front of me. Are you gonna are you gonna fight for me or what? Come over here. Hopefully you can go through the doors. Professor. Maybe you can just ditch that wood and uh, call in our friends. Actually, this guy's pelting away in front of everybody else. And we have some people bringing up the rear. We might not need friends, but maybe I should have Professor at the ready just in case. Uh, the bear is taking forever to come here. That's worrisome. I also gotta remember they do have a sniper rifle, don't they? Yeah, that sniper rifle could be a problem for us. Maybe I should be behind the fence, at least it gives me something resembling cover. Where's your shield belt? And your gun? Ah, oh, deity me. Tell you what, grab the SMG and the shield belt and then come over here. Bye. Now's the time. Light it up. Is this guy high or something? Yeah, he is. That's actually a big problem for me. He doesn't even feel that pain. And he's well armed. Oh, well armored. Oh, right. Shield belt plus uh, this thing. Bad combination. Can't even shoot like that. Alright, well, get on over here. He has to get close to that shotgun. And I think he is going to shoot you, Super Pie. So maybe you should go and give him an axing or two. You too, Aramzi. Ooh, I don't like that. Yeah, you get a little bit back outside of his range. Last thing I want is some of that. You go and you go and aggro some more of those shots, please. Ah. Huh. What worries me mostly is their sniper rifle user. Well, he doesn't worry me anymore. You did not get the bear. It should be on cooldown. I didn't get the bear? Oh boy. How did I not get the bear? Did the bear like wander outside of my sight? Oh well, lessons learnt there. I don't know what the lesson is, but something's learnt. Uh, please take care of our friend here. And you, please take care of all of our friends down there. How's this guy? Yeah, well, that, that go juice makes you a real pain to deal with. Hopefully you guys can take the brunt of the bullets, because that's a good shield belt I gave you. And you're just there to hopefully take hits for Super Pie. Super Pie, who I would really like to take out... Uh, well, whoever, really, but the more you bring down, the better. Good, that's what you're there for. Take those hits. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Maybe the Professor should be there to take hits. Not like the fact that Ramsey's bleeding, though. Oh, of course, this guy has the elbow blade. At least he's almost dead. Kind of. Oh, God, no, he's moving still sky high. One go-juiced guy getting up close is causing us some real problems here. Including a Ramsey. A Ramsey's been in this situation before. It's not a fun one. Did you call in help? No, and I feel like I'm going to regret that momentarily. Tell you what, let's get rid of some people who are causing more problems than others. Maybe I would consider actually grabbing one of you if you're really good. 
Have we got anyone that's amazing with plants? <laughs> Always looking for that. I want the ones that are uninjured, they're the best ones to use my get out of jail free card on. Honestly, I should have zapped this guy the moment I saw him. Look at that, marine armor, chain shotgun, I missed a, I missed a trick not taking him out. And in a way I'm still missing a trick not taking him out because he's still causing me a lot of problems. Is there anybody here that's just amazing? Tough. Industrious, but many incapables. Delicate is just... Ugh. In fact, PJ would go down quite easily. In that case, I'll just take out this crack shot, because he's causing me some grief. There we go. And now if you would be so kind as to continue to take these losers out. You, you just cannot land a hit there, can you? And poor Ramsey is on the ground. This one guy with his freaking go juice is ruining my day. There we go, at least you go down. And he, he completely died as well, which is a shame. I really should have knocked him out. What was I thinking? Alright, wolfy friendy thing with the wooden hand. His numbers don't look too good for us. And Super Pie just took another shot. And you are broken. Deary, deary me. Wish I had that bear. <laughs> <laughs> Professor, now is not the time to ask about their ability to repo seedlings. Oh, you don't even have the ability to bring in friends. Uh, how you feeling there, Super Pi? Feeling great? Gotta tell you, that's the armor of yours kicking in. There we go! See, they're all fleeing! I knew we had it in us. Now, is there anybody that I really want to take out for the hell of it? Good chain shot. I love chain shotguns. And I love good ones as well. So if you wouldn't mind putting an end to Judix, grab his pop fire foam as well. And, uh, hey! You're doing surprisingly all right. You're even still on your feet, I think? Maybe you should uh, rescue a Ramsey. And Professor, we've got hot... Uh, oh yeah, consume some meals. That's also a good use of your time. Oh, wait, what the hell? You're still attacking me. Melee attack jumper. He he's clearly off his rocker. Oh no, don't open that door, you're gonna make everything cold again. Oh damn, I wanted to open fire on them, but I guess that's not happening. Right, that thing is still a good melee weapon, so I'll get up over there and... Oi! How are you? What is Jumper's problem? And they're gonna bust their way out again. Professor is just wondering what all the fuss is about. Well, you could at least rescue- oh my god. Jumper's gotta go. And how are they still- how are they still being a problem to me? They've only got level 2 melee. Ah, they're tough. That's part of the problem. You can't shoot in melee. Well, I want you to melee them. There we go, finally down. Unfortunately, these guys have made a run for it, even though I wanted Judex. Oh, well, they have to go through my traps, don't they? So maybe some of them will go down regardless. However, it's going to be cold in here, so if we could kindly get our steel doors back. Uh, I don't think I care so much about these guys, but that's some nice enough stuff. So how about you just strip jumper, strip fair, and then rescue our friend. Well, I say friend. It's a bit rich. Oh no, <laughs> yeah. Oh, the horses are loose again. 
and our fall is starting to run away. Oh, I've got to lock my door back here as well. Mm, didn't get Judex, but I do want that. Everyone's a bit too banged up to go and do it though. Did the sniper kick the bucket? Uh, still alive over there. With some nice flat pants and hyperweave parka is worth great money. Hey, Professor, I know you should be healing people. Oh god, Aramzi's meant to be my healer, and Aramzi is uh, not fit to heal anything. In fact, Professor probably has to do all the healing now. Professor, you're our, you're our go to doctor for all of this. Super Pie, you are feeling fine, so could you kindly go and strip them? And then I want you to... Oh, right, now build build these first, sure enough, because we're going to get cold. How long are they going to live? Four hours. All right, do that, then do that, and then do what comes naturally. Can't do dumb labor plus pyromania equals I'm not having you. Six hours is solid. The rest need more help. Yeah, I, I need you to actually go to your freaking hospital bed. I'm amazed you're still going, but gotta remember, I don't have a lot of medicine. Okay, you've just taken some cracks, but you are gonna die if I don't see to you. That's you, Professor. Uh, yeah, no, rescue them first or they're dead. My horses are trying to roam away. You know, Gurklock, you're fine. Why don't you just pen back in the animals? Oh, they're all coming on in. <laughs> oh boy, I might not be able to save you. We just do not have the skills for this. this flea bucket? Are you still running away or what? Hey, you know what, Super Pie, could you uh, teach them what happens to people that do this to us? Don't hit the horses. I thought you almost hit Grog there. Anyway, that's fine. Flea will not survive the, uh, the escape here. Well, you'll survive it even less if you eat this. Right, you did that stripping, and now I want you to make that door as well, please. And I think this... F oh, you're fleeing, are you? Hmm. Oh, no. All along, they had planned to betray me. Why does everyone betray me? Ah, oh, well, on the plus side, they're not going to be betraying anyone right now. You're in pain shock. You're unconscious. Oh, after I wasted my medicine on you. You are the problem here. But maybe you two will fight each other. That'd be convenient. But I'm still thinking that... Don't hurt my horses. Oh, 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 uh oh. Kill him. Not, not the fool. Kill Grok. Okay, good. He's lost a leg. He will not survive the follow-up. You got up, though. Ooh, that's not nice. Professor won't like that. And Aramzi's too injured to respond. Look, with 20% moving, they're not doing anything. Go and beat them down into submission. Falling, you'll be fine. I mean, you might bleed out a bit, but you'll be fine. There we go. What the heck are you shooting at? Oh, you're shooting at our enemy. That's fine. Our mutual enemy. Oh, my God. Three betrayals. You know, Ramsey still needs treatment, Professor. Don't cower in there. I want that shield belt back. For the rest of that stuff, I don't really care about. Um, melee them so they don't get up. 
put an end to them. I don't need to worry about him. He's, he's going to bleed out and be unable to move out there. I just worry about him shooting down. Are all of my uh, animals bolting for it, though, by the way? Bull 1 is roaming, and I'm not thrilled about that, but a Ramsey needs medical care. Super Pie, thankfully, does not. A Super Pie... I mean, this, this guy's not getting back up. He is bleeding himself to death over there. I would like to get my foal back. And I would like to... Oh my god, do you have to tear down this as well? Full 3 is also trying to run away because out of the door here or here. Or here. It's hard doing stuff with three people. I tell you what, get that steel door up. Oi! There we go. Just one of you taken care of. Get that door built. And then get that door built so nothing runs away. The AI knows how to know how to use animal war call. Take him out with priority. It's the right call. Well, oh, these are going for me. Hey, Red survived an attack. I can't believe it. Severe blood loss. That can't be fun. Super Pie, uh, please don't rest. Please be unrestricted like everybody. And then work on that door. And then rope back in our foals. Hey, do I care about flea? Not really. Don't want someone that can't do plant work. Oh no, Super Pie, we need you! Ah, uh, okay, right. I'm going to stop the bleeding on a Ramsey. I, I lost so much because I didn't zap the guy that had all the armor. I just thought he's so far ahead of everybody else, I can just kill him, no problem, right? But no, I underestimated Go Juice. Even though he was a wimp. Wow. A wimp on go juice. Right, once the bleeding has stopped to Ramsey, I'm sorry to say, but I gotta leave you be. And that's it stopped enough. You work on the steel door, Professor, and then rope in our foals. Our foal and our... Well, who's running away, actually? Full three and full one. Full one is a priority. How's Leighton going to solve this puzzle? It's got to do it single-handedly. Alright, that should stop it. Oh, no, no, there's a door down here that's going to make them run away as well, isn't there? Well, for now, if you could go out and strip the jailbird and then rope back the foal... What? <laughs> I like to think Stalling did that. Yep. Smashed Flea in the arm, bringing them down. Nobody gets to get away like that. Jeez, sorry Ramsey, I just gotta leave you there with untreated wounds. But I, I, I don't know what else I could do. Oh, not a lot for this poor little team. And the Bolt Trader is here. Just in time for me not to be able to even grab their stuff. Golden toy box. Components. Uh, where's the food? Not donkey meat. Actual, uh... Oh, well. Okay, this'll do. Well, I can at least take their silver. Ah, there's the rice. Okay. Maybe they will buy my goods and all will be well. And I didn't call in allies, so I didn't spend anything on that. also have you work on this. Oh man, at least uh, Carthasis will hit. Oh, but I got hungry boars eating my food as well. Tarkin Rex. No, you were one of my OGs. Don't run away. Professor, I need uh, I need a door down here on the double. 
stop everyone from running away, please. There's a lot to rope in and nobody to rope them in. So this would be the best time in the viewer's eyes and the worst in Jake's eyes for a massive raid. We just had a massive raid. 12 on 3 plus betrayal's not great, right? And let's, lest we forget, Professor can't fight. He's incapable of violence. At least I can trade with these people en route, but I'm, I'm going to wait until they go closer to my colony. again. Freaking betrayals. Nothing but betrayals. I think I can have my dumping zone back for the dead bodies around here. I mean, I don't need to do it so far in there. I can just have them dumped along the coastline here. So this is for... Can I, by the way, find all the corpses? No. How about humans? No. How about I zoom out enough and I just go... Human corpses? No. Except these human corpses, yes. How many were there? Quite a few. I mean, they're going to start stinking to high hell, so... This can be my normal place to put human corpses. I just hope I don't have other human corpses that are allowed at this point, otherwise people are going to do a lot of roaming for no good reason. I mean, there's you, for example. I don't want you allowed. Right, hopefully none of these are allowed. No, I already remembered de uh, denying them, so that should be okay. Right, the door is closed. Hopefully they're going to start roaming. It looks like Tark stopped roaming. Good, good. I don't see anyone in a state of roaming. I need to deliver Red back to the shuttle to get my honour. So I'm going to check with you what you trade, and then I'm going to carry you to the shuttle. So much for Professor to do. And then, yeah, well, to be fair, Super Pi has earned a bit of catharsis. Won't be long until you can actually get up. Oh no, your moving is uh, very low. And they will buy my bedrolls. Well, well, well. We will do that shortly. Actually, I'm going to regret it if uh, Professor has a bit of wandering himself and then I can't even do that. Slept in the cold. Yeah, the door was open for a few minutes, man. Give it up. Is betrayal triggered by mood, or is it just random? I believe it's just random. Because I've kept people sky-high happiness, like 100%, and they still betrayed me. Hey! Okay, before this major break kicks in, Professor, could you please just grab these guys? Two columns I needed, and I need to move the heart over here. Easily done. You know, Professor can just keep doing everything. <laughs> okay, what would help me out here? I tell you, getting selling the uh, the horses that are out here and that I'm not able to get anyway, that would be kind of useful. We got these people in here, but uh, it's going to be a pain to rope Lenaru. Full 2 and Stallion 2 back in, so that alone is a good reason to sell them. I've forgotten the names already. Who was I trying to get? Full 2, Stallion 2, so both the 2s and Lenaru. Full 2, Stallion 2, Lenaru. Just get out of here. You, I do, I'm not in a position to be dealing with you. I already have a Stallion and uh, other male, uh, female, so that's okay. Yaks? Yeah, no thanks. How are they in cold weather? Not surprisingly good, actually. But I only want wargs and horses. That's the theme I'm going for here, so... I'm not going to take others just because they might be good. A lot of human meat to sell, but I want that for kibble. 
I don't leave a lot of meat in general, I can sell. I can actually stop having all these disjointed types of meat. And it will mean money for me. I want your rice. Even though animals are going to come in and eat that. I want your rice. I already have Nutrimane and I'm not using it. See, there's a chem fuel I can sell. Although looking at it, oh yeah, it still sells for more than the two parts of human meat. I got components for once. Let me get rid of this excess leather that I have. Not the heavy fur though. I can have the human leather. Steel. It is a little tempting to buy loads of steel. Costs everything I have though. Alright, gonna get rid of these crappy clothes that I have. Some of them are not that crappy. Hot pack. That I might actually want for emergencies. Sometimes fire hits and that fire retarded foam could come in handy. Heck, Leighton could wear that. But it might be better than a shield belt in, in situations. That's my formal shirt. Or jacket? Yeah, no, that's my jacket. Well, looks just. Mm, I'll hold into it. Nice parka. And I've not even sold any of these, right. Perhaps I will be taking all of that steel after all. And then I can trade all my bed rolls for that steel. And just general money that I can use with better traders. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I feel like my people could do with a beer right now. Might actually help with some emergency mood chilling. I'll give Leighton a beer or something in the morning. meat that I could get rid of if I really wanted the money. I don't have many other uses for the meat right now. I could get rid of all of that, really. Always time for beer, yeah. And I might as well grab a couple more components. That's for squirrel meat for components. That's good. There we go. A nice trade. And now... Hey, there's that tainted marine armor. I might give that to a Ramsey. Now, if I could kindly haul the dead out of here. Oh, my poor, my poor horse. You're selling one of the four full twos. Is that the correct one? I assume so, because this is now is belong. This is now owned by League of Eten. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, too focused on the trade, not focused enough on chat. I have one, two, three, four people even tagging me asking if it's the right one. But I knew it'd be the right one. How could I not? Right, uh, Professor, maybe you should haul this rice before animals just come and eat it. No, more than just the rice. Poor Professor, he's ready to go off the deep end. Browsy, hungry, many other kinds of E. <laughs> professor told a joke to Super Pie. Super Pie's not entirely there, maybe that's not a good idea. Look, just haul the rice. Don't even, don't even think about the steel. Right? Steel off. Rice on. And then, have a meal and go to bed. And then if you're still cranky in the morning, have some, um, have some beer. A true gentleman always makes time for a wee bevy. Bevy means beverage. Okay, okay. Eat your meat and go to sleep. There we go. Can't break when you're asleep. That'll bring his comfort up. That'll bring his sleep up. You'll be a, you'll be a new man in the morning. And a Ramsey is still untreated. <laughs> and still sleeping next to the corpse. 
If you schedule sleep and rec twice, the mood is consistently high throughout the day. Eh, nah. I can see that being a thing, but nah. Oh, right, even in Dazed Wandering they still eat. That's convenient, so you don't get malnourished out there. Okay, you know, it's not that bad if he just uses the whole, uh, this whole area here. It's going to get warmer soon, so it's not too bad that they use this as their pen. And there we go, I knew it. Despite getting shot by Super Pie's stray minigun bullet, you are healthy, and you will give birth to a healthy little, whatchamacallit, foal, right? Okay. But damn, the animals just keep pouring on in whenever we have our, uh, whenever we have a problem with our doors. Slaving. Are we actually opposed to buying slaves? Only enslaving. If we bought a fresh colonist, we'd be okay. So maybe, maybe, I will say hello to you. I don't know who your slaves are, though. Or who you're willing to sell, but I'm in dire need of people. Three is critically low. But still high enough to get you some nasties. <laughs> I will be fine! Oh, look, you're up and on the go. And look at that good marine armor. I bet that'll keep you even more alive than the recon. That thing even has value. It will make you unhappy because you'll be wearing uh, ratty apparel. And I kind of need to focus on people's happiness right now. Could these guys please leave? <laughs> I don't want you here. Go away! Why are you allowing your pets in here? Yeesh. I got pestilence to kill. I got. Oh, right, Super Pie is no longer quite so cranky. But you're gonna sleep for a fair, a fair while, I think. Okay, looks like they're leaving. Go! Stop eating my food! Oh, wait, are those the. Those are the slavers, actually. Oh, I wanted those. Well, all in due time. This is rough. What a rough run. Everything's a dire state again. Hey Ramsey, oh you won't do you won't do hauling. But hey, Super Pie feels good. Could you please get this dead body out of my home? So my barracks can stop being so awful. I hate to say it, uh, Professor, but you're going to be have, you're going to have to be on cleaning duty again. Cleaning and hauling. I know plant cutting is a priority, but we can't afford that right now. Oh, I've set a lot of these to be cut, which is a good sign that we have a lot to cut, but... There we go, I can send out more lovely gifts for lovely friends. Aramzi's trying to rebuild our once again broken spike traps. You know what? We really can't afford it right now. I would like another door down here though. What kind of brick can I use? Sandstone. I think I forgot to sell this stuff because I didn't put it as my home area, right? is as homely as my other areas, so... Mm, no. There can be a problem when you do your home zone like that. For example, if someone wants to fix that, they might actually go out of their home area to fix it from this angle. Unpleasant, to say the least. Okay, Professor, uh, you're a little less cranky now, so that's okay. You're gonna haul that stuff, I think. Wait, what? Oh, no, 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 no. I thought I cancelled all your tree jobs. a spot. And I accidentally cancelled this door, didn't I? There we go. He'll chill out a bit. He just has nothing to be happy about at all. Ooh. Yeah, the slave traders hadn't left yet, and I do want to speak to them. No, Professor, you needed to speak to them. Alright, Super Pie, speak to the slavers. 
See if they've got anyone that we can reasonably have. I should be grateful that it's uh, it was just not one of the horrible ones. Psychotic Wandering is fine. You just lose most of a day of uh, labor. As long as he's not freezing cold or anything, it's okay. Nothing to be survived. We're happy, aren't we? Yeah, but he has a whole mess to clean up again. Right. Nitro? Oh, I know this guy. Incapable of social or caring and rubbish at almost everything? Yeah, no, and he's greedy. Never take the greedy or jealous. Ugly, delicate, Yitkin? Absolutely not. Misuta. Pretty rubbish at everything, incapable of dumb labor? No. Child? No. Well, you got money for me, but I'm not going to give you any of this stuff. I'm really low on meds, though. This is painful, but I might buy those meds. I'm paying three times what I could sell them for. Mm. Child is cheap, yeah, but I don't want kids to make colony straight up. Well, I'm gonna put that gold to use somehow. Super pie, bring us those herbal meds, please. Poor Aramzi is probably still needing some treatment. Yeah, you didn't even get treatment on all this, it could scar. But the professor won't see to you. Um, with manipulation 42, you know what? You might still be better off tending to yourself. There's a penalty to self-tend, but hey. Needs must, right? To be fair, I'm usually not conscious for the cleanup. And if I am, I don't haul or clean anyway. I simply enjoy the bloody fruits of my bloody labor by looking at all the corpses. Yeah, but you didn't- did you kill anyone? No, but you witnessed death with bloodlust. Oh, that'll cheer you up big time. I don't know how Super Pie is staying so stoic throughout all of this. But he is. Right. These animals have got to go. Well, it'll bleed out and die. I, I should really have you use a much more accurate weapon for this. Ooh, I love chain shotgun. Use Chain Shotgun. With tons of damage and pretty good at close range. That's what I'm talking about. Although, they can still free room here. Actually, no, I said I wanted that, didn't I? Yeah, as the weather gets warmer, I actually want them to be able to roam around here. There's going to be a problem if we have any big fights around here, but eh, collateral damage. Right, who else needs to die around here? That thing's only opening because a Ramsey is out there for some reason. Still building traps, I suppose. Everyone needs a hobby. Killing the boar inside your own town centre with three villages. I have seen this one before. No, we're not playing Age of Empires. You hear that makes a nasty noise when you deconstruct it. At least at Ramsey's he's getting quite accomplished in construction, which is good, given all the traps I burned through. Superfire's getting our second layer of door, also good. Professor's just very confused out here. Everywhere he turns, he sees puzzles. Okay, right, and here I thought Randy might have been taking it easy. Randy's been kicking my arse today. Time I get a vast amount of human corpses, it's going to be another whole heap of leather bedrolls to send to friends. Because I really want to make friends out of Poil Pollock. Terrible name. Super Pie is getting some much deserved rest, even though it's only 1600. And hey, I can see the ground! It's clearing up! We could do all the planting I've been wanting to do for ages, but uh, a Ramsey. Yeah, what's a Ramsey doing instead of planting right now? Growing should be the highest priority you have. 
or did I have building above that? Yeah, construction is above that. Actually, maybe not. Sure, build that thing, but uh, afterwards, get planting. There's a lot of planting I need done. Oh, God. Hey, is that my fall? I want that fall back. I don't think I want to go out of my way for it. Jeez. Oh no 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 no! You don't you don't give up on that. You finish the fight. Ah, oh, as if I didn't have enough going on. Thankfully, there's practically no grass, so this probably won't cause much damage. I mean, there's not much to even ignite. Right, go and grab our fall back, please, and then you can go and eat and sleep and whatnot. God, I hope that didn't strike the professor. <laughs> Yeah, joke's on you, Flash Dorm. There's nothing for you to ignite. Even if you got a tree or two, they're not—they're uh, not close to anything. How were there blood stains in the house? Because uh, when they started to retreat, they retreated through my house. Some of them were bleeding, and then there was a betrayal as well. So this is the blood of Win Wushot, who got up, staggered across, and then we put him down for good. Flash Dorm did one fire. It's not really worth my time. I don't even think that's my home area. It is not. Come on, think of the bloodlust. Don't be so unhappy. Think of that bloodlust. Super Pie will try to make you forget about your brother, but at this rate you'll have forgotten yourself. <laughs> oh, look at him go. Can't wait for the professor to be able to clean my home. Right, at some point, I'm going to need a couple of columns in here. This place is very safe, so I see no good reason not to just make it out of wood. And the harp needs to be migrated down there. That I don't like. I like being. I like people being able to play the harp here. Unfortunately, having two harps is something that can only be done when I still had my uh, my smithy here. I guess I'll just deal with it. Because I want to be able to upgrade Professor in rank. You know, when he's not wandering around in a puzzle-fueled daze. So much work to be done and just Super Pi doing it. I guess it's a change of pace from Professor doing everything. He'll try with how much he hates me. I'd rather think he'll try and rub it in. Like, it's got to work eventually. It would say if it was 0% chance, right? Like, 32% chance! Come on! Oh, oh, no, it, it failed again. How do I have all this meat rotting away? Oh, right, this stuff rots away in no time. Well, hopefully my horses ate while they had the chance. Yeah, this is a crazy thought, but could you consume one of those instead? It's going to save me a tiny modicum of food. Super Pie, are you hungry as well? I mean, this stuff's going to go off, so just... Uh, disliked. Super Pie, I'm telling you to eat this. Oh, the foal is going for it, I see. Come on, you can eat it before it expires. Run, run, run. There we go, nice. Filled their bellies, none of my concern. Or at least not much of my concern. Ah. Oh. Good, I can finally get the planting I've wanted done, done. Get the rice going, get the hay grass going. When Professor snaps out of his days, he can help out. And then it's up to Super Pi to maintain the base. Basically, I need Professor to clean the place. And then plant. So once you clean this, get the planting done pretty please. Uh, hopefully he stops with his days. Oh man, I really am losing a day of Professor Layton. 
Oh, makes me wish I had that labor gang um, thing. Oh no, he's still in his daze. He just went to sleep. Poland says, you even check that you can make a harp in the crafting spot. Yeah, but it takes a ton of time. And even more time in the crafting spot. And time is not something we have. I need to get my plants planted as soon as possible so I can have them spend their time growing. And I need to clean up my base, and there's a lot of stuff I need, really. This super pie is bringing back some much needed wood. You think you can actually... Oh, well, they're apparently still in their pen. There's another one that he's roped in, though, and that's Lady Q. Why are you still roaming around, Professor? Go to sleep. I miss having like seven or eight colonists, and I miss having my uh, my help from before. Super Pie is unable to clean the place up. You know what, Ramsey actually... Oh, right. Only Professor can clean. How could I forget? Is there anything to build? Did we lose anything during all that? I think we did not. No, we're not drowning in items here either for building up in any way, shape, or form. Can Super Pie do planting? No. In that case, what's Super Pie going to do? Animals, constructing, mining. Time for more traps. Yeah, it's always time for more traps. Always time for more traps. These traps here really helped out. They injured one and took out another. And then, yeah, there are always these traps. The ones closest to base first. Up to it, Super Pie. There's work to be done. Oh, see, even in these horrible times, nature can still give us hope. Professor, you, you just had catharsis and you already want to break again. Yeah, it bothers me that people run all the way here to use the harp. I suppose on the plus side, it's a fairly beautiful place to be, so it fulfills their need for beauty. Even more so if we got rid of that blood and had some more nice things in here. As long as these aren't bio-coded, I'm happy to take them. Because I can always just throw them over to others as a gift. Tainted. Nice park, I but tainted. Jesus, I cannot believe after everything a Ramsey is coming out of this with no injuries. In fact, nobody is injured. That's an old gunshot, doesn't count. You spawned with that. But uh, we haven't sustained any permanent injuries through this entire debacle. What a debacle it's been. I need this rice for fine meals to perk people up, but again, I have no cook. <laughs> oh well. Fine, we'll have plenty of rice when the when the crops come in. I had like four people to sow the seeds here last time. Now I got one and a half. I suppose on the plus side, I don't have to feel the problem of having Lady Seru's missing finger haunting me the whole time. Can you unbiocode a weapon if it's biocoded? Nope. If it's biocoded, that is it. It has no wealth, and it's only usable by its owner. Although it can be smelted, it can be smelted into iron or steel rather. That's usually not worth it. Smelting weapons takes a very long time. Better just to throw them outside in a marsh or something and just let it degrade. Alright, there we go, Professor. Do what you want to do, which is clean our home. It's full of blood and mud. And the traders traipse their animals through here and oh, what a disaster it was. But I want my barracks to stop being awful. And it will stop being awful. That dirt and the hideous nature is what's really bringing it down. Five in the morning is not a good sign. Ah, there we go. Off to trot. Off to bed with them. 
raining from there as well. James, stop traipsing your rubbish through my home. <laughs> the snowman must have been packed really tight. It's still there. But no, is anyone hear a hissing sound there? Since biocoded things don't really give wealth, I tend to keep them around somewhere and let idle people smelt them while I'm in lockdown for a Manhunter pack. And the problem is I just always have so much to do, smelting them for their tiny amounts of iron does not seem worth our time. Uh, this is not a good time for sewing here, Ramsey. All the sewing should be done outside, please. Get the hay grass in, get the rice in. Frankly, we should start with the stuff that takes ages to grow, but... Up to it. There we go. It's, it's nice seeing it go at a reasonable speed. Hey, Professor, once this place is clean, you know what you have to do? I'm going to take him off cleaning once the place is clean. But it's still very dirty. The blood is just disgusting to my people. And there we go, go. Still kind of dirty, but... Still kind of dirty. Professor's just my Roomba here. Okay, now it's only slightly dirty. Surely you can get to work on cleaning dirt over here? What? Oh god, we still had a square cleaning zone over there. Right, good enough. Professor, you're no longer on clean duty, you're on growing duty. So this area, like your life, depends on it. In a way, it does. Supervise wondering what in the world he's doing. Well, you're not consoling a Ramsey, that's for sure. Right, finally things look civil for the time being. All my wood is gone. I only have steel. It's always hard to know what to do with supervising times like this. Not being able to do grunt work, well, not being able to do cleaning is always a pain, and I don't really have anything to haul at this point. If only you could chop down trees for me. Yeah, that's a lot of things you're unable to do, which is... yeah. But I suppose you defend this colony. A Ramsey. You, we seem to have lost your Gladius. It was here, now it's not. It's alright, we can grab it later. You've got your shield belt on, right? Of course you do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Finally looking civil, he says, panning over the blood stains and body parts strewn around the base. Yes. I am at a loss for what to build in this situation, or even do in this situation. However, by the end of this, I'm going to have a lot of wealth from my drugs. And that wealth is going to be liquidated into, uh, well, things I can use in a fight. Mostly shock, uh, shock stuff that comes to mind. Oh, right. Here's one thing you can do. Get rid of the pestilence. How do you miss a rat? Like a skill. I used to have Imperial members for this. There we go. Uh, I do not think I want that rat. Carved up into meat and crappy leather. I don't logically it is in, but I just want to lay into Super Pie for failing to hit. Ah, there we go. Mm, you know what? I don't want that thing causing a, a rot stink around here, which it totally will. Beds for all my horses. So, well, surprisingly enough, all the horses are in the base. Our three amigos are still alive. If you squint your eyes enough, you can convince yourself that Ramsey was one of our OGs. I can't believe they're going to be healed up. I <laughs> can't believe Super Pie's lung is still there. And soon we'll have forgotten all... Oh, in fact, in a few seconds, we'll have forgotten about butchering all that human-like. And the barracks won't be quite so dull. In fact, it's extremely uh, impressive. Yeah, this is all right. 
Don't keep the wealth just lying around like you are. The bed rolls, Jake. Your wealth is still high for the raids coming your way and challenge da 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 da. Yes, it is. It hasn't really gone down, has it? The reason I don't want to just send it off like this is because the it costs me making these, right? It's stealing a component every time. But you're not wrong. I should be sending it away so that I can actually have better friends. This stuff getting in my way is a pain. Can I just do something like yonder and uh, actually want you over there next to it. Hey, Super Pie, this gives you something to do. You don't do uh, acting apart though, that's a Ramsey's job. But if you move this over here and this next to it, then I can start throwing things away at my allies to be. That's not going to be a whole lot on its own. What else can we give our friends to be? Oh yeah, loads of those weapons that we found that we don't really need. They still have value. Okay, some of them don't have much value. But hey, Steel Knife still has some uh, value. I like those axes, but maybe I'll keep one good one for any potential person that joins us. Ditch the Warhammer. Yeah, all these weapons, they can just be given over to friendlies. I just need to keep the bare minimum for me. I like the SMG. I like the pump shot, uh, the auto shot, so I can get rid of that. Maybe I should keep the sniper rifle, but it's very expensive, so... I don't know, better better to make friends for me right now. I'm keeping the triple rocket launcher, though, that's for sure. No point throwing tainted gear in there. Get rid of that cloth butler hat, though. Keep them tainted marine armor, that could be useful for our psychopath. <laughs> That's a good shield belt to have, actually. Low value, but it's going to still protect like any other. I'll get rid of my normal ones, though. And that Hyperweave Park is worth good money, so off it goes as well. There we go, let's send that, send that wealth away. Randy, there is nothing here for you to use points on me against. Never seen a shelf like that, which ideology? Uh, this is from a mod called Deep Storage. Gives you things that can stack multiple items on. One thing I hate in RimWorld is if you need to store a lot of things, you have this massive room like this where everything is thrown on the ground. So this gives things like uh, meat hooks for hanging corpses, baskets for food, bas uh, little clothing racks for clothes. Definitely makes the game easier, but I'm fine with that if I don't have to have those massive rooms of garbage on the floor. Maybe you should finish loading, just in case things go really bad, Super Pi? Sadly, they bring... Th oh, whoa, 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 I said finish loading. Yeah, pick up and haul doesn't make them do these one at a time, sadly. And another, and another. You'll get it done, Super Pi, don't you worry, you're a jogger for a reason. But yeah, the sooner I have this gone, the sooner I've got less wealth to care about. Three more. Two more. Last one. Something the auto pistol has become unavailable. Where could it have gone? Oh well, I'm sure it's no big deal. Uh, plus seventy relations with whoever I send this to, but only twenty-eight if I give it to the guy. Well, actually, plus seventy with my nemesis. Uh, what's our relations right now? Not good. But it's probably best inv invested there because I do want those guys friendly eventually. So let's just spend it. Bye bye!
when will that show up as a change for my uh, for my beloved wealth? Because that should have been a good amount of item wealth thrown away. But yes, yeah, scary to think how high wealth keeps going. Everything adds to it. Even these corpses on the ground and their old clothes and their old weapons all adds to it. But it's such a time investment to go and grab it and burn it and things like that. So you just have to hope that they degrade fast enough. I've thought about getting a mod that just speeds up outdoor degradation. I don't like the fact that corpses hang around for like 20 days or so. I'm sure that would have some unintended side effects though. I'm glad I play on easier difficulties and I don't need to worry about wealth so much, yeah. You can also pay, play on wealth independent mode. Might be a thought. Get a molly and go ham. Again, it's time I have to spend out there dealing with them, which I'd rather not. These guys are still kind of value, though. Tell you what, Ramsey. You go and grab those molotovs and set fire to these guys so I don't need to worry about them. I'll remove them from my home area so I don't need to worry about the fire. How much of being in a marsh puts the fire out? I haven't considered that. And yes, I know, I need to take off the shield belt. I have a funny feeling that the marsh completely negates this. Yeah, well, how about that? Uh, wait, did I do that the wrong way around? Drop the mollies. Equip the shield. Oh yeah, the horses are still going. Yeah, like, a couple of them died in the crossfire, but none of them went away, and I sold some that I couldn't be bothered to rope back, but overall, all is well. Right, so this is a psychoid plant. This is me growing my future wealth. Quite a lot of them are already grown, actually, so I've got to hand it to Professor and Ramsey for doing a fast job. Oh, good idea, I could grenade them. And by I could, I mean... Wait, I didn't I lose all my grenades? Yeah, damn. I don't know what happened to my grenades. Oh, of course they would have blown up when the Doomsday rocket launcher went off. <laughs> Still can't believe a Ramsey survived that. Is it in your log or is that ancient history by now? Gladius, free for all. Yeah, I think that was ways away by now. They were only 10% when the Doomsday hit them, yeah. I will miss having grenades, good utility. More than a triple rocket launcher, at least uh, grenades can continue to be used. Triple rocket launcher is one and done. That thing is absolutely fine in all of these, I have berries to care about now. Animal starvation, yep. Yep, yep, yep. When someone goes to get food, which you're doing right now, Do this to get them some uh, delicious food. Oh, of course, you never do hauling, you monster. Well, Super Pie does hauling. Oh, here we go. I'm actually giving my disgusting pace over to my horses to prevent their starvation. This is also why I wanted to kill all the rats and things around here so they wouldn't eat the meals. They will eat an entire meal. Regardless how small their belly is, there's no partial consumption of meals. If you want partial consumption, use Pemichem. And up there they go, they know where the food is. It's actually an easy way to rope them back in here. There we go. Whoa, you eating for two? There's a big belly for you. But yes, you are eating for two. And mal uh, malnourishment isn't good for, uh, for the pregnant. Who would have thought? I feel when a single rat eats a full gourmet meat. Yep. I'm sure there's a good use for rats in this game, but for the hell of it, I do not know. They don't have a lot of meat. They've got crummy leather and not much of it. I guess they could be assigned to areas. and I guess they breed like rats. And I suppose they eat anything. They eat corpses. And enough rats could mob the enemy. I guess you could have a run with... 50 rats, maybe a hundred rats. I don't even think that would be enough, and they would be uh, 
countered very easily. It's a shame there's so few sources of food. That grass has taken its sweet time to grow. Yeah, surprised at how non-lush the boreal forest grass is. Hmm. And yes, this is a bio-coded plasma sword, that's why we don't pick it up. It's been asked many times throughout all this. Super pie. You feel like you have nothing to do. I don't even have stuff that I want to make uh, bed rolls out of to go and send to my friends. He could spend, send Super Pi to the log camp to buy some wood where he can buy some traps. What do you mean by the log camp? Do you mean send him out to um, the logging work site? And by buy, do you mean not buy? It's not unthinkable that I could send him out with some horses to grab that 1420 wood. But Super Pi also defends this colony, so it's a little scary to do. How long a journey is that? Three days. Ah, oh, you can get over there with the horses. So if I just send Super Pi... This is assuming that Super Pi is going to manage this on his own. He does have the Psychic Shock Lance, but... That is tight. I'd rather send him with anybody else. But if he gets it done, that's a whole lot of everything. We could send everybody. It only takes three days. Hmm. Also, this gives me an opportunity to do something that I want. I'm just not sure I want to do it for a... for just a logging camp. There are many people in this village. How long are they there for? 20 whole days. I could really do with uh, 1400 wood. There's a lot of building to be done. Leaving this place alone, though, is such a risk. Oh, Professor is here. Professor could always continue working, and then he can call in assistance if needed. Whereas I could arm a Ramsey. Maybe with a gun rather than. Malay, but aren't you tough? No, but you have bloodlust and you do like to kill. Why don't you grab a, uh, an axe? Professor can finish doing all this sewing on his own. He will not be happy, but hey ho. But yeah, this gives these two a good thing to do. Oh, but I want to send Professor. How much does wood weigh? How much am I going to get on my horses? Fourteen hundred and twenty wood. And one piece of wood is... oh jeez, do we even see it here? Four hundred grams. So we're talking 400, 500, 600 kilos? I'm considering this now. So if Aramzi and Super Pie and all of my horses went, because they were able to eat along the way, I could bring back a reasonable stab of that wood. You can have me use an SMG and put some melee weapon in stockpile zone near the points where we fight. I can quickly pick up another weapon. It would cost the use of the shield belt, though. I like the shield belt, and I like you getting up close and personal. After all, you're better at melee than shooting. And you like it more. Plus, you're a good you're a good counter if the enemy starts using bows and the like. So you can run in and just... Uh... Actually, I don't know what level of technology these people are at. Tribal or not? The Ness League. No, they don't show up here. Anyway, let's, let's do it. Let's do it for a lark. So, Ramsey, Super Pie, all of my horses. <laughs> you have a little bit of carrying capacity, not a lot, but some. Oh, one thing to absolutely do is to set up a leaving zone, isn't it? 
So, so, so... What is it again? Caravan journey spot. This is where you leave the map. The closest area. So just leave from, like... Oh! Oh, do you then, like, get together in this area? Because that would make a lot of sense. Yeah, just go... Go and hitch up there, then. Get everything hitched up there, and then get out. Hmm. Makes a lot of sense. Also, these people, will, these uh, animals will feed themselves when they're out there. It's also handy. And the hitching spot is separate. Oh, I see. There's a hitching spot here. So what, do I put this here, then? Mm-hmm. Hitch animals here while loading caravan. Keep the... Oh, okay. Well, that makes a, bit, a bunch of sense. Right, let's do it, then. Risky though it may be. Get going. Not you, Professor. If an attack comes, he cannot defend himself. You are going to need to bring... Oh yeah, I'll decide what they need. You're not allowed any food. You're going to get hungry there. Bring some medicine just in case you get shanked horribly. And... Yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine with that. Go. Route travel time, not point one days. Easy. When are you fixing Typo and Throne of Ascension? I don't know if I can. Throne of Ascension. I don't see any way to edit that name. So we'll just live with it, like Gamp Granada. Wow. Some impressive hitching. Oh, and we forgot, forgot our wee fool here. Oh, no! Uh, that's all of my crops dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Okay, no crops in this growing season. Maybe we should all just leave this cursed place. Are you guys leaving? Oh, Jesus, what do I do now? I, I can't actually feed my, uh, my horses doing this either. How do you know how far the toxic fallout spreads? Maybe it would be not too bad for the people just to hang around this logging site. Oh boy. Well, it's going to be lots of meat paste for people. Couldn't you set up riders in your caravan? We automatically ride the horses. Unless that's not what you mean. Yeah, the horses are going to become the food in no time. Well, we'll live off the meat while we can. If it becomes a oh, I can feed the uh, the human meat to them. I wonder if these guys eat the human meat paste. It might actually be a more efficient way than giving them kibble. Yeah, that's an idea. All these animals are going to die. Everything on this map is going to die. Alright, off you go. Attack that logging site. Apparently you're not going to take too long. Apparently visibility is also high. They might get attacked or forced to give stuff up. Can't you grow cave mushrooms? I don't really have cave dwelling going right now. It's okay, we have food stockpiled. Look at that, we got 2716 raw food. If we take away the... 800 of uh, human meat. Let's say we've got 2,000 raw food. Every six raw food is a meal. That's a good amount of meals. But no one's going to be happy eating that. Is there anything outside that I care about that I need to cover up here? No, all this stuff is stored away. I don't have wood to care about. Oh my god, they're all dying already! Ah, that was very cruel, Randy. Very, very cruel. 
Oh, apparently you're malnourished already. You just left. Or are the animals malnourished? Hang on, how could the animals be malnourished? This is apparently somewhere that we can eat. Or are you telling me that the terrain is... Yeah, animals can graze. Why is there malnutrition? Eat, you idiots. Bend off attacks, Jake. It counts caravan wealth, not your entire colony. It'd be like a single tribal, maybe three max. Oh, that's reassuring. After all, you are wearing some actual armor, although Super Pie lacks a helmet. Alright, here we go. Risky biscuits, though it may be. So, what are we meant to do in this situation? It's... Do, 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 do. It's a hitching point, right? So I need to set up a hitch point for you. And I imagine hitch the animals onto this. There, rope the animals over to that. All the going is good. And then let's take this over. Why are you, why are you bringing them? Okay, there we go, there's the point. Right, let's take this. It's pretty much free real estate. Steel knife? That doesn't look like a tribal, does it? Oh yeah, tribal wear. Good. Good, good, good. Let's get this done and head back to Professor. All melee, all melee weapons, which is actually a bit of a pain. I was hoping they would try and hit us with fairly useless... Um, fairly useless knives and things. Okay, well that's a great start. You are going to have a very hard time catching us now, so I'm just going to take a step back. And oh god! Should have looked at what they are. Impids. Finish him off before he does. Oh god, they're all going to do that, aren't they? Oh. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Can you put the fire out on Super Pie? Before this becomes a bigger problem. Get away, Ramsey! Oh dear god. So this is how it ends, huh? Right. I don't know what the cooldown on that ability is. Hopefully very high. We didn't come here to die, so take out Tharon with that. You take out Vaith. There we go, now get the hell out of here. Right. Woo! Cut and burned. However, there's a little trick to this. Yes, yeah, a little trick to this. Right, first off, I need to claim all of these. I need to say, hold them open to be claimed. Yeah, there we go, hold it open as well. Super pie, go and walk in there. A Ramsey, walk in here. Ooh, you're free real estate until you realize they belch fire at you. It's okay, nothing we can't handle. I do not recall seeing biotech makes the game easier. Oh, well, no, I, I see, I see. Right, using those on yourself, yeah, I think it does. Because you can just grab all these awesome abilities and uh, just have them. Right. What are these made of? Marble. And there's also pemmican. Granite tables. I wanted granite. Claim this. March in here. These are rather crummy chairs. Although I could disassemble them for more wood. There's already more wood than I can carry. But the real trick is that you can quickly check to see what these people have. Nothing worth my time, nothing worth my time, and nothing worth my time. Could take them back as prisoners, actually. Nah, but then I end up with impids. Blech. Right, so the nice thing here is that you can just go here and hit reform caravan. 
and you don't need to do the annoying picking things up and putting them on your horses. It just automatically grabs them. So I'll not capture these losers. I'll grab everyone here, and I will grab their sidekite T. Um, anything with decent value. Those steel cages apparently have value, but they're also very heavy, and I didn't come here for those. No, just grab all of their pemmican and as much wood as we can carry, and then head on back. The cool thing is that you can grab uh, like the chunks and that. If I was stored on chunks, I could grab loads of these, but we don't have enough uh, horses for it. I have a little trick for that, but we're not using it here. Or perhaps it's more accurate to say we cannot use it here. By the way, although you're on paste, I'll allow you to eat. Oops, oopsie. I'll allow you to eat whatever you want. Then you can eat the pemmican when you're out there. But I'm in trouble bringing those horses back here. There's nothing here but death. Toxic fallout. Oh, that couldn't have happened during winter. Uh, it happens during my very, uh, very tight growing season. I suppose it's not that tight. But it's tighter than I want it to be. A Ramsey is not happy about the situation. Why? Still sick. Still unhappy about your brother. Ugh, they're resting. Found a temporary colony for the horses. Not the worst idea in the world, but I want everybody back here, so I think the horses are just going to have to... Well, what I could do is I could wait for the horses to starve, and then just bring them out here for a bit of grazing outside of the toxic fallout. Can I check their actual food needs here? No, apparently not, but I'm sure they're eating just fine out there. Why would they not? Give them a roof. Yeah, so the, the plan is to put the sleep spot under the roof. That might not be enough. Well, it definitely won't be enough. Also, I'd have to restrict them to that area. Do, 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 do. Well, that's what we'll do then. I will have to fence wooden fence gate. Wait, what? Oh, I don't have enough wood to make a wooden fence gate here. There we go. I can tell you to do it that way. And then we're just going to have a very small area for our wee horses to be here. I'll delete this later on when needed, and I'll also move this over to here. And that's goodbye all of you. Furniture, sleeping spot for them. A sad existence for the horses. And then as long as this is roofed over it should be fine. Wow, jeez. See the problems that you get in this game? They're not just the raids. It can be a whole lot more. I will try my best to keep the horses alive, but I will gradually eat to them if needed. Depends how long this lasts. Sometimes the toxic fallout just lasts a few days, and then you're like, oh, okay, that wasn't worth worrying too much about. But... Mm. Do we think it's going to last days? I don't. I think it's going to last many days. Come on, Randy, I've only got three people. Surely you wouldn't do that much to me. Also, as they get toxic buildup, then... Uh, the animals that you could hunt just end up being uh, rotten when you try to eat them. Alright guys, get moving. I hate to think that a mad squirrel could actually end Professor Layton's run, because he can't even hurt the squirrel. But that squirrel is very likely to just kill itself on one of my tri- Yep, there we go. Ah, uh, and Professor got some gut worms as well. Yep. I don't have a lot of medicine. And he's going to eat twice as much now as... Oh, my days. Okay. Chin up. We'll be fine. My money is on one day longer than it takes to butcher the horses. And my money is on long enough to make me miss my growing period. 
can't even fuel this anymore. What I should probably do is switch over to uh, chem fuel fed ones. They're a lot more efficient, I think. But hey, I'm about to bring a lot of wood back, so it's no big deal. Do I still have my hitching spot over here? Is this where you unhitch them? I'm going to hope and assume yes. By the way, could you move the pen marker over here, Professor, so that the horses are actually brought here? A Ramsey, quit uh, screwing around and get back here. Oh yeah, gut worms plus gourmand as well. They they just eat, and then once they're done eating, they think about eating again. All right, come on, back we go, go. Maybe cut down all the trees that I can before. Uh... Before things go too nuts with them dying. Because make no mistake, they will die. More wood is better wood, and I can at least spend the time making traps. But yeah, I was talking about this earlier, about how you can just lose everything on the map to toxic fallout, and that's exactly what we'll get to enjoy now. Where are the horses? Ah, oh, here they are. I should have dropped it out of them manually rather than have them come all the way over here, but hey. Saves my people the work of tracking down the horses when they've got all their goods. Our professor, we, we, we really need this stuff refueled. Superpie, you refuel that one. Aramzi, you never refuel anything. Because you're just that useless to me. There we go. Keep the lights on. And Super Pie, I know you love to build things, so please build not the spike traps. Let's uh, let's not do that right now. Let's instead have you build this fence. Uh, are you still building? No, not that. Not that super pie. I've got a fence I need right now. Good. Uh, no, not good. You're not allowed to eat pemmican. Back to paste. Uh, okay, hit the wrong button, but oh well. And now, where? What are our horses doing down here? Well, they're not ditching my goods for one. But professor, could you please rope our stallions back? Get them over there, where they won't be eating nasty, toxic fallout. Same with these two. There. Okay, with that, our horses should be... Uh... <laughs> Come on, game. We can do this. My horses should be safe, at least until I need to kill them. Uh, I will just dump loads of nutrient paste on them periodically to keep them uh, alive. But otherwise we're in trouble, because there's not a lot we can do during this time. Right, this thing is an important place for nutrient paste. And whenever I get alerted that animals are starving, I will throw nutrient paste at them. That's the plan. But it's a good plan. Perhaps even a great plan. What is a Ramsey doing? He's just sitting on a chair in a miserable place. Get that chair back in here, please. Uh, where is it going to go, though? I don't know. Didn't I used to have something here? My block breaker or something? Probably. Sounds conceivable. Anyway, we shouldn't have that there. I don't want people hanging around in the murder hole. Professor tried to woo Ramsey by making an observation about dualism. 
Make no mistake, Professor, it wasn't about dualism. It wasn't an observation that didn't have anything to do with puzzles. For what it's worth, why is this stuff never being moved? Oh, it's tainted, that's why. It says that button-down shirt. Okay, a little bit of toxic build-up never killed anybody. My favourite butchering room, Jake. I butchered at least 50 people in there. Yep. You, you kind of saved the colony with that. Can't deny it. A little worried that my wood is going to have problems out there. Unroofed and outdoors. Oh, I can survive 100 days out like that. It'll be fine. Now I want to get the chopping done while the trees are still alive. Before they all start dying on me. Like I said, a little bit of being outdoors is not... Oh, freaking hell. Those animals will be fine without any proper medical care, I'm sure. Besides, a Ramsey is a great doctor. A Ramsey can take care of it. I just wish a Ramsey would haul. Oh man, I'm still finishing up the first episode of this. What happened? What didn't happen? We got raided, 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 mortared, abducted, firebombed. Uh, so don't spoil yourself. <laughs> well, I've had a great time. Perhaps too good of a time. Okay, uh, find that you're, wait, refueling? Oh yeah, these things are a constant tax on our wood, aren't they? Uh, Ramsey, you shouldn't you be tending to our horses? There's another full Tarkin Rex and Stallion one. Tend, tend, and uh, super pie. I don't want them drinking things like that psychite tea, so please haul stuff away from there. Minor break risk. Where's the rest of my wood, anyway? Didn't I have, like, a Brazilian more wood than this? It's just kind of lying around, isn't it? Well, that's alright. Super Pi can get hauling and can ignore that toxic build-up, I'm sure. They don't deserve sleeping spots here. I just want them... I want them there. If they lie down and sleep, they'll be fed by my people, and I just fed them some rice, which is a tragic waste of rice. Now we really need to focus on staying indoors for a wee bit. I do not want this toxic fallout to be the end of us. Probably means I need to make myself a an area. Toxic. And then and, and, and toxic. Involves just staying in here. You can absolutely head out to here if we desperately need food, and you can tend to the animals. And of course, Professor Layton should be able to go here, and anywhere he wants in here. You could say that this is worth roofing. I don't think so. I'm going to bother with that. Alright, that's not going to do anything for me if I don't tell everybody to have to stay in the toxic area. See, this really reduces my economic output. Not a lot I can do during this time. And would you look at that? We've got some beggars demanding 700 of my silver. Ow. Wait, it's just one, and his name's Nicholas. Nicholas the Night Owl, a seven-year-old boy. By the freedom of his big sister, enslaved by pirates. Oh, we said we'd be charitable. He, he, he doesn't need that silver for anything like that. I, I, I'm not getting wealth through out of drugs, and I'm just throwing away the silver. It's better be worth it. Take the money and sod off. 
Oh, I didn't even give it all to him. Come on, I'm eating toxic buildup for this, you know. Right, take that and go away before you die. And I just gotta keep everybody indoors right now and not eating toxic everything. There's a reasonable chance that they can get, um... They can just get tired of being inside all the time. I wonder why we're not having a lot of research done, though. The professor's the only one that can clean, fair enough, but maybe you should be researching. And the problematic thing is that Ramsey really uh, Ramsey doesn't have anything to do. Not a lot of plants I can be dealing with right now, not a lot to construct either. Ah, but when in doubt, we could have this. A mechanoid swarm. Ah. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Three centipedes. Oh, God. That's a problem. You know, we wouldn't take out one centipede with this. Three with a Militor, Scorcher, Scythers, Pikemen, Mech Nodes. Oh, they can even assemble more of themselves. I don't, I don't think that's worth five honor for some reason. If you have Sunlamp tech, you could uh, grow plants indoors without hydroponics. Sunlamps require an obscene amount of power. I don't really want to give them that. Mm, no, I do not want to do that. But hey, at least Professor's getting some research done, and Super Pie's just spending some me time with himself. I'd really rather they weren't spending time outside, though. Alright, sorry, if they're gonna be if they're gonna be like that, then at least have some roof over your head. Go, so let's just remove you. Super Pie can get to building. That way they're not going to take all that extra toxic build-up damage from wandering. Somehow that roof holds. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, see, there's a problem. That's a healthy amount of uh, mechs. I don't think a reasonable amount of raiders would take care of that. I mean, they can, but uh, let's say they take care of the raiders, they're going to come for me next, and that's not a good deal for me. No siree. We'll, we'll be fine there for a while. I'm just trying to figure out what I could do with my people at this time. Out comes to mind. I think we're just gonna wait this out. There is something that says I could go on another journey. There's more wood over there. Oh, right, tell you what, there's one thing I've been wanting to make. I don't think harps have quality, do they? Uh, they do, but I'm pretty sure quality doesn't matter for the harp. So what I could do is... Production, crafting spot, here we go. And let's make that additional harp. Just one, and, 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 and. Super pie, you're gonna do it. Now you're not gonna do that because there's no wood, but if I unrestrict you and tell you to do it, and tell you to do it. What's this under anyway, smithing, crafting? Crafting. Yeah, so the abductions were for Lady uh, Lady Seru and Miriact. They got abducted, and the losers got killed, and they were bloody losers. Nothing of value lost there. Oh, 
He's just hanging around bored and still worried about his uh, his brother. Maybe I should have another staff at consul uh, consoling him. There we go. We have failed again. I think that's four or five times at 30% we've failed to convince him that his brother wasn't really that meaningful. The threat in an ancient complex thing is decided when you discover its location. Might actually be able to take it out with just one or two. Really? They can be really nasty threats. But uh, yeah, maybe tomorrow morning we can send out... Oh no, I want to do Professor's thing. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that tonight. I should have a quest for it right here. Night ceremony. Let's do it. God, I'd love to slaughter these people for all that they're worth. Professor, it's your time to shine. Uh -huh, odds are pretty good it's going to be unimpressive, but let's try. These, probably, these guys are probably looking at me going, didn't there used to be more of you? They have so much good stuff. Good armor, nice weapons, meals. Yeah, it's well worth betraying them. And you get double the silent neuroformers as well. But they could just kill us. And I'd rather not have them kill us. Come visit my toxic fallout color. I'm sure they've seen worse, right? I think the idea is that these people are based in a space station far above the rim world. So they, they've definitely seen it all. Travelers from Eta. Now, is it really the place you want to visit? At least the toxic packs that have been added to the game explain a bit of what all this is, uh, what's causing all this. Also, it was honorable. That's really good because that's extra bonus honor for Professor. And. He's got a cooldown in his trooper squad, but he can now choose something else. Janissaries are a way away, and it might be tempting to grab free silver whenever we want. Or even glitter meds. Oh, that's that's a ways away. But transport shuttle is incredibly powerful. Yeah, even more so than airdrome strike. So I'm taking transport shuttle. There we go. It's a good idea, trust me. Also, you got upgraded here. What did you get? Other than uh, even higher demands. Is he is he annoyed about those yet? No, he's not. Vertigo Pulse. That's actually pretty good when you get attacked by a lot of people. If you clog them up in one area, you can pulse a lot of them and then uh, they wander around and vomit rather than attacking you. There's a chance I am not dead? Yeah, I think you are still alive out there. I think there's a way to check on the debug menu, but I do not know how. Okay, you know what? We're gonna end it there. I think I ended it the last time I upgraded Professor's rank, and we're ending it once more. Because we've been going for almost 12 hours, and this game, highly addictive as it is, needs to be put down at some point. I need to eat, I need to sleep, I need to be back for tomorrow's weekly one-shot. So, a fresh save for the Gentleman's Respite, which is apparently our location's name. Actually, is that our colony or the name of the place? Ah, the faction is Gentleman's Respite. The area is the throne of poorly spelt ascension. Okay, cheers for joining. I will uh, get this and Dom5 onto YouTube ASAP. Um, I suppose this isn't a big deal that Dom5 stuff is copywritten. And as for me, yeah, I'm gonna enjoy having a lie down.